It's crazy the fucking the one of the moms who I don't even know her dumb fucking name who was in the whole college scandal thing. Mm-hmm. She huh. got a two week sentence, bro. <laughs> well, how long do you think she should have been in jail, dude? For all that fucking fraud, at least a year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. And on right, probably like some high, like some luxury prison. That's what she's requesting. Is it really? Yeah. And you know what I was thinking? She's gonna two do? weeks in prison. What the fuck does that teach you? Two Nothing. weeks? Nothing. She's going to get like let out and she's like, oh, what? It just started. <laughs> Her? I feel like I just got here. You know what? I needed a little getaway. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. been just so stressed. She's going to say it's a positive. <laughs> yeah. I needed a little cleanse. You know, yeah, I've just... been going crazy on wine these past couple weeks <laughs> and I just need somewhere I can go where I can just kind of clear my head for a couple weeks. <laughs> They're going to form some fucking program, like some soul cycle type shit. <laughs> Jailbirds. Yeah. <laughs> just ladies just enjoy the jailbirds program it's just a nice little get dude they're gonna make we prison do cool. yoga at 6 30 right as the sun's <laughs> rising it's beautiful don't bring anything you're gonna check your clothes in at the door yeah. and it's just gonna be you're gonna shower together it's gonna be a community experience yeah it's gonna be some fucking bullshit i'm just laughing at her like talking to the inmates and she's leaving like i'm gonna miss you guys and they're like fuck you just fuck, suck, suck, suck my i feel like dick. we're just making friends I feel like we're really, really getting to know you. You know, keep going with your art. You're great at it. Okay, keep going with that. Lenny, stop stabbing people. All right? No, dude, she's going to go one of those fucking Martha Cheese. Stewart prisons. I'm buying weed from you when you get out. All right? <laughs> That's his name. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. I love you guys. All right? I feel like I'm just, I just feel like we're just getting to know you guys. It's such a shame. Maybe I'll send my daughter up here. <laughs> just like a nice little, you know, cleanse, yeah. just nice little get, yeah, a little cleanse, little so nice not to deal with all the, you know, ugh, nutheads in my life right now. <laughs> all these crazy moms. You wouldn't believe what they do. You oh. know, they're dying. Their dog's pink. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. And now I got to go back there. You know, I'll say this, Cheese. You guys are more normal <laughs> than these rich people that I hang out with all the time. <laughs> I've lost so much weight in here. I look amazing. <laughs> I look amazing. Oh my god. I might go get a tattoo. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I would do it in here with like the little paperclip needle, but ugh, I, I, you know, yeah, I'm a little scared. No, yeah. Ugh. I, want, I want to do it the, the proper way. Yeah. The right way. <laughs> and I don't even want to see any kind of videos from them being like, they paint us like we're horrible. Shut up. Shut up, man. Yeah. You broke the law. The system should work. And you got two fucking weeks um, hey well i got you here you guys uh oh um you know we got this new set we got this you know we got a, we got a kyle working for us now you know i feel like this is a good time to ask why don't you head over to the itunes store and just rate us five stars just throw up, <laughs> you know what i'm saying throw, throw up a five star rating i want to see that number fucking fat yeah i want to see that thing just, grow just just fake and every time i artificial. see a podcast with like twenty thousand reviews i'm like damn yeah that's, that's kind of wild reviews. yeah yeah you know? Everyone go leave five star reviews, but leave like, leave random like content that has nothing to do with the podcast. Yeah. Kind of like our idea for our genius review or just maybe general feelings you have. Like yeah. Five stars this podcast. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the construct of, um, you know, ownership and mm -hmm. what that means. Mm -hmm. And just write a nine paragraph thing about ownership. Or better yet, start the review with, I love when they talked about, and then some shit that we didn't talk about ever. <laughs> Like some weird, boring <laughs> shit. Or some groundbreaking shit. Yeah, I loved when they compared lawnmowers and which ones cut yeah. the grass more oh, yeah. efficiently. <laughs> no, here's a real one. Oh, I love their segment about um, vacuums. Um, it's really fun listening to two avid vacuum collectors <laughs> and the various kinds of input they have on the different types of vacuums. Yeah, it's really amazing when... When they were going through each year of Dyson and how yeah. each vacuum evolved. The fucking reviews you guys left on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was hysterical. Okay. All right. So last I episode. was hysterical. Last episode, I, uh, you know, I, I inquired <laughs> for our listeners to leave us a couple reviews on iTunes. You know, pump that number up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Okay. This one's from Emily Rose 2323. <laughs> She says, the title is Best for Computer Science Majors. And the review says, I love it when they talked about the importance of 7,400 quad NAND gate chips and how they're <laughs> superior to other types of chips in computer architecture. 
I've learned so much about computer architecture from them. My professor lets me teach the class now. Must listen. The next one is, love how knowledgeable they are on dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Ruth says, these guys can funny occasionally, but really it's just so informative. I've learned so much about how to pour cement and lay cement tiles. <laughs> and they've really helped me turn my life around. And the next one says 10 out of 10, and then the review says 11 out of 10. <laughs> pour cement. <laughs> just cement and computer science. So fucking opposite. You think someone that's like random is like, oh, I wonder what this podcast is what? about. Let me check out let me check out the reviews. He's just see what the people are saying. Construction worker playing this on the way home yeah. with his fucking six pack, and he's like, <laughs> oh, so they were gonna talk about concrete or <laughs> have I been have I been duped? <laughs> Here's one. I love when they rate and compare all the vacuum choices out there. It's refreshing to hear two <laughs> people as <laughs> you. <laughs> are as passionate and informed about the types and construct of such fine machinery. I don't like boobs. I don't like boobs. Just at the end, I don't like boobs. <laughs> God damn. TikTok, kids and people are busting open pregnancy tests uh-huh. because there's a pill in there. So so people bust it open and they're like, oh, it's plan B. It's inside the, oh, it's plan B. Oh my God, they put a plan B inside the pregnancy test. That's so fucked up. Whatever. It's like an anti-moisture like moisture pill. The PSA is like, do not fucking take that pill. Because tons of kids are busting them open on TikTok and being like, there's a fucking, oh my God, oh my God. What? Do you imagine that poor girl a few weeks later who... <laughs> She's just sitting there and she fucking pisses on that thing. <laughs> and then her stupid fucking boyfriend's like, you know, there's a fucking... <laughs> and she's like, you think? And he's like, I mean... She's like, fuck. <laughs> Let's do it. And she fucking pops it and it just fucking like instantly just dries the shit out of her throat. Because <laughs> this is fucking anti-moisture <laughs> because she takes it. She's like, oh my... <laughs> she's like, whoa, whoa. She's just like, he's like, well, babe, that's the pill sucking the cum out of your body. <laughs> it has to kill all the cum and the moisture. <laughs> it has to reduce all the cum and the moisture so, all, so it all dies. And you got adults doing it. That's the saddest shit that I've seen. It's like adults trying to get clicks. And they're like, <laughs> yo, what up, TikTokers? Uh, me and Bill here, we're going to crack open a pregnancy test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you're, if you're an adult and your first reaction to that is isn't fucking kids are so stupid <laughs> what are you doing and your first reaction instead is oh yo if the if this is working for them it's gonna work for me yeah yeah <clears throat> you gotta you gotta fucking you go might- you gotta buy a you gotta buy a um an in an indoor motor or an indoor <laughs> you have to buy a peloton bike and and cycle what because that's some adult shit to do all right what do you Buy an indoor bike <laughs> and spin on it. Feel like a fucking adult. That was the most roundabout way of saying <laughs> act your age. It was so like that's what you have to do. If you're taking a a pill from the inside of a pregnancy test to generate fucking views on your TikTok channel, you, you gotta go buy, buy a, a Peloton bike. <laughs> And cycle it until you until you're sweating. <laughs> if I ever have kids, that's what I'm gonna use when they act immature. Yeah. God, you are 19 years old. How much do you have in the bank right now? I don't know, 1,500 bucks. Go buy a Peloton bike. Used? I don't give a fuck. Okay. I want. I better see it in your room by Friday. I want to see you spinning on that thing. Pick your favorite program. I don't care. Hills, endurance. <laughs> Flat ground? I don't, give a shit. I don't give a shit. I want to see you on that fucking bike. You're going to pedal that thing. And act your fucking age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, does this mean I'm grounded? <laughs> yes. Yes. Get on that fucking bike. <laughs> Sitting there at Sports Chalet. Hi, uh, can I take the display Peloton? <laughs> oh, nice. You looking to uh, increase your, you know, just spice up the routine? Well, you into working out? Not really. <laughs> why are you, why are you buying the? Because I'm grounded. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a healthy punishment. <laughs> 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 
I can't believe you just said that. Get a Peloton bike. That is so obscure, dude. Well, I mean, like, that's that's some shit that adults do, you know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is... How would you describe this guy? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't he, really know. He, he's, a, he's a special one. <laughs> he's a special one. This is our boy right here. I've got some shit I gotta get off my <laughs> okay, fucking good. chest, and I don't use Twitter, so you're dealing with it here. If you did not start smoking weed out of a fucking apple or a can or a water bottle or some shit you made in your shop class, you're not a fucking stoner. Your carts don't make you a stoner, so get the fuck off a of Snapchat with your stickers. I don't get the stickers. Goodbye. <laughs> with your stickers. I think he means like goodbye, like the stickers on the fucking screen, like the oh, digital word. ones you can use. Yeah. Wait, what are carts? Cartridges? Yeah, yeah. Like vape shit. Yeah, yeah, vape cartridges. Man, you're not a fucking stoner. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> like you just dropped the fucking fattest bomb. You fucking idiot. <laughs> you're not a fucking stoner. Goodbye. <laughs> The goodbye is the best. Goodbye. <laughs> You're not Dude, a fucking stoner. Who is that fucking heated about kids showing off vape pens on <clears throat> Snapchat? Dude, Tony Mangucci, fucking... man. <laughs> He's pissed. Like, wh- like, you feel that passionately <clears throat> about fucking... You, being a stoner means that much to you? <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Later. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about that is it, like, went viral. Yeah. Like people were like, I agree with this, dude. Yeah. Dude, speaking the truth, man. Dude. Oh, man. You said it beautifully. Said what we were all thinking, bro. It's like, oh, my God. I mean, yeah. Fucking Jesus. This fool's upset because people don't have to do dumbass shit to get high anymore. Yeah. <laughs> He's just mad. That's what it is. Yeah. It's kind of like some boomer shit a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Millennial boomer. It's kind of millennial boomer shit. That's a thing, dude. Millennial boomer is, there needs to be a term for that. Yeah. My boomer. Yeah, that's that's me talking about the Peloton yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's my boomer. <laughs> my boomer. That's millennial boomer shit. <laughs> grown men tweeting shit and then like adding hashtags. Mm-hmm. Like, like you ever see a grown man tweet something with like three hashtags? Is in there it? any on that? Is it like FYP for you page? Uh, his other ones had that in it. Yeah, it's like, dude, listen. If you never hashtagged your post a bunch of fucking times, you've never been an Instagrammer. You're not a fucking TikToker. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, <laughs> you're not a stoner. Goodbye. Smoking it Evan. It's funny to be like like bloggers and shit like 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 Instagram <sighs> girls. Like if you've never eaten at Rustic Canyon <laughs> on Wilshire Boulevard, you are not a foodie. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> If you've never <laughs> waited in line at a Sephora for that new drop, you are not a beauty guru. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you've never cut the springs on your Honda Civic to make it lower so you can look fly as fuck in high school, you're not a real Honda head. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god that's fucking awesome <clears throat> if you've never eaten pussy with your ass in the air you don't really eat pussy <laughs> goodbye what eat <laughs> pussy with your ass in the air yeah like when you're both on the bed oh yeah 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 you gotta, yeah, you gotta really you gotta, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pop the, you gotta pop your cake in the yeah air. no I never I always make sure if, if, if I start to even get into that position I'm like no 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 like oh, I break, bro, I'll do it all day I'll do a handstand <laughs> a handstand I'll do a handstand in that pussy <laughs> do a handstand in that pussy yeah <laughs> it's not very ergonomic dude yeah 69 who gives a fuck about ergonomics er, dude 69 when you're fucking who gives the, a shit um you gotta f- <laughs> if you care <laughs> about ergonomics, ergonomics while you're eating pussy, you're a virgin. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, sixty nine is the most ergonomic way to eat pussy. It's the most ergonomic. That's such a great out of context clip. Yeah, yeah. Sixty nine. No nah, man, sixty nine is the most ergonomic, ergonomic way to eat pussy. It is straight up. It is. We're doing. How about this is the new Patreon tier. 
personalized sweet nothing <laughs> to fall asleep to. <laughs> I like that. Hey, dude, for my personalized sweet nothing, could you call me um, Boo Bear? Thanks. Good night. <laughs> Have a good sleep. You are my little Boo Bear. <laughs> okay. I was thinking more low effort. <laughs> oh, I'm hey. singing. I'm going full <laughs> lullaby for this. Hey, yes. hey, Zach. It's Noel, and I just want to say good night, Boo Bear. <laughs> <laughs> hey bud uh it's noel do it like a cameo yeah yo this message is for zach just want to say that you are my boo bear all right see ya <laughs> <laughs> yo Brittany, what's happening um hope everything is good i uh, just want to check in and say uh you're a sweet little cherry pie yeah all right good night <laughs> Hey, uh, Dimitri. What's up, dude? It's Cody here, and uh, I just have a little message for you. Just want to say that you are my sweet little plum cake. <laughs> All right. Good night, dude. Have a great sleep. And sweet dreams, too. Don't let those bed bugs bite. <laughs> Love you. Mwah. <laughs> just, dude, just lying in bed at night looking at his phone. He's like, oh, that was really sweet. I'm going to bed. Thanks, bro. I love these guys. <laughs> They're so great. Dude, I was... This morning I was going through relationship advice, trying to find a post. Don't I don't know like, how you do that. That's fucking depressing. Most of those are oh, yeah. very real and very depressing. Yeah, extremely dark. There was one. I mean, I, I I screenshotted a funny one that we can read. Okay. But the one that I read was like, it was like me. It was like I, male, 25, love my girlfriend, female, 24, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the sex has like started to like... Uh, 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 become less frequent, and I found out recently. She told me to my face it's because my ex, her ex boyfriend was better at having sex, and had a bigger dick, and now it shattered my confidence. And I don't know what to do. I was like, <sighs> "Oh fuck!" I got a knockout one for you that hits twice as hard as that one. Really, dude was dating a girl and found out she was masturbating to a mold of her ex. Yeah. We talked about that, didn't Did we? we? Did yeah, we? Yeah, I think we talked yeah, about that's that. That's the brutal one. She was masturbating with a mold of her ex-boyfriend's ex dick. And, and it was huge, right? Yeah, and he was using it on her. She'd be like, use it on me. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> and a lot Dude, of imagine telling fucking someone something like that. Yeah. That just knowing that would shatter their confidence. Yeah. Jesus, fuck. Evil. Oh, I don't know what I would do. I could, man, if if your girlfriend is saying you're so bad, my ex boyfriend is way better. How are you just not packing your shit instantly? I know, <laughs> just be out of there. Well, I don't think she said it like that. I think she was like, she was like, it's not you. It's just like you know, my my sex in my previous relationship was better, and so now I like I don't want to have it as much. Uh huh. You <laughs> keep going. Putting the razor in. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, that's the great. Socks and. Oh, what am I forgetting? Oh, these these are mine. Don't want to forget those. And oh, uh, my sweater. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the Xbox because it's mine. <laughs> Put that. Well, in no, no, no. It's it's. And, I'm just trying to. And okay, so I'm taking off. Um, nice to uh, see you. It was good. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Take care. I'm gonna um, I'll be by on Thursday to get the TV. I paid for that. That's mine. Um, yeah. But you can have the uh, the media console. Yeah. I think. That's fair game. Yeah. You know, you yeah. decorated it so nice. You should have it. You should have it. Come here, Sparky. Come here, good boy. We're going. We're leaving. <laughs> We're leaving. We're leaving mommy. You're leaving, but she needs a bigger penis. So we gotta we gotta <laughs> we just gotta go. Let's go. We gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Comes, come shot, come shots. No good. Uh -huh. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Perfect. <laughs> Yoda, I'm with my boys today. We're doing <laughs> doing a 20 foot cum shot <laughs> off a stadium balcony. That's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Into my boy's mouth. <laughs> From all my the way boy Kyle here. is down there. <laughs> I'm gonna ten nut. stories down, and I'm gonna nut right in his mouth over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> They're just watching it fall. Oh! oh! <laughs> Kyle down there. I got it, dude. Hold up. Hold up. What is this? This is relationship advice. Welcome back to the relationship advice hour. So this is the one that I picked out, okay? Go for it. My 
female 25, uh-huh. boyfriend, male 27, okay. got angry when I asked him if I could put a face mask on him. We were lying in bed and I was putting a face mask on. <laughs> He's all, a I, all I asked was, can I put some on you? I just thought it was fun. I didn't think it was a big deal at all. Yeah. But I guess it was emasculating or whatever because he scowled at me and raised his voice saying, do I look like a bitch to you? Oh, he's a gangster. I said, no, I'm sorry. I tried to get him to relax and he did, but I could tell he was irritated the rest of the night. He kept glaring at me and his demeanor was cold. That is so funny. That is so goddamn funny. Dude. That is I'm so- not a bitch. <laughs> sorry. Relax, dude. Hold on, let me move, Ellie. Um, <laughs> bro, how are you buddy. like? <laughs> you like in, how are you a, that fragile? A fucking face mask is all it takes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a fucking just the offer. Yeah, the fucking offer to get a face mask. Hey, fellas, if you ever find yourself in a hot situation, just keep like a face mask in your back pocket. <laughs> What's up, fool? You got a problem? Hey, man. Yeah, I got a problem with your skincare routine. You want a little bit of this? Let me help you out with hey, that. Hey, what the fuck? Food chill out. Yeah. Yo, this guy's twisted. You're tweaking, bro. <laughs> You're tweaking. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, dog. <laughs> Ew, don't put it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you want to do a face mask? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe you want to go to your little dick ex-boyfriend for that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, his dick was bigger than yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, dude. The funniest thing is saying, do I look like a bitch to you, makes you look like the biggest fucking bitch on earth. That's that's uh, the most childish thing you could say at 27 years old. You got 27, dude, you're and you're grown... that fucking insulted by a face mask? <laughs> you're a grown man. You can't just be like, no, I'm good. Don't put that... Get that fucking avocado (laughs) face mask, gross, cum-looking shit away from me. Ah, gross. (laughs) 27 years old. Just fucking, like, getting tough with your girlfriend. You look at some kind of fucking bitch to you? It's the first thing Alina did when we first started dating. She was like, you... She's like, so, what do you put on your face after you shower? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, um wrinkles uh aging like moisture what do you put on i'm like i um, don't the air i yeah, don't yeah she's like oh no 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 yeah <laughs> i put on a smile cuz i just showered i put on my game face that's the <laughs> only fucking face, face i'm putting on There's no fucking face mask cuz i'm not a bitch <laughs> he gets all want to put on a face mask the fuck i'm not fake <laughs> i don't mask anything fool i'm fucking real I'm fucking real. I'm about it, fool. Mask off. Always. Why the fuck do you think I listen to that song? It's fucking mask off, bitch. I'm not scared. So what do you think is real magic? Real magic to me is like getting me to believe something impossible. Not like, or not, not like impossible, but it's like partially a show. Like I, I know it's not real, but something that feels like, okay, that's cool. You know, like when the, when like the, like, Instagram magicians do like the okay. I bet I can guess your phone number or like your lock screen, like fun, like fun shit like that. <laughs> Not fucking David Blaine. Like I'm gonna put a thousand fire ants in my ass and then <laughs> see if I survive. Or like I'm going to submerge myself in wet concrete, yeah. let it dry, and then stay in there for two years and then come out <laughs> and then come out dead. You're like, <laughs> you're like, wait, where's the where's the magic? The magic I mean, is if I survive. <laughs> no, no. The magic is he does what he says he's going to do. And he says that he's going to die. Yeah, it's true. And so yeah, two yeah, years yeah. later, they they crack him out of the concrete and he's, he's dead, dead. And everyone's yeah. like, holy fuck. But he was worked. living up until that point. <laughs> <laughs> For the grand finale, yeah. I will die. Yeah, his heart monitor has been working the whole time. <laughs> and then he dies. Right before he comes out. Yeah. No, they crack it open. He says, no, he, he's like submerged in concrete for two years. When you crack it open, I will tell you all about my experience and die on the spot. <laughs> it, once I tell you what it was like. And I will die of suffocation. On the spot. <laughs> but in the air. See that? that see that? That's magic. That is magic. That's fucking magic. If right someone's there. breathing and they just drop dead and they're, yeah. they're younger than 30, mm-hmm. that's skill. Yeah. Or like, what about this? Like, what about like, like your toes 
will be what? in my mouth. <laughs> ah, <laughs> holy fuck. How do you do that? Oh my God. There's a few guys listening to this podcast right now being like, <laughs> I've done that one a few times. <laughs> Do you imagine that dude? First date, you're hanging out with the girls. You got some open toe shit. You're like, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I, come midnight, I bet you those toes are in my mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I told you. <laughs> yeah, I I what did I say? Wow, well, you're really sucking on those bad boys, aren't you? <laughs> Six nine signing a ten million dollar deal. That's, you think that's uh, real though? Um, you think that I feel like people just tweet that shit just to get traction. I mean, probably it's who, who cares? I think he's going to get out of prison. And what if he becomes like the next, like Tony Robbins? You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> you imagine him like, just like he becomes like a, like a religious motivational speaker. And his, the premise of everything is him telling the truth. <laughs> mm. Once I found the light, you know what I'm saying? It was like, once I found the light, right? Yeah, I was so caught up in like billboard and like charting and all that. <laughs> I forgot like there's so much more to life than like selling records because I conquered that shit. Yeah, I did. Now I want to conquer the hardest thing, which is a relationship with Jesus Christ. And you can learn all about my journey on my new album. <laughs> the truth Will always win, stupid. 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 <laughs> Tell the truth, yeah. stupid. Yeah, that, I was about to say, that's a, that's a new tagline. Tell the truth, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's going to sound he's gonna sound hard as hell rapping about people and saying they should snitch more. Yeah. He's going to be the anti-Cameron. He's going to be the, the pro-snitching rapper. Yeah. yeah. Sni- All my homies snitches. Snitch it, snitches get freedom. That will be his <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Snitches get to live real life. <laughs> Snitch uh, more, stupid. Snitch, stupid. His his first single is gonna be like tell on him. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's really good. I'm up in the precinct. We telling on him. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the cops. Like I know who did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, confessing to shit I didn't even do <laughs> I'm telling on everybody I'm telling way too much of the truth <laughs> My voice hurts I can't I can't go full stupid Stupid Tell the truth stupid <laughs> oh, Damn it dude uh, Just confessing to everything Yeah this is way too much. Yeah. What What if he took I'm taking it? the blame for homies? What What if he? That's t- how good of a dude I am. What if he just tells so much they get tired of how much of the truth he's telling? Yeah. It's like day three in the mm-hmm. in the courtroom, and they're like, "All right, Daniel, what else do you want to tell us today? <laughs> I was molested. <laughs> oh, <laughs> overruled. When it's, I was in it's fourth not grade. Related. When I was in fourth grade, I overruled. found my dad's Playboy <laughs> underneath <laughs> the bed. Enough. And I jizzed on one of the pages. Please, and please. And I put it back. I was so ashamed. Please, I retire, put it back under, under the bed. Retire the defendant. And retire the, please. And I don't know if he ever retired the defendant. It, but there was my dried cum on it. And I don't know. It was pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're going back to jail. <laughs> too much too much truth, truth. <laughs> there's too much i just did the most bad boy thing ever oh yeah you guys did a little bang bang didn't you yeah we did a little bang bang a yeah. little double header you gotta love it man a little eiffel tower man. oh yeah you gotta love it tell the people what you did <clears throat> first up okay your boy goes to waffle house okay he gets the two egg breakfast okay Ooh. with cinnamon raisin toast oh okay interesting choice but i you know i support it and sausage gravy smothered hash browns. Oh, you sick fuck. I'm a sicko. You sick fuck. I'm That's a, an absolute bad boy's order right yeah, there. I'm a it really is. Sicko. And yeah. um I ate all that shit. And uh it was we should just take note that it was four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. First meal of the day. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Knock nice. that down nice. and then walk all but twenty feet into a Wendy's and get a six piece spicy nuggets. <laughs> 
and a small chocolate frosty. Little dessert. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah, just you know. Nothing wrong. You can have chicken for dessert. <laughs> chicken nuggets for dessert. <laughs> can I get the chicken nugget parfait? <laughs> oh, you don't have one? I'm gonna have to order the frosty separate and then that's fine. I'll that's order fine. separate and then I'll just dunk I'll just yeah, submerge just, the chicken nuggets in there. In that's the that's the <laughs> fucking that's the darkest shit <laughs> I've I've done in the last 24 hours is stick chicken and ice cream. Oh, you did it? Uh, always. Oh, okay. Really? Always. Oh. Chicken nugget and the frosty, man. I, I get the fries, but I don't understand the actual chicken. <laughs> Could you imagine just scooping out Ben and Jerry's and dropping that down on a roasted chicken at like fucking Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I had a little chicken today, too. No, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How much chocolate you put on it? And <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate covered chicken. <laughs> it's a Hershey bottle just <laughs> just fucking drizzling caramel sauce on it <laughs> fucking bro do you go to Dairy Queen yeah you get a rotisserie chicken you get all those <laughs> toppings on top fucking cookie dough yeah cookie dough Keith bar <laughs> <laughs> Caramel, uh, raspberry syrup, uh, <laughs> sprinkles. Dude, you're going to fucking yogurt land, throwing down a big piece of rotisserie chicken right in the bottom, and then just oozing yogurt over top. <laughs> <laughs> Putting fucking chicken Captain yogurt. Crunch on your chicken <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yogurt chicken. <laughs> chicken yogurt. Oh my god, that's so, so good. good. Yo, next person, yo, tomorrow if if you got the nine to five and you pull up in the lunchroom, I want you to bring out your boiled chicken <laughs> pr meal prep and then just 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 take like a fucking like a shaker of sprinkles and yeah. just leave it next to your meal. <laughs> Never use it, but see if anyone like just does a double take while you're eating lunch. This is like, <laughs> like, hey, Dave, what, what's the sprinkles for? For my chicken. Huh? It's yeah. for my chicken. Oh. So you, yeah, just sprinkle it and just take oh, a bite. Top of the chicken. Duh. It's dessert chicken. Why are you looking at me like <laughs> that? <laughs> you just say it, you, you just keep pushing. Yeah. Oh, it's for my chicken. <laughs> what's up? What? For the chicken. Uh, the yeah, top of the chicken. I, no, I heard that Let's part. Let's on the chicken. Okay. See. So <laughs> <laughs> Every time they go to talk. You sprinkle it. You sprinkle it on the... <laughs> so, so, let me get this straight. You, you sp sprinkle it right on top. Sprinkle it right on top. So, you just take Sprinkle it. on the chicken. On the chicken. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool, man. I'll, all right, I'll see you later. Chicken, chicken yogurt. <laughs> Closes the door. You're just a sprinkled chicken guy at work. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Is he Dave putting sprinkles on his chicken? <laughs> just switch it up like every week. Just Dave from down the hall. It's dessert chicken. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you know chicken is a dessert? I have to talk about this machine gun I shot. I've talked about it already. You've heard it already, but. Yeah. This shit smelled. I'm not gonna, that's not even, I wasn't even gonna go to it was cool. It was any of that. It smelled so bad. The, it, the gun? The gun, yeah, because like it, like it, I don't know. It's just like the gunpowder. It's like just, there's so much of it. And it like gets like in your eyes and it makes your fucking eyes dry. Hmm. And uh, it was funny because I was about to shoot the gun and then uh, <laughs> both the people, because one person had to hold the belt. Okay. To like feed it. Okay. And the others just like a spotter. Okay. And they were both like, yo, like hold your breath. I'm like, why? I'm like, like to brace myself? They're like, no, it just smells like shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. And like when I went in, the guy's like, let me know when you're going to shoot. And then I would shoot and he'd go. <gasps> really? Does it smell like sulfur? What does it smell like? It's not like horrible, but it, it's just, it's overpowering. Huh. It's like I smell it. And I'm the just smelly like, gun. The smell. Yeah. I was like, that's the thing I was busting up laughing. The like stinky gun. That's I'm like, dude. Just fucking shooting guns with did the boys. It, did it the Texas way, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. I loved all, all. loved all the commentary from the guy at the counter. <laughs> what do you say? Who's from California? <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I'm like, all right. No. 
He's like, I don't got many of these out there, huh? <laughs> He's like, I haven't been to Kami, I mean, California in a minute. I'm oh, like, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, okay. It was the it was the weirdest position for him to like be sitting there like like kind of licking his lips and like like I felt like the visual equivalent was like him like spitting on the ground be like oh you want to shoot these guns city boy yeah and I'm like just let me shoot the fucking gun dude yeah. don't sit here and he's like oh little city boy little city boy wants to shoot a gun <laughs> I'm like just let me shoot the fucking gun <laughs> please yeah city are you boy. sure they kind of smell sure you can handle it. Little city boy. Little city boy. Tight little pants. Can your little nose handle a little gun smoke? <laughs> I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. Ew, ew, it's stinky. Oh, <laughs> little city boy doesn't like the gun smell. <laughs> Just run out of there with yeah. both hands in the air. Ew, <laughs> P-U. <laughs> oh, this gun stinks. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> God, so stinky. <sighs> Uh, stinky guns. Yesterday in Charleston, um, <laughs> we, get, we go get haircuts and we get this, you know, we're calling an Uber to go back to the venue. This fucking Uber driver pulls up and I see a big ass CV radio antenna just swinging on the top of his Ford Flex. I'm like, I already know. We're in for some fucking shit. So we get in and the motherfucker got like the equivalent to like Oakley's on. Like sophisticated Oakleys. Like they're dark, but they don't have the thick, you know, arms. Okay. They're just kind of thin. Dude's hands are at, you know, 10 and 2. Locked. <laughs> Fucking locked. They don't <laughs> move from that position. We close the doors and he's, all the only thing he says is, y'all let me know if it's too cold back there. <laughs> Head doesn't move while he says that sentence. I'm like, this dude is strapped to fucking. I see the CV radio tuner right above his kneecap. Yeah. He fucking heat, dude. He checks his left mirror and then really quickly spits his dip into his can. And nice. Puts the can back. Did he have driving gloves? He should have. Yeah, I feel right. like that's one of the dudes that wears driving gloves just to really get a good grip on the wheel. I think he took him off out of courtesy, but yeah, I think fair he enough. Know, yeah, okay. He would have. Okay. Then he, uh, you know, signals out, makes a very, you know, very calculated assessment of the pullout. Okay. Gets on the road. Nice. And just <laughs> reports to us like a fucking air traffic. Just a fucking pilot. He's like, traffic's starting to build up, so it's going to be a little <laughs> bit slower today. We're like, all right. Okay. He's like, calling it. Like, we're just, just, we're just getting back to the venue. <laughs> Literally just got to this city. I have yeah. no idea. And I fucking, I just like, I'm like, I'm picking on him because I'm hating how seriously he's taking it. Yeah. I'm like, just, just this drive, man. It's cool. <laughs> I say that to Matt. Like, I'm like texting him like an asshole. I'm like, I hate how serious this guy is. And he's like, he's like, this is fucking serious. You think it's a game? <laughs> he has our fucking lives in his hand, dude. In his gloved hands. Yeah. You, think, you think it's a fucking game, bitch? <laughs> so I look out the window. <laughs> our man is just like, he points out to us like this this big yacht. And he's just, you know, he's he's getting wound up about the yacht. You know, it's fucking, <laughs> I hear that thing is $650,000 a week. Can you fucking believe that? He doesn't say fucking. He, this guy doesn't curse at all. And Matt's just kind of egging him on, and then, and then he just starts, like, going deeper, and he's like, oh, and I talked to this girl. She's an engineer uh, for boats, and she told me the ideal boat, because, you know, I moved down here to retire, and she told me the ideal boat is 63 feet long. And Matt's, like, kind of specific. He's like, I know, but, uh, the, you know, apparently all you need is 350, 350K, and, 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 then, and then the slip fee, that ain't nothing, because you look around here in Charleston, everything down here is a million. And Matt's like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely right. You're so right, dude. Once you compare it, you're right. It just Matt keeps like encouraging him, and by the time we get to the venue, this our dude is steaming <laughs> about fucking real estate, pissed off, <laughs> heated the fuck up, and I'm just like looking out the window, like Matt, just leave him alone. <laughs> and Matt's just casually, uh, just like being like. Poor well, guy, man. And then, dude, the conversation comes full circle because he says something, and then Matt just goes, well, with the prices down here, and the guy goes, exactly. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. It's like a feel-bad laugh, you know? Yeah, I'm just like, Jesus Christ, Matt. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. And then and then he picks a new topic because we're we're now close to the venue and he's he got like, too steamed about the real he estate. Got too steamed. He's like, yeah, I can't fucking talk about yeah, this anymore. So he had to chill out. And then I go. Then 
I casually, you know, me just trying to like get some breath out because I'm dying laughing. I'm like, man, looks like it's going to get cracking down here. And he's like, oh, it's going to get crazy. <laughs> then Matt's like, how crazy? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Tell it. Stop us. it. <laughs> What's it like? He's like, oh, it's Halloween, man. It's just going to build and build, you know, on the radio. They're talking about they're doing this uh, sexy costume contest. <laughs> Matt's like, where, where, where? The guy's like, Club Deco. <laughs> doing it down at Club Deco. <laughs> Matt's like, oh, man. The guy's like, you know, I pick up these girls the other day. They're just, oh, I can't even say it. <clears throat> can't even say it. They're just, <laughs> the clothes are just see-through. I can't, I can't believe it. <laughs> Unbelievably bold. Club Deco. Club Deco. <laughs> Fuck. It's Club Deco. <laughs> what was it called? Deco. <laughs> One more time and then get it back here. Club Deco. He's Trying like, not to look back. Yeah, no, dude. It's the Deco. The whole time he's just beaming forward. His nose is <laughs> locked at 12 o'clock. Imagine a hands guy's never off yeah, the wheel. Imagine a guy getting that irate, but never slamming his hand <laughs> on the steering wheel. It's just so <laughs> off-putting uh, how non-animated he is, but his voice. He's like a fucking NPC from a video game. <laughs> just fucking... Club Deco! Can I just through the steering wheel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, weirdly. yeah, his hand is drifting in and out of the steering Because <laughs> the fucking graphics are fucking up. Oh my god, am I in goddamn GTA? <laughs> This is fucked up. Club Deco! Dude, we get back to the venue. I'm like, Matt, why did you do that? Matt's like, I'm sorry, dude. I just, <laughs> I just, I had to keep it going. Uh, I was shaking, dude. <laughs> the screaming Club Deco. <laughs> and how angry he was about the again. girls. Club Deco! Deco! <laughs> it's Club Deco! How do you spell that? D E C C O! <laughs> Deco! Mm -hmm. I was howling and i mean actually howling at this clip of this dude in blackface <laughs> teaching like a science class or some shit he's dressed up like common and he's he's mimicking his like intel ai commercial but he just ends up looking like robert downey jr from tropic thunder <laughs> he's like fully like like blackface <laughs> to the neck like and is he bald He's bald. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe that could have been a bald cap. I don't know. The the lighting in that clip is awful. But I couldn't watch it. I opened it up and oh, it's so I couldn't I started like started it and it was too awkward. I couldn't watch it. <laughs> Cuz everyone in the class knows that it's fucked up. But he f somehow thinks that it's okay. <laughs> I was howling just thinking so many things. I'm like, first up, what was going through his mind when he was wiping the makeup off? No, <laughs> when no. the day was over. All right, that first up, was, did, did he just feel like... Did, did he... <laughs> no, dude. What about what he was thinking when it was halfway on? <laughs> Do you think when he got past his eyes and he was like, yeah, this is still so sick. <laughs> They're, They're so... going to fucking love this. <laughs> There's so many steps <laughs> that should have inspired him to like think that one... To, bruh, First of all, he's teaching like high school, so you know classes start like seven. Did he put it on before work? So is he in like blackface at six in the morning just, eating breakfast just, with his wife? <laughs> like driving through traffic in blackface, just like looking at people like, what's up? And no one... Blasting common. Yeah, at, yeah, getting into character. Yeah. And no one's like, yo, <laughs> what? That's not cool. <laughs> just looking... It's 4 a.m. He has to get up extra early to yeah. put it on. <laughs> yeah. Honey, sorry. It's 4. I have to get into costume. <laughs> she wasn't like, maybe don't. Maybe just don't. Was was it a, like a Halloween thing or was it? <clears throat> I think it was like. He was teaching like a lesson, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, it was like, he was like, I think he was trying to talk about like AI. <laughs> but like when you hear him, like he doesn't sound like common at all. Like. That, when you bring it up, let's play the sound. He sounds, bro. Oh my fucking god, dude! I gotta hear this. I was crying, laughing. Like nobody. Like if you got up at four and at four thirty after you stepped out of the shower, you're like, it's time. You're fucking. Or do you put it on at his desk? <laughs> People are trying to go. Hey, Mike. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> so I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting ready for today's lesson. What's up? What's up? Hey, Mike. 
Yo, what's up? Oh, <laughs> what the God? What are you doing, dude? What? I'm just... He's halfway. It's just here. <laughs> Thinking about it spherically like this. Or not spherically, but you know what I'm saying. Like, just it's, just a, yeah, it's split completely. It's like a two-tone Half basketball. Half bald-ass head is just... Yeah. <laughs> No, no, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> My half is blackface. The other half is just still. What's up? No, dude. Dude, he fucking. He only has the front and the neck, <laughs> yeah. but the back and the top of the head is not done because he can't see back there. So the back of his head is just white. And then he turns around and then it's just like, what's up? Oh. Hey, Mike. Yo, what's good? Oh, what? Hey, I'm gl- thank God that you're here. Could you do the top of my head? No, no, I'm <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna blackface the top of your head, you moron. What the fuck are you asking me? <laughs> oh my you god! You gotta think dude. there's like so many points where people could have been like, "This is fucked up." That's what I'm saying. You can't do that. That's what had me crying. And also, as a teacher, how do you not know that that's not okay? <laughs> dude, listen to him. He sounds like Robert Downey Jr. But in Tropic Thunder, but not doing a good job. Opportunities limitless, possibilities senseless. What will you do? Millions of people, not enough to eat. What will we do? With AI, Microsoft technology, the future is up to you. You can do it with AI. <laughs> with AI. <laughs> can I see? With AI. <laughs> My man, dude. I think he realizes right at the end he's that like, this person is filming him. <laughs> he's like, because he oh. goes to like go into a like a second verse, and he's like, wait, and then it ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did, yeah, he like he like he like gets the hands up, like he's ready to go again. <laughs> Millions of people. Millions of people. AI. <laughs> What? Justin Trudeau had a damn pro. That's bad. <laughs> That's so bad. There's so many levels to that. Hey, ah, there's so many <laughs> points in time where he could have he could have stopped. There's just so many hours before that happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you think he probably went to his wife and was like, "Babe, I got a really I got some good plan for tomorrow's class. I'm gonna kill this shit. I'm gonna kill this shit. You're gonna fucking love it, dude. And then as he's explaining it, there's like five things where she's like, <laughs> and so and you're gonna rap too? <laughs> yeah, just oh, about oh. what? In blackface? <laughs> no, all of those. None of it is good. None of that stuff's okay. <laughs> dude, the half the <clears throat> the half submerged blackface is is hilarious. <laughs> Just quarter head, like the front and the the top of the that he can't see, <laughs> but not the back and not the bottom. <laughs> it's just like one fourth of the pie. Just just to the eyelids. Ugh, that's so good. Fucking hell, dude. Yo, Wyatt has, has uh, opened up our eyes to a lot of things. He's showing us how Grinder works. Grinder is the most dude app. This shit is crazy. <clears throat> I could not believe it. That shit is like that shit is advanced. Yeah, you can filter by anything. It's yeah. kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked, but it's like, dude, it's it's like it's dude shit to yeah. the core. Yeah. You but you brought up a good point that night. It's like straight dating is like what you want to be perceived as. And like gay dudes was like, no, it's like the hard numbers. Literal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this tall, this weight, when I can fuck, where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like a big list. That's dating, straight dating is like, is like, yeah, you take someone out and you just, you just act like, oh yeah, I read a lot of books and <laughs> it's like who you want to be seen as, you know what I mean? <laughs> gay dating is just like, no, it's yeah. just hard. I'm just going to be honest. This is exactly who I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm five nine. And if you're looking to fuck right now. <laughs> Then let's do it. If not, there's plenty of other people within a mile of here that are down to fuck. You ever uh you you ever wanted to give a guy's five nine three twenty a blowjob? No, that's fine. <laughs> I literally have a hundred people waiting for me <laughs> that are down to do it. <clears throat> I was like joking with Wyatt that like gate like grinder is like like I imagine like Wyatt's DMs are like what people wished their DMs looked like. Yeah. Just hundreds of people being like, let's fuck, let's fuck, let's fuck, let's yeah, go, yeah, yeah. let's go, let's go. You down, you down, you down, you down, you down. I'm sitting beside you in this coffee shop right now. You down? <laughs> like, we bottom of the bathroom, quick handy. 
<laughs> Come out. Are you down? Like a regular gay dude probably gets as many DMs as like a rapper. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, Wyatt and the baby's inbox it looks exactly, <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that concept was killing me that a regular gay man gets as much ass as like someone like a famous person like, yeah. who like works so hard like to be at that level. He's like, check it out. He's refreshing his inbox. It just pops 40 <laughs> just new messages every time. The timer is one second on every single one of them. Yeah, man. It's like this all day. Look at this. <laughs> Want to fuck? Want to fuck? Want to fuck? Want to fuck? Everything want to fuck? 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 You're hot. You're hot. You're hot. You're hot. You're hot. Yeah, it's like all all day. If I ever feel a little bit down, I just so. Oh, look at that shit. Seven hundred people want to fuck me. That's 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 nice. I just want to read this one. Okay. I, eighteen male, had a fling over vacation with an older woman, early forties. She recently told me that she is pregnant with my child. Oh wait, wait, what was it? Wait, what's up? Is this your post? <laughs> 18 male had a fling over vacation with an older woman Ooh. in her early 40s, and she hit him up and said, I'm pregnant. Ooh. Damn. Wow. Damn. What do you do? Beat that cougar pussy up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got that shit pregnant, dog. <laughs> Did what her husband couldn't. <laughs> Damn. He's like, I'm pregnant. He's like, hell yeah, you are. <laughs> He's like, that's my good nut. <laughs> Got that young nut. That's why you pregnant, bitch. Respectfully, <laughs> I'm going to call you a bitch because you my bitch. Damn, that's Love crazy. You. you never see, you, you know, you hear about teen moms a lot. You never hear about teen dads. Yeah, teen dad. Teen dad and that good old cougar puss. I was watching the show Modern Love on, on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. And like that happens in one of the episodes. The she she sleeps with some guy and she gets pregnant. I think it was in the first episode, actually, and she, like, meets up with him. And she's like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, damn. And she's like, yeah, you know, you don't have to be involved if you don't want. He's like, great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was that. And I was like, Jesus, fuck, dude. Just instantly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh fuck my God, thank you. That's a huge weight off my Bro, shoulders. I appreciate you. you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank damn. you so much. Damn. Stay in touch. Yeah, hit me up. Yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> dude, no, because 18, year old, that's mad professional, because when I hit here 18, that I picture her texting him like, I'm I'm pregnant. And he's like, bruh. Don't cap, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't fucking cap. <laughs> You're pregnant. You're like 40. La, 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 la. What? <laughs> you old AF. How the fuck you pregnant? Bruh. Yo, yo I'm pregnant. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pregnant, SpongeBob meme. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I have Bruh, stage three. <laughs> just a picture of it's just like a shitty selfie from like here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're pregnant? Damn, this bitch pregnant. <laughs> Michael, I have stage three cancer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Get more cancer, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, oh. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Just goes to all of his friends. Lol, I'm a dad. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dad, bro. I'm a dad, bro. I'm a dad, Lamau. Lamau, I'm a dad. Fuck, lol. Lol, y'all gonna make TikToks together? <laughs> Capital LOL, dude. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be so sick. <laughs> LMFAO, Mike, you would get a cougar pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's so you, Mike. <laughs> and then the the theory was that. He would have gone on to be like one of those like Ted Bundy type motherfuckers. Really? If he wasn't caught. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's good. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Just, yeah. <laughs> just really, yeah. Just really killed the vibe with that one. Sorry. <laughs> vibe killed check. the vibe. Yeah. Vibe check. That's just my fucking, it's just my, I don't know. You dismembered the vibe there. <laughs> I Stephen McDaniel the vibe. <laughs> I tracked down the vibe and just cut it into a million pieces. <laughs> dude, you, gotta, you just fucking Ted bundy the vibe, dude. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? What is your problem, yeah, dude? You're bro. like the Ted Bundy of vibes, of dude. vibes right now, dude. You follow every vibe, you pull up, and you just fucking sever that shit into a million pieces, and then you fuck <laughs> it up, dude. What the fuck is your problem, bro? 
Yeah, Jesus. Fucking Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Ted Bundy of vibes. <laughs> Y'all got to use that if you're in college. You got to start telling people that shit when they fuck the vibe up. You're like the Ted Bundy of vibes, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Every fucking vibe, dude. You just got to... <laughs> you're murdering the vibe. <laughs> You're literally like stabbing it and cutting it into a million pieces and putting it in trash bags and then putting it in vats of acid that are stored in the forest. <laughs> Jesus. You're the fucking ice man of vibes, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that Have should, fun rotting in prison, vibe killer. <laughs> that should be some stupid fucking... That should be like the next season of... Uh, was that Netflix show where they parody fucking... Yeah, like American Vandal. Yeah, American Vandal. But like Season who killed three. the vibe? Yeah. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's so dumb, dude. It's so dumb. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> so dumb, dude. You know, we feel that um, given the be- the the various snubbings Snubbing. on, on the Grammy nominees, we want to give BTS a nomination on our own award show ourselves. Yeah. So, wait, wait, what's ours called? Um, The Cleavers just the cleavers like you oh got it yeah, right, right. yeah you get a cleaver you, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The cleavers i fuck i fuck with that the cleaver awards okay and so, bts is nominated for most cherished most cherished in our hearts yeah and they're the only nominee the only one because they deserve to win they deserve to win and guess what they won they won <laughs> they won it so congratulations <laughs> BTS, BTS on your most cherished in our hearts cleaver congratulations we also want to give out our Nomination for weirdest TikTok dad. <laughs> this is the only two <laughs> categories so far. Weirdest TikTok dad and most cherished, <laughs> most in, our cherished in our hearts. So if you don't go on TikTok or you like to <laughs> pretend you're too cool for TikTok, there is a young lady by the name of Charlie D'Amelio. She has literally fucking exploded on this fucking app. So how many followers does she have? Five million. Five million? Yeah. And at- how long i don't know i'm like scrolling down to like see how far back she posted it's my understanding that she had just been like just a a regular 15 year old kid on this app and then a bunch of creepos and dudes started like duetting her videos and like some of them not knowing that she was fucking 15 so weird is dad on tiktok yeah so keep going it goes out to her dad charlie d'amelio's dad okay so this is why he's getting nominated ready what's up tiktok this is going out to all the boys who called my house, texted me, emailed me. Uh, My name is Mark D'Amelio. I am Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio's father. You're welcome. (laughs) What's up, TikTok? (sighs) Oh my God. All you kids out there who was uh, calling my house, commenting on my videos, well, I'm Charlie and Dixie's dad, and we just want to say you're welcome for my hot fucking kids. Also, I'm gay. Also, I'm fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> what a weirdo, dude. Yeah, that shit is strange as oh, hell, that's bro. that's bad. Yeah. That's bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're welcome for my hot daughter. <laughs> you're welcome for my hot fucking kids. <laughs> that came from my dick. And he's got, you know, a cool store with, like, fucking fitted hats yeah. and, you know, and Charlie's in there dancing all the time, <laughs> doing a fucking dances with a mom's body. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you know, you're welcome. All from me and, and a mother. The, uh, me and a mother made that for you. <laughs> I'm on the, what's up, TikTok? It's Mark. Uh, it's the guy with the hottest fucking kids on TikTok and the hottest fucking girl. Uh, who is my wife? Who is my wife? Who I let fuck other men because <laughs> I fuck men personally. Because I'm, I'm fucking gay. gay. <laughs> Just want to say thanks for the cleaver. Thank what, you. It's an honor. <laughs> you know, I never when I when I busted my fat fucking nut in my wife, I thought, ah, I really hope I don't have to do this again. <laughs> and it turns out I didn't have to because I made two hot fucking kids. <laughs> And uh, it's fine for me to say that because I like men. So <laughs> I knew as soon as I, as soon as I married my wife, I knew. I said I, I looked at her. I said I can't wait to see how hot my fucking kids are. <laughs> Damn, that's rough, dude. Yeah. So you, that's you, rough, Mark. You get the cleaver. 
Yeah, you get the cleaver for what was it? Weirdest, <laughs> weirdest dad on TikTok. Dad. Dude, I love I love dance choreographers because you know I mean this is like a dead ass meme, but like they always all the funny ass phrases they have to like remember moves. Oh yeah, do this like you're digging rice. Okay, you're farming for rice. Okay, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Pull crops. One, two. Uh, uh. Ball change. Digging rice. Reach <laughs> to the sky. Pray to your father. Calling the bank. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just funny to like look at like dance signing a big contract yeah <laughs> it's just like looking looking at those big like dance groups and like to us they're like oh shit like they're on beat yeah that's just fine yeah. and, like and in their head they're like dig the rice dig the rice calling the dad big. model on deal or no deal <laughs> kickball change step one five <laughs> left leg um Dad's coming back home. Yay, psych. Divorce still on. You're a puppet. You're a puppet. <laughs> S- cradling a small baby. Obama kissed the baby. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Chuck it. <laughs> Goodbye. Throw the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the baby. Keep the bath water. <laughs> Chuck the baby. Chuck Throw it again. Throw the baby. <laughs> Pass the baby to I'll your imagine. partner. Now throw it. <laughs> Imagine a choreographer <laughs> choreographing Just, a move called Throw the Baby. All right, so you know how you would cradle a baby? Now imagine and if kid, you hit... Now kiss it. Mwah. Yeah, that's the second move. Now you hate that baby. You realize it doesn't look like you. And you're just gonna... Throw it. Out the window. Out the window. <laughs> Imagine that slide whistle. And there it goes. Yo, play this Matthew McConaughey shit. This has been beaten to death, but I think we have to watch it. Okay. Because it's so funny. Matthew McConaughey. Instagram. And just play the first video. This keyboard is fucking weird. It's like this shit that fucking way too famous people do where they join a social media network and they make it a way bigger deal than it has to be. Like, no one really gives a shit that Matthew McConaughey is on Instagram now. I hate that he's... Who would actually, like, really care about that? I hate that Maybe, he's... like, a 50-year-old mom in Ohio, maybe? Filtering the shit out of his images, too. God damn, dude. This fourth post, big strike here. Oh, God. It's his glasses at? on a script. Process. Yeah. It's pro- it says process. Dudes like this clearly think that everyone in the world cares about his process, you know? It's like, you make great movies, you're a fucking great actor, but it's not like you're Jesus. Because Gary V is Jesus. He, Jerry, Gary V is Jesus. All right. When people come to my page, I want them to see, see me. Um, Why is this stopping? Look, this is my first venture into sharing myself and my views with the world, and I'm a little bit nervous about it. Um, <laughs> he's he's playing a character. I'm, I'm, <laughs> we pause it. I, like, I know I want to have a monologue. I'm not sure I want Wait, this also this part is fucking great too, what he says right after this. Hold on. I'm have the dialogue. <laughs> but I've learned that What does that mean? I want to have a monologue. I'm not sure I want to have the dialogue. <laughs> that is the rich that's the most actor laugh I've seen in a minute. God damn. That that means um he just wants it to be about him, but he doesn't want to hear what other people have to say. You gotta have the dialogue to have the monologue just as you have to have a monologue to have the dialogue so I'm- what dude <laughs> i hate this man i hate this This is just the most actor shit i've seen this like n- like north hollywood like plain white door that he has in the background like all this shit is so la and i feel like there's five people behind the camera right now that are like <laughs> yeah. nodding like yeah, yeah dude i mean he's he, totally right you know when people you gotta have the monologue that's the dialogue the dialogue that's the monologue <laughs> this is awful man what i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to uh Sharing who I am with you. I'm looking forward to seeing if, uh, if who I am translates. If what I want to share translates. Just, just do it then. Just do it. Just do it. Why you got to talk about it? This that is... just ruins the whole thing. Why you got to get meta with it? I'm looking forward to seeing if it translates. Well, it's definitely not translating right now. No, no. Because this is weird as fuck. And bro, like, you, what, what do you think, bro? You think people care about your one post? And then your two posts? No one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. Saying, Do you know how many people post on this bitch 
Everyone is posting all the fucking time. Fuck your post, Dude, homie. Especially now. Yeah. With the amount yeah. of fucking shit yeah. online. Fuck your post. You know, what? you know how many posts I'm looking at per day? <laughs> you know what my per post? My fucking is like 700. Post per, post per hour? Dude, is? no. Fuck that. Scroll Twitter. That's like at least 50. Oh, yeah. 50. At least. In what? 20 uh, seconds i yeah. can crush 50 posts <laughs> you're fucking dude bro so my post per minute right now 100 at least i mean yeah. and that's not that's just casual browser yeah ppm is is like 600 on weed 600 yeah easy and you think i'm gonna stop for your fucking for th for this if it tickles your funny bone if it makes you think a second makes your heart swell up no nah, i'm out of here <laughs> dude, <laughs> if, makes your if heart it... swell up you think you're gonna post something on instagram that's gonna make my heart swell up yeah yeah, nah. Nah. I've never looked at a single post on Instagram and even ever felt anything. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never looked at a post on Instagram and had a feeling. I'm just like, it's purely just like, yeah, this shit happened. That's it. No one has ever made something that made me go, oh. This is me on Instagram. <laughs> Fifty posts. I just did. yeah, just fifty. Way, yeah, 50. yeah. <laughs> Not a single fucking thought or emotion or anything. That's, it's just colors. Yeah, that's yeah. all it is to me. Is yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah. You think my heart's gonna swell up? You know, you Dude. know what? You know what makes my heart swell up, Matthew? Is when I go on Twitter and I see a video title captioned "LMAO." She pulled his pants up. I go what. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a video of a stripper in Mexico about to give a guy a blowjob yeah. and then pulls his pants up because his dick is small. Yeah. That made me feel something. That made my heart shrink a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That made my heart swell because I felt for the guy. I'm like, oh. Yeah. He I, had that smeat. You got the smeat. <laughs> I, get, I get it, bro. You got the smeat. <laughs> you was bold to go up there and pull it out. With the smeat. With the smeat. That um, would have been a good, great first post for him just yeah. repost a meme yeah yeah and be like lol i'm here bitches <laughs> dude that would have been hard as fuck <laughs> hard as fuck that would have made somebody feel that would have tickled my funny bone oh yeah my heart would have swelled but nah, up a he went bit. with this shit yeah. a little bit if it makes you take a quiet moment for a walk and go i gotta check in with the m and the e well <sighs> man man the value of a post to make you go check in with the m and the e yeah what is uh, the M and the E? Me. Oh. I'm, uh, <laughs> man, I was thinking something else, man. I was thinking something else. But no, Matt, I can tell you right now, you're not going to post anything that makes me go, oh, fuck, I got to think about me right now. The only thing that does that <laughs> no, is- No, no, I got to check in with me. Yeah, the only thing that does that is porn. Porn makes you go, whoa. After the fact. Yeah. After that's you're the, done. That's yeah. when you got to check in with yourself yeah, a little you're bit. Yeah, you're like, man, maybe- Maybe I did play too much Fortnite. Yeah. Um, and then you're looking at your Fortnite cosplay stepsister. Yeah. Fucks her dad. Yeah. You know, and you're yeah. like, yeah, this is. Maybe I got to check in with me. Yeah, maybe I need to. got to take a little walk, check in with the M, M and the e. e. Yeah. You think he wrote this? Oh, fuck I feel like I he know. did. I feel like he wrote it. Yeah. I, mean, what I feel else like he wrote here? it in final draft or whatever. Yeah. Like, and it's in script format. Yeah. And he printed it out. He printed it. He's got a script supervisor right now, mm -hmm. like making sure he hits all the lines. Mm -hmm. What's the rest of this, though? Like, Hopefully, all those things. Let's have some fun with it, though. And let's, let's again, let's keep the high eye, not the low eye. High eye. What? What does that mean? How many followers does he have? 1.7 million. Oh, bro is killing it. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's a husband, a father, an actor, a minister of culture, a professor, a creative director. Austin FC, whatever the fuck that is. JK Livin and pickle expert. Oh, oh. Huh. a little bit of personality there. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that by makes your, my heart swell a little bit. Yeah, by your nine your preceding nine titles and <laughs> accolades i would not have guessed that you are one for pickles i mean it humanizes him a little bit it you know? does yeah pickle expert pickle you guys expert. like pickles you guys like pickles and you know every you guys everyone all you guys like pickles too i like pickles i'm like you except i'm a fucking a-list celebrity <laughs> it's just instagram yeah it's just instagram just yeah. post something yeah what's uh what's his, what's it's just what's up fuckers that's what he should have posted 
Yeah, that's it. What's up, fuckers? And it's like him photoshopped in a Buick. Yeah. I'm going to follow him, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to follow him just, just, just to see what's up. Just for the train wreck? Well, just to see the posts. Yeah. See if anything makes my heart tickle. Yeah. Watch him just post a video of him like feeding like a dying animal. <laughs> You're like, damn. That actually does kind of make I my heart it. swell up a little bit. I, I do want to check in with the M and the E now. Damn. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. Breaking news, everyone. Um, there's a shit terrorist on the loose. <laughs> well, I guess this is like a, a trend now. Yeah. We, so we talked about the the diarrhea attack. The visceral diarrhea and, and attack. People, we're not going to... Let's not make it too... Okay. Too, too okay, visual. Not, okay, all right. Not, not too visual. Sorry. But we all know what happened. A guy poured hot diarrhea on a woman <laughs> on Hollywood Boulevard and it dripped down her face and... Into her maybe eyes. into her mouth a little bit. <laughs> And into her eyes. Maybe she could taste that. it. It doesn't Maybe matter. Maybe she could taste it. Hot, chunky. <laughs> diarrhea. We know that happened. Okay, we're not going to get too visual with it, though, in an effort to not be too gross. <laughs> but we know that happened, right? Chunky was hot, right? It left yeah. out in the sun. Yeah. And um, and uh, what do you think it tasted like? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we spent 30 minutes talking about diarrhea last episode, and, and we thought that was it. Oh, okay, move on. Guess what, guys? Guess what? Two shit attacks, two diarrhea bombs in Canada. Toronto. Of all places. My birthplace. They came directly for me. <laughs> it's because of me. That's, <laughs> that's why they, they're like, oh, you want to talk about poo-poo? Okay. And then they went and attacked my hometown. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Is that, you know, we had so many comments, people being like, why did you talk about this for so long? Like, why? I couldn't eat lunch. I literally gagged. I'm in the car throwing up. And I literally threw up listening Boo. to this. And oh. I had diarrhea after listening to this. And all these comments <laughs> of people asking why. And then it happens again, like three days later. That's why. It's because yeah. we're on the fucking pulse with this yeah, shit. Yeah. We know when something is going to be a trend before it even is a trend. Yeah, we call it. And when it. we see diarrhea attack... We knew what was up. That's the wave. <laughs> that's the new wave right there. That's the shit the terrorist. Wa- the shit terrorist. You know, we knew this is... Bro, the guy... Did you read it all about the guy in Toronto? First of all, some, some, somebody said that he had... He was giggling. Yeah. And he, first of all, giggling... <laughs> he just... Second, he's just dressed like hella normal. Yeah. <laughs> just looking mad normal. With all the... the, all the I gotta throw up for a second. Okay. <laughs> it just gives me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all the pictures of him are just him beaming. Yeah, he's like he like, I'm like dude, evil, bro. It's not even evil. You don't think it's not even evil? This guy's like this is about to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's poop. It's poop. You know. And then the person's like, oh my god. He's like, I know, but come on. It's like it's funny. It's funny. You can't see the comedy in this a little bit. Come on, Come dude. Come on. It's uh, humor's at someone's expense always. Just fucking be a trooper, dude. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Laugh with me. <laughs> I'm giggling. Why can't you? <laughs> just walking around the big bucket of shit. Just like. <laughs> 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 no, that's like the it laugh. Okay, so it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's just snort laughing. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and then he runs away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, up until a few weeks ago, Shaterism, we were at Imodium Green. But now <laughs> we have upgraded to Pepto Red. And it is, uh, I couldn't think of a red medicine. <laughs> Pepto Red. Pepto sponsored Red. And uh, it's, uh, you know, we are advising extreme caution when moving about in these in the streets. Uh, in the library. In the library, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So that was just where is that? Is it in the library? It was in the library, yeah. Bro, a university f- library. Imagine just studying for fucking st- your stats exam. Well, libraries smell like shit anyway because that's how he's able to get it in there. Yeah. He brought that bucket in and there was no change in the atmosphere. Yeah. Massive bucket of diarrhea. No one. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, someone's studying, and they feel a spray on their face, and they just wipe it off, and just keep studying. (laughs) I didn't realize I was attacked with diarrhea until I left the library. (laughs) Until I looked in the mirror. I just thought that there was just that good old library smell. 
the library musk. <laughs> that library dew. Yeah, you know. Drips off the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, and- it's just a moisture that develops on your textbooks. And <laughs> so when I saw it, I just cleared <laughs> my face. That's what libraries are like, right? They're, yeah. They're, Musty and Yeah, like a moist. greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. They're moist. They're moist. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> And then, and then I, I I went to take take a uh, use the bathroom during my studies, and lo and behold, I am <laughs> covered in diarrhea. <laughs> Doo doo attacks, man. My buddy texted me yesterday. He's on a he, he he was flying somewhere yesterday. Yeah. And he texts us after he lands. He's like he's like I got a I got a story for you guys. <laughs> he said uh, we're taking off and. Basically, the captain comes on right for the takeoff and says, "Hey, we're we're gonna try and beat this storm, <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be tight." Nah, man, I, I think we're all right. <laughs> let's just relax for a yeah, little let's bit. Just chill None out. of us mind. <laughs> so we're gonna try and beat the storm, but it's gonna be tight, or some some weird sus language like that <laughs> that a captain should never yeah, fucking yeah, say. It's gonna be tight, <laughs> even if you're even if it is gonna be tight. Don't say that to the people. <laughs> and so they're like thirty minutes away. And the captain's like, "All right, we're gonna try and we're gonna try and land." <laughs> and they're like, it, and he looks over and he goes, and he says to his girlfriend, "He's like, I, I really don't think that we should be doing this. It's like lightning, crazy turbulence." <laughs> oh and uh, so everyone on on board is stressing. Right? <laughs> the captain banks a right. My buddy is sitting by the exit seat. He banks a right, and a bucket's worth of water comes through the exit door <gasps> and splashes on him. <laughs> He screams. His girlfriend screams. They hit two big pockets of turbulence. And so he looks at his girlfriend. He's like, I'm a, we're going to die. Like, I love you. And they're like holding each other. And everyone on board is like praying because they see the water came through. And so they're like, it must be some fucked up thing with the plane that there's like no, nothing from the outside should ever come into the fucking inside of the plane. <laughs> and the whole time the flight attendant is just like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just relax. Miss, please, back in your seat, please. The seatbelt sign, the seatbelt sign is still on. It's fine. Could everyone relax, Ma'am, please? Ma'am, the seatbelt sign is still on. <laughs> please stay in your seat. <laughs> she's just getting thrown the fuck around. <laughs> Everybody stay in their seats, please. No, she's up with a drink cart. Yeah. <laughs> you said you want out of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> So they're freaking out. They think they're going to die. Um, he ends up having to turn around and basically land at some deserted airstrip in like r- coastal, random coastal Mexico. Whoa. Some fucking, you know, like drug uh, yeah. runway. Yeah. And they land. They stayed there for like two hours and then they took off once the storm <laughs> finished and they went to their final destination. <laughs> First of all, man, words pilots should never just say, Try. I don't want to hear a pilot ever say try. Forget yeah, tight. Yeah. You know, we're going to try. Mm, let's not try. <laughs> let's not try anything. It's going to be tight. <laughs> yeah. It's good. This one's going to be a gamble, you guys. <laughs> Everyone's like, <laughs> well, what's up? <laughs> dude, he fucking, he, dude, he went, he tried to hit that storm. Like he, he thought he was going to do some fucking Denzel Washington <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, I know. He was like, I'm going to get through this. Then he like pulled up and. He fucking did that hard right, and he shit himself, too. And he was like, yeah, now we going to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, got, you know what? Hey, guys, I'm sorry. We're not going to try anything today. I'm a, I wanted to be a hero, yeah, but, but I just, nah. I'm shitting my pants yeah, right now. Yeah. I'm just as scared as you guys are. There's water pouring in the front, too. Br- brutally honest pilot. Everyone's like, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> He's like, I'm really scared. I've, I've never been in this scenario before in all of also, my- Also, I'm tired. <laughs> I barely slept last night. I drank a lot. <laughs> you know, and, and it's just because the, the the divorce is getting so brutal. And, uh, you know, the kids are finally old enough to go to college, so we thought it was a good time, and I should not have had that conversation last night. Oh, man, I'm fucking exhausted. Like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> you, know, you know when fucking the flight attendants at the end, they're like, oh, bye, thanks for flying with us. <laughs> He's just up at the front, everyone walking by. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone's just taking a handful of shit and putting it on his face. No, he's already covered in puke. (laughs) Dried puke all over the front of his thing. (laughs) The diarrhea. Thank you for flying with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for flying Alaska. (laughs) Thank you. Appreciate it. (laughs) That'd be so funny, dude. He's trying to save face. He's got dried puke all over his front. 
thanks for flying Alaska. Appreciate you. <laughs> looks, Thank you for your business. Appreciate it. He's super pale. Yeah. Just like <laughs> looks sick as hell. Like you can't even stand up straight. <laughs> that was a bumpy one, yeah. wasn't it? Thanks for flying with us. Well, <laughs> whew, right. Yeah. I had it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was fine. It was fine. You look at some kids. You guys had fun. <laughs> yeah, free roller coaster, huh? It's like a, it's like Splash Mountain back there, huh? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we never really talked about that. That's the funniest part about, like, if the plane lands in water, dude, if the plane lands in water, it's exploding. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not fucking just gonna. Now, we're just going the other way. Now, yeah. instead of diarrhea, there's someone on a plane who's like. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, <laughs> can I get they any. They felt sick from the poop talk, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and now yeah. they're scared as shit. Can I get any relief from this <laughs> fucking podcast? <laughs> Let's go. Marky Mark. Let's do it. What's up, Braden? It is Mark McGrath from the band Sugar Ray. Off the charts. Sugar Ray! <laughs> this, the, the, just off rip, the, like, the, the, it's not like a lack of motivation, but it's like a Sugar Ray. Like, you know, it's like there's pain. Well, he's doing it like a radio host almost. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Brayden? It's uh, Mark McGrath here from Sugar Ray. Hey. Like he said it a fucking billion times. True, yeah. You know, this is probably like his eight millionth cameo that he's doing yeah. today. Yeah. Just ripping through them. And he gets to this one. He, What's up, Brayden? He probably started it without even reading the fucking copy. Yeah, and then he got to it and he's like, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. fuck. But he's already in it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but always... In your hearts, and this oh, pause it for a sec. That's, that's kind of <laughs> like he had that prepped. What do you say? Off the charts, but always in your hearts. Oh, my man has done too much radio. Yeah, he's done way too much radio. Yeah. Cheyenne, and she wants you to know a few things, and this is a little difficult for me to say because it's the first one of these I've done. But she wants you to know that you mean a lot to her. You mean the uh -oh. world to her. Uh oh. <laughs> Anytime someone starts with, you mean a lot to me. <laughs> Bitch, just say it. You, I mean, you know this guy's face, what he looked like when he was listening. And he got to this point. He's like, he, oh, wait. Oh, what's about to happen? Oh. I know something's not right here. First be, of all, yeah. she wants you to know you mean a lot to her. Mark, cut this shit. <laughs> just say it, dude. Cut the fucking <laughs> shit. And just as he's talking, he's like, does that say break up at the end of that paragraph? Because I don't want to hear all this other bullshit. But she's having difficulty staying in this long distance relationship. You know, it's tough. I've been on the road for years and I've been with my wife a long time. And the, the biggest arguments, the biggest, you know, obstacles in our relationships is the distance between us. <laughs> Bro, ours worked out. Yeah. Yeah, we've been married. Unfortunately, not the case yeah. for you guys, yeah. but <laughs> I'm just Me saying. Me and my wife, married for 25 years, made it through very brutal touring um, periods. Um, the Yeah, the distance was hard, but we made it. Yeah. I'm just saying I can relate because we've also fought, but <laughs> in the end, she loved me enough to stay with me. But back but, to you guys. But Cheyenne... <laughs> She wants to know that a fart always in her heart. <laughs> Cheyenne, however, wants to fuck other men. <laughs> My wife, loyal. Loyal, yeah. Always has been. Always will be. Cheyenne. Um, <laughs> Cheyenne. Cheyenne thinks that she should see other people. That's all it says. I'm sorry. That's all <laughs> the cameo says. It makes it very difficult when we're on the road. Um, and it's hard. So Cheyenne is trying to let you know, Brayden, that it's very, very tough for her to stay in this relationship. Because her TA in her current master's <laughs> program is really attractive, uh, more than you, and she's having a really hard time just not doing it. <laughs> yeah, it gets just weirdly more and more specific. <laughs> Listen, she met a dude named Brendan at a bookstore, and she thought he was really cute. Okay, and turns out they were into the exact same literature, and he was really smart. And, and uh, then a guy comes in with a bucket of diarrhea, <laughs> and lo and behold, Brendan is there to save her. So now she feels a little bit of a mm, connection because he was there to protect her, and you were not. Yeah. So, sorry. 
<laughs> Always in her heart. <laughs> she still cares about you a lot. You never know what the future may hold. And she's... Oh. <laughs> I wonder if she was like, no, no, no. Don't, yeah, yeah. That she, wasn't yeah, it. Yeah, don't say that like, shit. Like, what the fuck? This Mark. is over. <laughs> Hey, bro, keep your head up, dude. You know, maybe in the future you might get... She's like, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's just ad-libbing. <laughs> you never know what the future might hold. Who knows, man? Maybe you just got to move out there and prove your love to her. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, Mark. I didn't pay for this shit. No, Mark, refund now. You this fucked is, it. You fucked, you fucked it, it Mark. man. He's on his way here now. <laughs> he just texted me. He bought a fucking ticket. <laughs> He's on a train. Still wants to be friends with you because obviously she cares about you very, very much. And she wants you to know. Yeah, she cares so much that she hired Mark McGrath to dump you. <laughs> Good luck on your thesis coming up. Oh. Cold. Cold. He's doing his thesis and you pick now? He just Actually, he says that. Wait, keep playing it. No, he changes his... Th yeah, no, his next comment is hilarious, but I just imagine this guy being like... He just gets to that point. He's like, I know you're working on your thesis. Just cuts to him, like, deleting his previous <laughs> thesis, his new thesis. Why all women are the <laughs> devil. Just, and his old thesis is why I love my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing a thesis about how awesome my girlfriend is. Up. <laughs> Probably not the best timing, Cheyenne. <laughs> I love how he tries to... That's where he realized he should not have done this one. Right there, that fucking face. He's like... Oh, thesis? Jesus. Probably shouldn't have did that, Cheyenne. Jeez. <laughs> ruh row. He's doing his thesis, but I understand. His thesis. His thesis. <laughs> his thesis. <laughs> You know, you got to work on your thesis and life goes on and. Uh... <laughs> but, you know, you got to work on your thesis and life goes on, man, for a long time with a lot of pain. Fuck, man. Bad timing. Um, you know, I'm sure there's big things ahead of you in the future, Braden. But Cheyenne cares about you enough to let you know that she's thinking about you. But the long distance thing is just a little difficult. Oh, my God. The way he's and phrasing it. <laughs> she's thinking about you. Dude. This reads like getting fired by someone who doesn't know why you were fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's um it, the paper says it's uh it's just uh it's not a personal it's just a performance thing. That's all I have on the paper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you have any other questions perhaps about your severance? You just want to know why you were fired. Yeah, I can't. I got. It. I can't uh I'm sorry. You seem like a nice guy. She, she really she wants to let you know that she's she's really thinking about you and she cares enough about you to let you know that this isn't working through a Mark <laughs> McGrath cameo and she's probably sucking another dude's dick right now. But she cares about you. She wants you to stay positive. She wants you to be friends, and she knows that um, you're a fan of the band Sugar Ray, which I'm honored. Oh my god! Imagine saying "stay positive" to someone you're breaking up with. That dude. Dude. We're done, but just stay positive, okay? <laughs> Did she give him knuckles with that, too? Hey, you know what? Hang in there. Hey, yeah. You're going to make it. You're going to be fine. You're, you're going to be, be just fine. I can tell. I know. I know, because we, we dated. You're a great guy. I know you're a great guy from personal experience. Yeah. You're going to make it, dude. Yeah, just keep the high eye. Yeah. high keep Not the low eye. Keep the high eye. Keep the high eye. Mm -hmm. Not the low eye. You're going to be fine. And Matthew McConaughey's <laughs> breakup cameos. <laughs> They're just way long. and <laughs> Just don't make any sense. Yeah, and just... Listen... Cheyenne wants to have the monologue without the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's let Mark finish. I've got to hear the rest of this. Delivering you good news. Hopefully I can see you backstage, give you a high five someday, dude, and we can maybe laugh about this sometimes. Oh, fuck. Hey, but you know, man, we might hang out backstage one time and we could totally, oh, you know. Man, I got broken up with. In a cameo, and all I got was this fucking backstage yeah. Sugar Ray yeah. pass. <laughs> Hopefully, we all can. Cheyenne, Braden, all of us, we all can hang out. But uh, <laughs> she wants. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't think of any scenario worse mm. after this than all three of them hanging out. <laughs> Remember when you paid me to break up with him? Oh. 
What a z- what a zany time. They're just sitting at opposing ends of the table, just like this. <laughs> and he's like, "So, guys, this is awkward." He's like trying to do the same shit. He's like, "Well, we could say the distance is close now. Maybe there is a chance of love here." <laughs> oh my god, dude! It'd be like one of those shitty fucking what's that YouTube channel that does like that did the, the uh, oh yeah yeah Hurt yeah. Bay and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. It'd be like one of those yeah. videos, <laughs> just against a white backdrop, and they're both just sitting in chairs like fucking four feet from each other, just like. And he's like, "Well, <laughs> how's your thesis? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Got to start a dialogue." <laughs> Nothing. Why don't you tell me about your thesis? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? This is funny, honestly, you guys. My wife and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be friends right now, bro. The long distance thing is a little difficult, but she wishes you nothing but the best. All the love in the world. And do, 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 do your best on that thesis man i know it's uh, <laughs> what the it's fuck is that holiday season and um relationships and all that stuff man but you've got big things ahead of you bro if you're working on a thesis you've got a good life in front of you all right on behalf of mark mcgrath and cheyenne we love you Braden. be positive bro all right do 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 do, do not, not kill yourself <laughs> Do, 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 do not jump in front of a train, please. <laughs> oh, man, Dude, bro. I think the funniest part about this whole thing to me is that, like, I've, I've gotten a couple cameo requests of people breaking up with the other person, and I, I always just assume it's a joke. Yeah. Because I don't think anyone would actually fucking do that. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But the fact that he read this... And maybe maybe he just went right into it. Maybe mm-hmm. that was maybe that was it. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he read it and he really thought that this is a serious thing. That he like took a deep breath and was like, "Okay," I'm a, and he did a two minute video breaking up with somebody for somebody else. The there's best. no way that's fucking real. <laughs> it's definitely someone fucking with someone else or just trolling him. No, there's. I mean, it's that, but it's also like, man, that's the that's all you had. That's like the best <laughs> you could do, man. I can think of like a million other things to say besides. Do 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 your thesis <laughs> like fucking nothing man you couldn't have hit that one a little bit harder <laughs> do, 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 do do your thesis <laughs> oh my fucking god dude another channel that i've been really into recently is brent rivera <laughs> in fact he posted this awesome diss track on his sister. On his sister. He, he's 21 years old. Yeah. And he's still making like middle school to high school content. Yeah. All right, let's see him like dog out his sister, which is weird as hell. What's up, little sis? I've had it with you little pranks. <laughs> Damn, you, you got him. You fucking got him. It's time to get back at you. Try and top this. I'm about to roast my sister. It's a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> the auto tune the bangs. My man. I'm if... about to roast my sister. It's a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> you know, man, that sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think man. I've. I think. I think this. Yeah, that's I've a read porn this title. On Pornhub. Yeah, that's a Pornhub <laughs> title right there, man. I don't know. You're gonna kill her. Bang, bang, gonna show her why her brother runs the game. <laughs> oh my bang, god, bang, bro! Follow, but I'm in the lead. TikTok queen, but you're looking at the king. I'm- why are you eating whipped cream in a diss video against your sister? <laughs> this is so weird. Take a seat, better pay close attention when I'm on this beat. Cause I always drop fire in your contents week. Only reason you're on YouTube is because of me. You stay on everybody's nerves. Oh man, it's like 10 years late to diss tracks. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but the truth just hurts. I know mom and dad say they love you, but I am above you because I was born first. And you're always crushing all my friends. Did you think I didn't notice how you look at Ben? That's just weirdly specific. And <laughs> why are you bigging up your boy? <laughs> You know my boy Ben, who's like mad popular on Instagram? Yeah, I see you wanted to fuck him. Yeah, I know you want to fuck my best friend. <laughs> what? I know you want to fuck him. Dip burn. 
You just got dissed. <laughs> and you want to fuck my best friend? <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. My cool fucking widely popular best friend. <laughs> Who's also hot. I would know because he's my best friend. I go, only have go hot for best it. friends. Yeah. <laughs> go for it, you weirdo. <laughs> go for it, literally. Fucking diss. Fuck my best friend. Yeah, burn. Loser. Ship S.S. Bexy sailing out soon. What? Ship S.S. Bexy sailing out soon. Oh, they sh he shipped them? But I shut it all down when I get out the broom. Oh, I hate this, man. I hate this, dude. I hate this. I hate the way he's talking to his sister. Why you talk to your sister like this? What the fuck is wrong I'm with a, you? I still, I'm still not over the 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 thing with the Ben with Ben. Yeah, yeah. He that's, just said he's gonna sh he ships them, but then he said, but it's all it over when I bring out the broom. It's like no, but you just you just made that happen. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? You just set them up in the song, just so you can say that you would make it stop. That's weird. I'm gonna put y'all in the same room to kiss. But you're not gonna kiss. Yeah, because I'm gonna be there with the broom, big bad older bro. This is just. <laughs> we gotta keep watching it. And I leave you destroyed when we play Candyland. Yeah, sometimes I remake your post. Everyone like, dude, deposit. You're 21. Yeah. You're 21. Yeah. Yeah. Candyland. Yeah. <laughs> you should be out drinking cheap liquor, being broke in the club. Yeah, he's got money, dude. Yeah, learning how to socialize. It's weird, Go yeah. Get a table at a fucking club. Yeah, fucking seriously. He's like, that's why I'm doing this. I'm dissing my sister so I can get a table at fucking Encore. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. All right, got it. Yeah, I'm bringing Candyland. Yeah, and we're going to hang out and play board games in the club. Yeah, what do they do at clubs again? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to one. Yeah, this is, this is, I mean, this is, some, this is some dark shit, dude. This is just him trying to keep up. With who he was. Wait, wait, go back. Well, you want to. Description want... says this was just for fun. Lexi is literally the best sister, so no hate. Love you, Lexi. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't really like this at all. It kind of gives me the creeps a little bit. I can't not look at this and think it's fucking normal. Yeah, I know you want to fuck my friend Ben. <laughs> I know you want to fuck him. And last thing. I know you want to fuck my best friend. Burn! My hot best friend, Ben. I don't even want to fuck him. It's not gonna Honestly, happen. I don't blame you. <laughs> it's not going to happen. All right, this, is Ma say. this is Matthew McConaughey just waking up. So it's 4.13 in the morning. I'm in London. I just flew in this morning from uh, Texas. I went to sleep a while ago. Dude, I so hard I woke up, I this is this dude. Does this dude ever, ever leave character? No, no. He can't possibly be like this. No, just just let it, just let it ride. But I slept like ten and a half hours. I looked the clock. I slept an hour and twenty-two minutes. Ha ha ha! Classic. Yeah. Come on. Just wait. This jet lag. Just wait. Okay. Just wait. It gets even better. Okay. Wait. The jet lag. Go. Two minutes. You have to Club. get this part. You have to get this part. I slept an hour and 22 minutes. Welcome. The jet lag. So now that I'm wide awake, I think it's a pretty good time for a sip of long branch. What the fuck? Oh, now we got now the fucking fucking. God damn it! It like hit HD right at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to jet lag, baby. So now that I'm wide awake, it's time for a sip of long neck. What is it called? Uh, is that his whiskey? No, it's like um wild turkey hold on with long branch sip of long branch damn he looks strung out in that yeah frame. he does holy yeah. fuck <laughs> that's like that Brendan Fraser <laughs> red eye shit just fucking <laughs> sip of long branch sip of long branch <laughs> top comment wait for it this is like fucking somebody's <laughs> why is this hot <laughs> 
dude. I feel like someone. I feel like someone got this from like an alcoholic uncle or something like that. Yeah. That yeah. video. You yeah. know. Just learn how to use his iPad. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. What's up, Carly? Checking in. I'm out here in London. <laughs> London. I don't thought I slept ten hours. <laughs> Turns out, I've been asleep for an hour and twenty two <laughs> minutes. So now that I'm wide awake, it's time for the sip of Long Branch <laughs> and a pork crackling. <laughs> is that a pork rind? Is that the same as a pork rind? A pork crackling? I think it's like a pork skin. Got it. Okay. Some people are like, "Who is that? Who's that video?" That's my fucking cousin. He's just. <laughs> It's like I don't talk to him for like years, and then he'll just fucking send me a video like this randomly. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a long branch. What, what, He's what, what, got big cousin energy. Yeah, Matt McConaughey. Yeah, bro. I just <laughs> that like like everything about this man. Like, is he is he sitting? Did he did he literally just wake up? Does he have does he have Long Branch bedside table? <laughs> okay, where so is he? Is he in bed still? That's what I mean. It's, it's a poor crackling. What is this room? This is this this is like a self tape before murdering someone, man. I just <laughs> oh ninja trying to slice bread. Oh yeah, that shit's really funny. We, let's fucking let's hold on. Let me get this real quick. I don't think I know how to cut this the way I think I need to. Oh so, okay, you so should. I, do I cut at it like from a side <laughs> what? at this point? Like, do I leave it? You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. I think you just want like two, you know, pieces long, of bread, oval maybe slices, normal size slices. Or there, like, you know what? We're if you just it. cut the bread crosswise okay. and took two slices out of the middle, down the middle. Imagine it like a. Oh, you know, oh like my, my god, god dude. <laughs> Oh, how to describe it. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. You can see the hesitate. This fool want to talk shit about NFL kickers and he can't cut bread. <laughs> yeah, Motherfucker, you don't know your own motor punches, <laughs> man. What are you talking shit about, bro? You can't cut bread, dog. <laughs> I'd love to see you kick a football for fuck's sake, man. How the fuck you do crazy 90 building in Fortnite, but you can't cut a fucking slice of bread? Cause, Get out cause of here. He, that's why. <laughs> Dude, the best uh, part is the next one. Look at the next you know, one. Like a Look at the. Sandwich. No, no, swipe. Just scroll down. <laughs> oh, it's over. This, this. <laughs> oh damn. Oh he damn. Just, he just went right through it. He got the seed in. He just <laughs> farmed that shit. Just fucking. Swoosh. He fruit ninja that bitch. <laughs> That's fucking crazy to me. Oh man. Someone made a fruit ninja pun yet? This is hilarious, bro. I love. Wait, no, no, no. I love this moment of hesitation, like right here, where he goes, like. He's like up. Oh. <laughs> Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, right here, wait. He goes, she's like, just like two slices. And he goes, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to make it. Maybe I'll. Hey, no, no, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> it just cuts it diagonally. <laughs> he just takes it and throws it on the fucking ground. Is that how? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it would be so funny if he stabbed it and just started <laughs> just like sawing it, <laughs> hitting it like a fucking. What are you doing? Like a, I'm cutting. Like, you said two normal sized pieces, right? Like a like a bandsaw machine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> fucking hell! I uh, love. I don't know why the avocado thing fucking gets me so hard. No, because it's just fucking unconventional as hell. <laughs> Just, it he just went straight. Yeah, just the fucking push. seed. Those seeds are hard too. Yeah, bro. You gotta like push. Don't underestimate his strength, bro. Just looking. Ah. Whole loaf. <laughs> so now what do I do? <laughs> God damn, bro. I have to pull up this before we get into that. I have not laughed this hard in a fucking minute, dude. This is a screen recording of a girl going through her messages on Facebook, and this dude is leaving her voice memos. <laughs> Like as opposed to typing. <laughs> and this, the caption on this is, if your pussy gonna have me like this, please put it on me. Bro, listen to this guy. Don't fucking... You don't understand. Why are you doing this, bro? I haven't did shit all day, bro. And you play you no matter what, bro. I don't... <laughs> bro, please, bro. Why are you doing... <laughs> Oh my god!
God, he threw, he throw he up. threw up from crying because this girl was going to dump his ass. Wait, play that again. I got to hear that, that Bro, fucking throw up dude, again. I was, oh my God. You don't understand. Why are you doing this? Bro, I haven't did shit all day, bro. You play you no matter what, bro. I don't <laughs> bro, please, bro. Why are you doing? <laughs> Damn, you gotta cry hard <laughs> to almost puke. <laughs> bro, please, bro, please. <laughs> Why are you doing? <laughs> that fucking five-year-old shit at the end when he's like. <laughs> 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 Straight six-year-old crying because you took away his Game Boy, man. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I couldn't believe that, man. I just kept picturing this dude in his car, like, screaming at his phone, and then getting to the puke part, and still hitting sin. Like, like didn't, didn't think that would be a loss of character. Just, just no, she has to hear me. Frantic. That's pretty funny. Frantic. I feel dude. like that's that's something that like babies and dogs do. Yeah, like only doing something so hard that, that <laughs> some other bodily function yeah. happens and they just don't <laughs> even really realize it and they just just push past it. Bro, please, bro. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh, I secured the dog camera. That one's pretty good. Uh, bro, I wanted, I wanted to get the one that's like the little robot that could like shoot the treats out and shit, but I know Ollie would just like bark and punch it and like, <laughs> try to fight would, it. Yeah, he would try to beat it up. You would not I think you can it. use, I think you can give treats from the one I got. I think, I don't know. I feel like it's, it might be like more of an anxiety inducer more than anything because like when you see your dog doing some weird shit, you can't really like, you can like talk to it through the machine, yeah. but you're not home. So yeah. I feel like then I just be like, oh fuck, I got to get home. But I, I'm out. I'm an hour away. My my nightmare is like I, I always thought like if you buy one of those like imagine you just like it's like bang and you're like just sitting somewhere you're like an hour away you're like oh what's what's the dog doing and you just see like a a bag of Hershey's chocolate just like rolled over open. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're like oh oh no fuck just screaming through the fucking microphone trying to get its attention just yeah, trying yeah. to keep it away yeah yeah <laughs> no, no 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 don't you fucking dare don't you fucking think about it good boy <laughs> good boy come over here come over come here come over here come over here. <laughs> come over here good boy just spamming the treat launcher trying to get <laughs> <laughs> shooting come on, come, at come, him. come 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 on come on i wonder how hard the, sh- the treats fire out <laughs> it just gets jammed it just doesn't do shit <laughs> Fuck, dude. Hey, Paul Zimmer. I guess he was a a musically guy. So he's got eight hundred and forty eight thousand followers on Instagram. So I'm I'm guessing like he was pretty big on TikTok since musically died. I guess now he's trying to rebrand himself as an actor, but I'm guessing came to the conclusion that his musically past and stuff would be kind of a burden uh, you know, on his new path in Hollywood. And so what he's doing now is he he's Troy claiming Becker. there's a kid named Troy Becker who's an actor and who's 14 or something. <laughs> and basically Paul has claimed that this Troy kid looks exactly like him. <laughs> now, keep in mind they're the same person. <laughs> Wait, Paul is saying it. it's weird this kid Troy looks exactly like me. He's like a younger, sexier version of me. I'm reading this. This is the, the caption. <laughs> I don't even use social media anymore. But had to post this, ha ha ha. Okay, oh, and tags me. tags Troy Becker IG, dude. <laughs> he's Paul Zimmer is twenty four, and this Troy Becker kid is supposed to be fourteen. <laughs> Dog, this he's is... fully done puberty, dude. Like twice by now, <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna try and revert back to a fourteen year old? I'm dying laughing at the idea of. Lying about your age on set, being like fucking so clearly a 35 year old man, <laughs> and then demanding like your teacher has to come to set and you have to leave after six hours and you haven't had your mandatory three hour break and shit. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely illegal, right? Yeah. Like, let's say he yeah. actually got a gig. He's going to have to like say his real age. Yeah, no, I mean, they, that's what I mean, is if you're, a, like, a minor, you have to bring a teacher to set. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't just be out of school. Just <laughs> making your movie, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> but He's imagine like, that. Hi, trailer. Mrs. Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming to set today. I'll get back to my geometry homework later. This is my teacher, you guys. She's such a stickler. <laughs> it's just his boy who's like also <laughs> 24. <laughs> just pretending. Teacher. Yeah, they're like, you're Mrs. Wilson? That's me. He's like, yep. Mrs. Wilson, I'm a teacher. <laughs> He's just wearing Yeezys and a fucking off-white t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mrs. Wilson, dude. I'm here to teach Paul. I mean, uh, Troy. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, my bad, dude. <laughs> Shit, dude, later, <laughs> when, you're wrapped on, when you're wrapped, I'm going to teach you Pythagorism's theorem. You know what I mean, You dude? better get ready, you know what I mean? Miss Wilson's coming through. <laughs> <laughs> With the math pack. With that math pack. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, it's like a math packet, dude. I'm pulling up. <laughs> oh, my Becky. <laughs> oh, fuck, my light died. Damn it. This is so strange, man. Yeah. Why do this with the dog face? <laughs> That's what I don't get. <laughs> Sorry about the mouth breathing in the last episode. I don't know what happened. I, yeah. I thought the audio for the video, it was picking up on my computer. I don't was know. it? Yeah. I don't know. Damn. Yeah, sorry. Oh, about you know that. what it was? It's kind of funny though. I listened I listened back. There's like just fifteen to twenty seconds of silence where we're just like What? What? <laughs> Dude, what is he saying? We sound insane. It's so funny. Let me went to that. What, what was the name of that place? Um, uh, oh, oh, decades. Decades. Yeah, yeah. Went to this fucking club called Decades. Which, like, you know, I'll give him credit. Kind of a cool name. You know, the concept is dope. Yeah, it's basically like a club where every floor is a different decade of music. Of music. We get there, it's way too loud. That floor is already a shit show. Mm -hmm. The floor is covered in liquids. I don't know what kind. Could be vomit, could be cum, could be just drinks, beers. I don't know. Maybe and, a mixture of everything. And it, and, it, and it is not like, it's not, you know, just a few wet puddles. No, it's soaked. It's a layer. It, it's like dude, it's dude bathroom layer of piss. Oh, yeah. And, and you're sliding all over the bitch. And then... And then, as the night went on and it got hotter, it, uh, I don't know what the term is for when it becomes sticky, it cumified. Okay, yeah. So yeah. then we're trying to fuck around, dance a little bit, walk around, and it's like, I'm wearing these boots. Yeah. And I can't get them off the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what, there's this old movie, I forget what it is, but part of the prison, it's like a space prison system, I think it's like an Arnold movie. And they wear boots that are magnetized to the floor. <laughs> That's what the fuck I felt like was going on. I was like, like drunk frat dudes falling all over the floor. <laughs> I watched this dude eat shit. Coming out of the bathroom, I'm walking. This guy is by himself, completely fucked up. Like hair, suit open. And he just like, it looked like he was in a cartoon. Like he just started running in <laughs> place <laughs> and <he just laughs> shit. And I'm like, damn. With a Dudes are pissing and coming all over the with floor. With a cum floor. Yeah. <laughs> I watched a girl. She, she was like, she's dancing with this dude. She's on high heels. And I'm thinking, oh, don't do it. Don't, you know, don't try. Don't try. Ashley, don't try anything crazy yeah. tonight. Yeah. Just keep it cool. Yeah. Okay, Brad can't dance. Just keep it nice. Uh -huh. She went for something and just whoop, oh. right on her ass. Just, yeah. 
and her hands hit the, the disgusting part is her hands hit the cum no. floor. Yeah. Yeah. So she just <laughs> like a fly on fly paper. Just Imagining one of those frat dudes falling just tongue first. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> and just like <laughs> Making the whole crap. <laughs> yeah. Mm, tastes like Long Island iced tea. Yeah, salty. <laughs> Our boy dropped something on the Twitters. Did he really? Somebody said that we underestimate Matthew McConaughey's sex appeal and that he is so sexy that it doesn't matter what he does. Women want to know. That's what someone told us. That I'm, Yeah, I get that. That's what it is. Do you see all them subsequent heart eye emojis and shit? Yep. This yep. is just fucking... This is just middle age, um, uh, hot guy account. Yeah, that's all it is, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at this fucking. These are all just thirst traps, <laughs> dude. A- that cover picture is amazing. Look at this, man. Look at oh, I can't. horns up or fucking horns horns up or what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. Um, hook them, hook them, hook them, yeah. baby. It throwing up my horns before I give a TED talk on how to wrangle the bull. What doth 2020 is to you may not be oh my God. how 2019 <laughs> should be for others and for oh, yourself yeah, Matthew, as well. Oh, yeah, Matthew, Matthew, continue, please, Matthew. And what I recommend for you going into 2020 is focus on the high eye, not the low eye. I'm going to squirt. And- <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Oh, my God, I'm going to squirt. And what it, what it doth be... <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god! I am spent <laughs> by a Buick. Honey? Are you okay in there? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was Drive your Buick into my asshole. <laughs> I was just <sighs> <laughs> Oh shit. I was just on Matthew's Twitter. So this is the kid. Yeah. That that I did the video mm. about his uh, tick t- his TikTok like self tape auditions that he does. Oh, this is the boy. Yeah, Tyler. This is the this boy. This is the boy. And so he dropped the he dropped a new heater on us, and this one's World War Three themed. Mm-mm. I need to talk to you. Well, first things first. Here's the carnations, your favorite flower. <laughs> flower. <laughs> flower. Flower. His uh, carnations is a favorite flower. Yeah, I want to. I want to go on TikTok and be like, <laughs> just do the exact dialogue. I brought this for you. It's your favorite flower, <laughs> a carnation. I have a draft letter as well. <laughs> They're sending me to World War Three. <laughs> They're sending me to World War Three. <laughs> sending me to World War Three. <laughs> Two World War. Th- First of all, he says this shit like he's gonna vomit. Like it doesn't even seem like crying. <laughs> <And> then- <laughs> They're sending me to World War Three, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even doing anything, bro. <laughs> 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 They're sending me to World War. <laughs> Two sending- World War Three. They're sending me to. <laughs> They're sending me to. <laughs> to- <laughs> Leopard shirt. <laughs> Dog. He's acting like he ate like the last dab on hot wings. <laughs> like rubbing his eyes and like clinching his fist. <clears throat> oh god, fuck you, Sean. I'm going to World War Three. <clears throat> Dude, imagine just imagine like E boys getting actually drafted for the war. Oh bro, it'd be a rep. <laughs> just what? <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> this fucking sucks. This fucking sucks. <laughs> dude, I, I got drafted for World War Three. They're sending me to fucking World War Three. <laughs> so whack. <laughs> you know, they'd be just fuckboying that shit all the oh, way yeah. up until boot camp. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, Damn. <laughs> I got drafted. <laughs> Better send me nudes now before it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to fuck a future war hero. Oh, God. <laughs> that made me feel bad. You don't want to miss out. Yeah. 
Purple hearts. He's sending her purple yeah. hearts. Because you know I'm going to war. <laughs> sending you purple hearts because you know I'm a vet. Shit. Shit. I love bitches. That's why I'm a vet. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, damn. Guess I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Shit. Straight to Iran. <laughs> I call you I Iran. I'll never run from you. <laughs> you should be Iran. Because you got Iran and all around my brain for you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, they said I can't wear these cross earrings to the war. <laughs> to World War Three. Imagine, dude, imagine them all getting the fucking military cut. No! <laughs> Did way. Dude, I... It's super. How's the war? It's whack. It's super hard to center part my hair right now. <laughs> yeah, like trying a tiny to grow little <laughs> back out. Just they grow a little one down the middle. That's the military e boy cut. It's just a faint fucking <laughs> hair split down the middle. It's like a but, budding mohawk, and they just push it to the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. That is just fucked. It's just fucked up. Drill sergeant on my ass, bro. <laughs> Won't let me keep my fucking shit. <laughs> that fucking cross earring, dog. I, they just yanked that shit out. Yeah. Get the fucking yeah. shit out of your fucking <laughs> ear, dude. <laughs> Give me 20. <laughs> I mean, bro, people in the military be making trailers and shit, so they're not totally. That's true. I guess they're not that far off. They're not that far off, man. All right. Keep going with this. Much. <sighs> I'm a soldier now. This part. I shouldn't cry. I'll see you in six months. Yeah, this part. Come on, dude. <sighs> I love you, babe. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> That's where. So, so disrespectful. That's where it feels like a bit. Like it has to be a bit. Yeah, the part where he puts on a skateboard helmet. Has to be a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then he. Yeah. To attention, bro. It's like, wait, you're leaving now? Right mm. now? Mm. To attention. Here's the thing, bro. So I look at this. <clears throat> I like, you know when you have a flashback to like um, doing something embarrassing? And it's like, it could have been so something minor, maybe personal. You ever get one of those? Like maybe something reminds you of something. You go, oh, God, I used to do blah, blah, blah. You know, I used to be into that. I used to wear those clothes or whatever. Like, as an easy example, right? Yeah. Like, you look at, like, some, I don't know, some shitty haircut. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, my hair used to be fucked up. Yeah, yeah, And you have, like, that little moment where you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. You don't shake it off. Uh-huh. You're like, man, I can't believe this. Oh, whatever. He's th That's this for this kid. When he's, like, 25, you know, collecting some shit at a printer at his fucking desk job, is someone's going to be like, yeah, we're going to World War Four, And he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Shit. Well, the problem is now it's like immortalized forever yeah. in so many different ways. Yeah, <laughs> going into a job interview. <clears throat> what did you say your name was? Tyler. Oh fuck! <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, Tyler. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. That was me. Oh. Oh, we are out of here. Yeah. Oh. Wait, didn't you just get drafted? <laughs> I thought you went to war, Where's dude. Where's your helmet? <laughs> I was laughing to myself. I couldn't control it because I just kept thinking about saying, wow, you really stitched that one together like Arnold. Wow. Oh. You really stitched that one. Nice. <laughs> like, fucking do it. Do it. I can't I can't hit the together. I don't know how he would together. say that. <laughs> no, <I> together. No. <laughs> together. Yeah, it is, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it is together. <laughs> Nailed it. You really <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> we gotta fucking do we gotta get booked for like a morning talk show and pitch us like not at all who we are. Yeah. Two impressionist comedians <laughs> that have toured Asia. For various puppeteering and and impressionist acts, and we get up there to we talk for a minute. It's like, well, oh, the, you, the really bad impersonations. Yeah, could you do some for us? And we're up there like, <laughs> <clears throat> who am I? We're doing this together. Yeah, you might recognize this guy. 
Hello? <laughs> I am Arnold. <laughs> pumping the iron. <laughs> Who was that? Everyone's like, correct. I don't know. Billy, <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton, you're right. <laughs> Classic sign of a bad impression is when you have to tell the person who you are. <laughs> yeah. I really want us to get booked for a shitty morning talk show and just yeah. ruin it. Yeah. Like, commit to the bit like we did at, at the streamies, but uh-huh. something pain, even more painful when we get there. Yeah. But, like, in the green room and shit, we're really like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. I was and very excited. Super normal. Yeah, yeah, completely. And the camera turns on. We're here with Cody Co. and Noel Miller. I'm Stewie, Stewie Griffin, actually. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> he really sounds like Stewie. Stewie Griffin. Can't believe he's going to do this for the whole show. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> what the fuck is? <laughs> what are you guys? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> Stick to the. We're not doing anything. I'm myself. What? I'm not doing anything either. <laughs> I'm Arnold too now. He's me and I'm him. <laughs> we are Arnold together. <laughs> you don't even... <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to Stewie. Uh-oh. Where's the fat man? Uh, sweet. I fucking hate people on morning talk shows. I just feel like they deserve it. I feel like they deserve getting fucked with. It's Stewie. It's Stewie Griffin. <laughs> yeah, I'm Stewie Griffin. <laughs> yeah, I'm Stewie. Ah, get down. Who is I'm that? I'm Stewie and Arnold. Mixed together. Who, who am I? 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 Ah! Obama? <laughs> no. No. Uh, President, uh, pr- Richard Nixon. <laughs> uh, uh, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> no, that's Stewie as my dog. Oh, got it. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. You didn't hear the British in the bar? No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> roof. A roof. A roof. I was kind of like, wow, this is kind of like, you know, angry, angry mob sort of mentality. And it was a little bit gnarly and like, I'm not a tough guy. But once I heard the sugar gay comment come in, I was just drunk enough, just stupid enough to react to it. Yeah. So being the terrible fake tough guy I am, <laughs> I looked at the smallest guy and found him. I don't know if the dude even said it. So I just react like a, an idiot. I go, tweezer nips, bro. I don't, I don't even remember. I said the dumbest fucking thing. I, I, hey, no, I'm not going to say it's dumb. I'm going to say it's actually gold because we have tweezer nips for uh, forever. Tweezer nips is a good one. That's a, that's a legendary insult. It's pretty yeah. legendary. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty proud of that one. Yeah, yeah. I've got to say. Ma- matter of fact, going into 2020, I want all tough guys using tweezer nips. It's time. So, I want all tough guys to tweeze their nips. Well, that is well. there a more emasculating <laughs> thing than to ask someone to tweeze their nips? And is there a more emasculating thing than to tweeze your own nips? That's true. It kind of works in both contexts. <laughs> Did you imagine, kind of you imagine that? Yeah, you're at a party. Someone's like, what's up, bro? Pulls your shirt down. Like, no, 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 no. you kind of gross right here. <laughs> Let me get those things out. And with you're my, just standing. With my teeth. What you, and what are you going to do? With Dude's way teeth. bigger than you. Yeah. Dude's way bigger than you. And you're just standing there. It's like an episode of Scared Straight. You're like, <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to see crest those things yeah. right now, bro. Those things are coming out. <laughs> so confused. Like, what the fuck is happening? Do you think when McCann gets casted for sex scenes and if it's like a, you know, the actor on the other side and it's like, so we're, we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to put on, you know, a, a nude colored underwear know you'll be protected appropriately do you think other actors go you know you don't have to we could just go for the real thing when they're what do you mean like when they're casted with mcconaughey yeah to do to do a sex they're scene. like he, yeah yeah they're like you know what no you know what i'm totally comfortable i feel like he's comfortable we could just go totally we could actually do the deal yeah we could do the damn deed if you want we just do it for real yeah yeah we could just we just do it for real yeah let's do let's do um penetration yeah <laughs> let's do it comfortable with it no i, I think i'll we'll, sign whatever forms I think we'll just keep. I'm good. Let's do it. Matter of fact, we could do multiple. I'm down for whatever position too. We could do multiple positions. Matter of fact, I'm not going to do it unless he does do penetration. How about that? (laughs) How about that? Unless Uh, he wants to fuck, I'm not in. (laughs) This is now my my uh, going out in London experience. (laughs) So for for the context, I stayed in. So there's this place called the Box. It's this club that uh, I guess I don't know if it's any. It's probably in like other major cities too, but it's like super notorious. Like it's or it's infamous. I've heard about it many a time. Never gone because it's super fucking hard to get in. Apparently, yeah. yeah. And uh, all I've heard about it is that it 
they put on insane shows. Yeah. And it's different every single time. And yeah. you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. But it's it's going to blow your mind. And you're going to end you're you're going to leave that place being like what the fuck did I just watch? Real quick. Alina's cousin came to the show last night and he was like, "Is like, you going to the box?" I'm like, "I'm thinking about it." And he was like, "I don't know if you just seen, man." I'm like, "Why?" He's like, ah. Last time I was there, someone was shitting on stage. I was like, what? Yeah. And he was like, he was like, and that was it. It was just shitting. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I like already don't feel good. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'm good. He's like, he's like, he's like, I don't think it's for you. So I'm like, all right, I'm with dip. Cal Freezy said that um, the only other time he's been there, same sort of thing. Someone shit on a pizza and like threw it into the crowd or something <gasps> like that. But I like, I'm like, I'm like, that has to be fake, first of all. And second of all, oh, it's it like just fake didn't believe shit. it. I just didn't yeah. believe it. I was like, I have to see this with my own eyes. I also love, I love weird shit like this. Mm-hmm. I love weird shit like where, you know, it makes you, like something, it makes you genuinely feel like, the, I, I've never seen this before. Yeah, fair. Yeah. You know that feeling where you're like, oh my God. Yeah. This is a new feeling I've gotten in life. Yeah. It's a new thing I've seen. You rarely get that shit anymore. Yeah. And um, Well, you get <clears> shit <throat> at the box for yeah, sure. Yeah, you get shit. You well, get that shit yeah, yeah. for sure. So we get there. Oh, yeah. So, you know, uh, we're lucky enough to get in thanks to KSI. So this is the first time I've ever been to this place. I don't really think we could have gotten in. Yeah. Um, we get in, and it's it's going off. Like, we have this table, like, near the back, and everyone not, – nobody there is, like, general admission. Everyone has a table. Oh, okay. And everyone's standing on the seats, and it's going crazy. And it's very, very small. Like, I would say it's probably, like, double the size of this room. And there's a giant stage that comes through the middle – that like is a semicircle at the end, so there's tables wrapped around it, and then there's a main stage at the back. Oh fuck! And so uh, the first act comes on, and it's like this girl that's dressed up in lingerie. She's got this insane voice, and she starts singing, and it's like a singing number, okay. and that ends. And we're like, "Oh, damn, that was like pretty great." As far as shows go, like live shows at a club, that was amazing. Yeah. The second one comes on. I don't even know if I can like. I'm pretty sure they like make you sign an NDA when you walk into this place or some shit. So I don't even know if I can talk about this. But Did you matter. sign this? Did you I sign something? No, but I feel oh, like I had that vibe. Like the, yeah, it's just like the understanding that if you go, you don't talk about it. Oh, but fuck that. I'm. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go again. <laughs> <laughs> no. So the second act, this chick, this crane comes down from the ceiling, and she comes out on stage, and she's dressed up in like sort of like a kimono, and she's got a blindfold around her face. And she attaches the crane hook onto her hair, and it pulls her up in the air. And she does this whole number where she strips and spins around just by her hair the whole time. Okay. And it's, like, super weird and, and sexual and cool and, and dope. All right. She finishes that, and we're like, damn, that was really cool. That was really cool. Okay. little messed up that she was being held by her hair the whole time, but still very cool, right? What could the next one be? How are they going to top that? <laughs> the next one. The next one is this dude that has clown makeup on. Okay. Horrifying clown makeup. Okay. And he's got um he's got giant fake boobs. Okay. And then he is like almost naked or he's kind of wearing like a, a maid's outfit or something like that. Okay. But he takes his boobs out. Okay. And then, and then, um, there, he's got a, he's got a, a guy tied up naked okay. on right. stage and he takes a knife and he basically insinuates that he's like cutting the guy's dick off or something like that. Okay. Or maybe like slicing his leg or something. Okay. Cause he has his blood on his hand all of a sudden. Oh. And he gets up on stage, turns his ass towards everyone and starts fisting his own ass with the blood covered hand. <laughs> So, oh man! So like, that was the next thing. Like I don't, and we're all like, <laughs> everyone in the club is like, "What the fuck?" So what is it like? They were trans, like what, or is it just like hard to say? Because the makeup just like was not telling. I don't even know if the boobs were real. Oh, were or I don't even know if they were like real fake boobs. They might have just been like a thing like that one he of those was wearing. like wearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. And, and in the clown makeup, I mean, it wasn't even like, I didn't even know. No, it's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we're like, okay, uh, that was wild. 
The next one comes out as two dudes and they're contortionists. Okay. And they do these crazy like pop lock dance moves where they're like popping their shoulders out and shit like that. Ugh. Was wild, but like also a little bit gross. And then, and then there was another show that was like kind of normal. And then the the clown <laughs> comes back out <laughs> and he gets naked, completely naked, and he takes his dick and he just pees all over all the people that were sitting at the table surrounding the stage. So these are the most expensive tables at this club. I mean, they're probably like thousands of pounds. And this dude is just peeing all over them. And we watched... <laughs> it pees on everyone. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that feels like some like high art, like rich person shame me shit how did the people respond like were they just they were like pissed upset yeah they were all like rushing to the bathroom to like dry themselves off and stuff like that but i i don't know but then again it it weirdly like then a, the the host came back on stage like original chick with the with the pipes yeah the chick that was belting it out at the start and she basically was like calling them pussies and like <laughs> and saying oh you're sad you got a little whatever and then like was kind of berating them and so it 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 almost like Dissolve the tension a little bit. Word. It's so fucking hard to explain. Yeah. Without actually being there. Oh, of course. A little piss on your fucking, you know, high class garments. Yeah. A little boohoo. Yeah, yeah. Take it home, throw it in your washing yeah, exactly. machine. Exactly. Fucking cry about yeah. something else. Sorry, you got a little pee on the Gucci. Oh. Oh, boohoo. Oh, a little pee pee. Sterile, you idiot. It's yeah. probably cleaner now. <laughs> yeah, drink it. Yeah. That's 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 not just any pee. Yeah. There's that's... one guy in the front like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's fresh clown fist in the ass pee, <laughs> and you should be thankful you got some of that pee. So stop fucking complaining. Uh, yeah, we we. You know what? I'm gonna take one more, just a tiny little bit. Thing is, we have a day off tomorrow. It is in Glasgow. I've I've you know. I'm not aware of. You know, I haven't been aware of that many. <laughs> You all right, dude? Even... Holy shit. I always have this fear <clears throat> that I'm going to wake up on a plane and I've either pissed myself or I had a wet dream. Mm. It's the it's the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. I always wake up and, and like, like, yeah, yeah, always, always check my pants. <sighs> yeah, always okay. check my yeah. fucking pants. Yeah. You imagine having a wet dream. On an airplane? On an airplane, <laughs> but like one where you're like, if you're, if you're, if you're sleeping, sitting up, then maybe like, you know. Your your body gets more into it, and you kind of act it out a little bit. No, you're oh. you're like sleeping. You're like, oh. <laughs> in a and you wake up in a in, in a middle seat. Yeah. <laughs> grab the people's yeah, arms beside yeah. you. <laughs> oh, no, you grab their thighs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Oh, you wake up. Oh. oh. The dude by the window smiling at you. It smells nice. How was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can smell that? Yeah, I can. Oh, shit. How was your orgasm? <laughs> was it a southern guy? Yeah. How <laughs> was your orgasm? <laughs> was it as good for you as it was for me? Because <laughs> I felt it, honey. You got to ask the guy next to you, but he's asleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to, excuse me, sir. Did you? Sorry. Do you mind if I get, I just. And then you got to like. Yeah, <laughs> step over him like that. You <laughs> smear it all over his the chair in front of him. <laughs> Walking up a wobbly ass plane with your cummy pants, just yeah, just trying not to bumping into all the chairs, and you're walking past everyone, and everyone's like, "Is that fucking chlorine smelling like cum? The fuck it smells like cum? <laughs> oh, honey, like do you smell that?" That smells like cum. <laughs> oh my god! Fully grown people on the plane, just knowing exactly what yeah, it is, yeah. but like not <laughs> wanting to say it. Yeah. Do you, do you that, smell that? Did you, that's. Did you? Absolutely I didn't, not. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> did you nut? <laughs> Gary, did you nut? No, I didn't nut. Martha, I would never. I would. <laughs> Never, you know, you know when like never. 
You nutted, didn't you? Hey, I didn't mean to. You know who party. else didn't mean to? Alex Jones. Alex Jones didn't mean to. Oh yeah, so he and <laughs> he got arrested for fucking. Do you get a DUI or DWI? Hold on. DWI. Um, driving with influence. Oh, okay. That's what we do. So so he was yeah. <laughs> as influencers. Yeah, we, yeah. we drive with influence. Yeah, I always get DWIs every time I hop in the whip, dude. Yeah, baby. You um, know how we do cruising down the four hundred five. People see me in my fucking sick ass fucking BMW three twenty eight series with no air conditioning, and they're like, "Damn, chromed out, chrome gold, the whole thing." I fucking want that. Yeah, my Instagram handle written on the fucking window in a decal. People want that. Mm hmm. <laughs> what they want that? They want me. They want to be me driving with influence. <laughs> anyway, so our, our our you know the man the man uh, Alex Jones got arrested for DWI. Which is hilarious because the funniest thing he said about it is he was saying that bars shouldn't serve alcohol after a certain point. Oh, he's blaming yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. blaming it on just like yeah. the fucking just rules of society. Babe, I just asked for the nudes. She sent them. <laughs> yeah. It's not my fault. <laughs> what am I? Yeah, what yeah. am I supposed to do? Not open it? Maybe if Snapchat had a nude filter, or like a fucking you know something that detected nudes and kept them from my inbox i wouldn't fucking look at them yeah but i had to because they were in my inbox and yeah um so uh so, so somebody dm me and said that they're a sheriff in travis county and they were they were processing a dude <clears throat> and he was hearing over like the radio that they're like yo we got alex jones here and he just was chuckling on the way to the station he's like bullshit it's probably just some crazy guy like claiming to be alex jones and <laughs> I'd imagine like this dude probably works with like older sheriffs. Yeah. Probably, these guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. He's like, dude, I got there and it was him. He's like, I've never been so starstruck. <laughs> oh my God. Being nervous in front of Alex yeah. Jones. Yeah. Just arresting him. Like, oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Are the cuffs, are the, did the cuffs, did did the cuffs too tight or I'm just... too tight or Michael. Get him in the car. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. You just have to bend your head over here. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I know it's a little bit tight. Sorry. You're beautiful. Wow, your head is as big as I thought it would be in person. That's, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my... Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, oh my God. <laughs> Don't hit his big head on the door. Oh my God, oh my God. You're in the car, dude. <laughs> Claiming he and his wife shared a little tiny bottle of sake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me and the wife had a small <laughs> bottle of sake. Of sake. Me and the wife had a little small bottle of sucky. <laughs> we shared some sucky. A little bit of sucky. So my wife had some sucky, and then she left. Uh, she only had one glass of sucky, and she left the rest of the sucky to me. I had two because, you know, I love, I love me two bottles. Two, two little hits of sucky. I love sucky. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. And I admitted to doing this. I admitted to doing this. I'm, I'm a sucker for the sucky. Who doesn't love a little sucky? <laughs> Who doesn't love a little sucky? Oh. So, so then he's so then he's talking about a field sobriety test. So then he starts having me do this. What do you what do you call them when you stand on one foot and look at the other for seven seconds? He shows me what to do, and he can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Imagine you're the officer. All right, I just want you to put your foot like this and do your foot like oh fuck. Hold on, just give me a second. All right, put your foot like this. Okay, lift the other one up like this. I want you to. Oh, the sheriff can't do it. The sheriff can't do it. Oh, my God. (laughs) It's sheriff. Sorry. I had a bunch of sucky tonight. (laughs) (laughs) You and me both. (laughs) Yeah, but you have to do the test. (laughs) And then the officer. Sorry. uh, Sorry. I can't. Usually I can do this. I'm just fucked up right now. (laughs) Jones claims the officer is blaming the weight of his belt on his ability. That's like some scary flex shit. Sorry, the weight of my gun is throwing me off. Yeah. Yeah. Do like this, because you don't have a gun, but I do. Do like this, and don't fuck it up, because you don't have a gun. No, he just said the weight of his belt. Yeah. He's just like, you know, I think he's just it's rocking even, like a Gucci, yeah, some, yeah. like some fat buckle on there. Yeah. Some, some <laughs> yeah, fucking doesn't, Fendi It's not even tactical. Buckle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just a Fendi just belt. drip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. My shit dripping. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. <laughs> He's singing himself, drip too hard. <laughs> 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 this way. Oh, shit, wait a minute. I can't stand straight. 
I said, wavy as hell. Drip crazy. Man. Drip too warm. Anyway, <laughs> just stand like this. You know, but you could do it better because that shit is trash that you got on. <laughs> Drip too warm. You know what I'm saying, do that for. <laughs> it's only a CrossFit class. Listen to this. Jones says, I did, but I was wobbling at 10 seconds. And the officer goes, Well, that's it. You're going to jail. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so for that, fast for that fucking fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Jones is not saying. You like do that shit, man? What the fuck <laughs> is that? An Aldo belt? Yeah, that's it, bro. You going to jail? <laughs> that's it, bro. You out? You going to jail? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Here's here's a here's a little comment we got on Patreon uh, from someone in response to the bit where we're talking about. Uh, wet dreams on a plane, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This was money. Yeah, this, this is from so this is from Cat. Shout out Cat. Yeah. Okay, so one time I went on a school trip in high school with this guy I really liked, and he sat next to me, and I was all giddy and shit. Well, I fell asleep on his shoulder and had a wet dream about him on the bus. And when I woke up, my pants were dot 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 wet. Yeah, obviously. I what else? <clears throat> He didn't notice, but I was so fucking embarrassed, and as if that wasn't enough, he asked me what I had a dream about, and I asked why, and he said, it looked like you were riding a horse and chewing gum at the same time, <laughs> and I will never forget that fucking moment. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Riding a horse like how, though? Like, like this? Like, Yeah, I, she probably had both hands up. And chewing gum? So he's just like... Did he just look, look like a cowboy? Yeah. Just look like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, it was just a dream about. Uh, I was. I had some pork cracklings yeah. and some uh, yeah, yeah. long branch. And, yeah. That's that's all it was. Yeah, that's all it was. And, <laughs> Could you imagine? A girl being like, she's like, let me get on top. You're like, oh hell yeah, and she just gets up there, grabs a hat, a little little fucking piece of piece of wheat. Yeah, piece of wheat. Yeah. She just gets up there, <laughs> and there's there's two fucking rain straps at the head of her bedpost yeah. and you're like what the fuck, what the fuck is this she's like yeah she spanks her thigh and yeah she's yeah like, yeah she goes make a horse sound and you're like oh what <laughs> <laughs> louder <laughs> louder oh, i can't even <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, she, she pulls the actual like horse racing whip, yeah, from out the top of her yeah. bed. She's just smacking the shit out of your, smacking you on the chest. <laughs> ow, ow, ow! What the fuck? Ow. That's not a horse sound. <laughs> What's a horse sound? Just... I, I mean, ow! <laughs> Getting fucking broken. <laughs> it's like bending. It's just yeah. Just... Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> shit, shit! Fuck, dude! What the fuck? Ow! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. All right, get, get, get. <laughs> <laughs> she takes you off the bed. She's just moving you all over the floor of her apartment. You just sliding with all the sex sweat on your back. And she's just riding you around the apartment. <laughs> like a Roomba? Yeah, like a Roomba. <laughs> just, just whipping your <laughs> Go on, get <laughs> <laughs> ow, 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 ow. How are you moving me? How is this happening? <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Some tweet was like, I like how everyone with <laughs> everyone without a real job is having funny Zoom conferences yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. And everyone with a real job is like suffering and mm -hmm. like this is the most scary period mm -hmm. of their life right now. Mm -hmm. It's hey. like it's not fucking fair. People like, you know. I don't know, just bullshit like social media marketing jobs. So oh, you're yeah. having like fun sending funny gifts on yeah. Slack all day. Like, oh, oh I... you're so fun. And like taking screenshots of their Zoom conferences and putting them on Twitter where someone's got a funny hat on. And, ah! People that work in restaurants are like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's someone I'm thinking of specifically at full screen <laughs> who I will not name. No, and fuck I... it. I'm yeah, kidding. fuck it. Yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> You boring ass. Yeah, you what fucking, do you do? Fucking dumb bitch. Finally, I can say, <laughs> what the fuck do you do? Stupid ass motherfucker. Fuck you, man. There's one person I'm thinking of in particular, and they always drove me insane. 
because they always had a big ass opinion and uh, about shit and but they never did that job and then they always wanted to call shots and be very opinionated and all i could think was you just fucking <clears throat> hire someone else to write tweets yeah here <laughs> What do you do? What do you do here? What do you do? I don't know what you yeah. do here. Just wow, me. team all hands yeah. is quirky this morning. Yeah. Jared is wearing a lion suit. Michaela, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do here? You imagine those people just getting on a Zoom conference and then they think it's like the standard meeting and it's just this is the president of the company. Oh. Yeah, there's like they just don't have any shirt on. Yeah, just, oh, oh, uh, hi, Michaela. Hi. They have like isolation written <laughs> and like lipstick or some shit on their chest, like as a joke. This is a fucking dude named Zach. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mr. C- Ch- Mr. Cheeseman. Hi, he's Zachary. The pre- he's the president of yeah. uh, Pepper Jack Cheese yeah. Corporation. Hi, Zachary. I just wanted to. Uh... Sit in on the call today and see what we're doing. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was just, um, uh, well, I was just uh, actually gonna put a shirt on, and um, be a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So once then, you, once you the, throw a shirt on, we'll, sure, we'll, I'll do, yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk for a second. Yeah, put a shirt on. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. So I was just gonna line up the uh, t- Twitter today. I was just gonna get the Twitter in line. So a lot of cheese tweets going out today. Right. Yeah. And 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 and, and, and you know, here's the thing, Zach is. A lot of us are sitting at home now, and uh, you know the, the. Sorry, I have the fart extension on Zoom conference. Sorry, let me just disable. No, sorry, let me just disable. Wow, that's let me uh, disable that. I don't know where. Where is that's? How do you get it off? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Cheeseman. Okay, yeah, there's. Disabled. Is this a cutting the cheese joke, Zachary? Yes. You think I'm just cutting? Is it is this is that what this is? Yes. Y- are you it sure? Could be. Are you sure? If you think it's funny. So here's the thing, Zachary. A lot of us are sitting at home, and uh, in this time, you know, I've had really had time to assess the company. Sorry, it's still on. <laughs> to assess the company, I just need to know, Zachary. What the fuck do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so this dude went out. Bought a fuck ton of hand sanitizer. 18,000 bottles. And because he wanted to seize the opportunity that he saw. Yeah. He's a dickhead. <laughs> and then he can't sell it now. Well, panic buying has been on the rise amid. Why does he. Why is he. Whoever captured this picture, this shit is lifestyle as fuck. Yeah. Like this borderline looks like the first page to like a Thrasher magazine. It's so true. Such a great shot. Yeah. The global spread of the new coronavirus with consumers around the world stockpiling goods like hand sanitizer, canned foods, and toilet paper, including one man in Hickson. It's a story that is dominating national headlines after the New York Times wrote about <clears throat> Matt Colvin stockpiling goods amid the coronavirus outbreak. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland talked to Matt, who bought nearly 18,000 bottles of hand sanitizer. 18,000? Why would you even agree to this interview? Yeah, like I mean, you know, you know. He, well, he needs to sell the. He needs yeah. to move these things. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's got to get rid of yeah. them. Yeah. While many are still searching to find even one for Matt Colvin, a <sighs> pandemic meant an opportunity. For Matt Colvin. A pandemic meant an opportunity. That's that's the worst fucking phrase. Yeah. A pandemic meant an opportunity. Oh. No. Oh. Never. <laughs> Look at him trying to wear this shirt to make up for it. This is like the this is like the best bit I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> I'm just a family man. <laughs> running a family business. What about the families that don't have hand sanitizer right now? They could have it if they hit up family man family business. <laughs> you know, it's the big bad corporation Amazon that won't let me do it. Exactly. Went to zero to sixty really fast. After the first COVID-19 death in the United States, Colvin Wentz... Where do they get these news people with this voice? Yeah, I don't know. After the first day T death in the... <laughs> don't... Ah, if you die and this is the guy talking about your death, the first death after COVID-19. 
It's just like disrespectful. Yeah, you're just rolling around in your grave like, oh, Man, stop, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. <laughs> the first death of the COVID-19. <laughs> dude, shut the fuck up, you nerd. <laughs> stop talking about me. Keep it's, my name out of your mouth. Wait, clean. hold on. Go back for a second. <laughs> Wait, so this guy, I just wanted to point out, this guy, after the first death, he saw the first person die, and then he was like, now's the time to strike. What a psycho, What dude. an asshole. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. It took me really fast. <laughs> After the first COVID-19 death. death in the United States, Colvin went state to state clearing out sanitizers. The way this guy talks, it's like his mouth is like, like his like the teeth are always showing. Calvin went to another state. Yeah. And he's like always congested. <laughs> it was a little bit nasally, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like Calvin went to it. <laughs> 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 he like talks on the top of yeah. his nose. Shelves. <laughs> He went to another state, <laughs> and he got after the first death <laughs> from COVID nineteen. This fucker is reading this shit at a yacht club, <laughs> <laughs> laughing at poor people while he's uh, this shit. It clearing out sanitizer shelves. He now sits with eighteen thousand unused bottles 18, in his home and storage unit. Give them out, the dude. Tennessee Valley struggled to find one. Ugh. the bulk of it was purchased with just driving around to uh, retail stores in the Chattanooga area. Colvin bought the sanitizer with the intention of selling them for profit on Amazon before they took his listings down. Now feeling the same panic as many others. Oh crap! Is the uh, P PG way to say it? Though he would not discuss on camera the exact prices he sold the sanitizer for. He told the New York Times in a recent interview the, that the end is so funny, dude. Some items were listed at seventy dollars a bottle. He's selling this shit for seventy bucks. Who the fuck are you, man? Smart, <laughs> smart. Mark them up. Yeah, high dude. margins. Yeah, see that opportunity. Charge seven thousand percent margin. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, like an airline ticket. Mm -hmm. You know, because. When what do you see when when you hear pandemic? What do you see in your head? Um, dead people, a suffering, yeah, depression, that blah blah blah. Yeah. I see opportunity. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and that's why I thought family business. <laughs> I gotta hear this shit. Hold on. The pricing on Amazon was higher than it was definitely higher than retail. Stating in a shirt that says definitely, <laughs> definitely higher than retail. <laughs> definitely are family man, family business, family man, family business. He says he never anticipated the struggle other families would go through because of a shortage. Fuck off. Would you say you're sorry. This is it. Sorry for purchasing. Uh, sorry for buying all of this. <laughs> No, I don't think that I would. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What a dick. Double down, bro. The Double. dramatic pause, too. Holy fuck. <laughs> he had a real... That was kind of fucking hard. <laughs> I'm going to say it. That was kind of tough. We're all waiting with yeah. bated breath. Yeah. What's he going to say? <laughs> is, he, is this man sorry Has for he, what he did? Yeah. <sighs> No. <laughs> Just nah. You're nah. a family man. Are you uh sorry that other families or you've put other families in jeopardy essentially because they don't have any sanitizer and now might get the virus and Yeah nah. <laughs> yeah nah. Yeah nah. Nah. I'm all right, love. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm though. good, love. Thank you. <laughs> So hey, the, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. the caption of this is because every red light eventually turns green. That's damn, dude. That's just poem after poem after poem today. Hey, everybody. McConaughey here. Just want to say in these crazy times uh, that we're in with the coronavirus, um, let's take care of ourselves and each other. Uh, let's not go to the lowest common denominator and get paranoid. Let's do our due diligence, take the precautions we need to, to take care of ourselves. Right now, more than ever before, we're all more dependent on each other than we ever have been. But we have an enemy in coronavirus that is faceless, that is I hate, I hate like sexless, the cadence. Non-denominational. I hate the cadence. 
mm, in yeah. which he talks. Mm. He's just always acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the at the very beginning where he was like, uh, Matthew McConaughey here, we have uh, we found an enemy with the coronavirus or whatever. Yeah, he said. yeah. He's like, <laughs> we really gotta you know depend on ourselves and don't go down to that lowest common denominator and I think <laughs> it does a little the only thing we can rely on is uh, each other. Yeah. You know, that, look, 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 Matt, you don't got to be sexy for everybody. You know, we, we know you do that for the ladies and you get on the gram. If you're going to make a PSA, <laughs> Dude. you don't got to do a sexy PSA. You know well, saying? no, because he sees an opportunity. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> he just starts fucking unbuttoning his shirt as he's talking. <laughs> he's like, now one of the symptoms of coronavirus is a... Uh, Love it. Heat. <laughs> now I know your temperature is going to come up a little. <laughs> your temperature is going to come up a little bit. But that's okay. Because now that you're home, he's undoing the shirt. There's nothing wrong with slipping it off. Oh my God, dude. And don't forget, he gets a little Lysol wipe. Stay clean. <laughs> Sanitize. No, he's just in like a little. He's in like jeans. A loincloth. He's in a loincloth and he's like, he's like, nah, I've heard. <laughs> he's got he's got a wedding ring on and he's slipping it off. He's like, nah, I've heard. It could affect your fertility. So I might need to go on a journey after this whole thing <laughs> said and done to find out if my M and the E is still the M and the E. <laughs> so if you want to help me figure that out. You head on over to MatthewMcConaughey.com and you sign up. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of women. Oh my fucking, yes. Yes. I want to be on the Matthew McConaughey semen tour. <laughs> <laughs> he just calls it the, the semen tour. Matthew McConaughey semen oh tour. Oh my God. <laughs> he goes on tour, an official tour, just fucking women. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tour t-shirt with fucking a thousand stops. <laughs> Small bump fuck towns. He's going everywhere, dude. I'm, I'm leaving my beautiful state of Texas, and I'm not coming back until a woman is fucked in every state and city. And, uh, and my long branch has been through every pork <laughs> crackling on this side of the globe. <laughs> What we were joking about before, uh -huh. where he was like in his song, yeah, where he was, you know, basically joking about like fucking his sister or whatever. Or what yeah. was it again? No, I was like, I see you want to fuck my best friend. <laughs> we're talking about Brent Rivera, by the way, guys. Brent Rivera, yeah. So he did this new YouTube video where like his his solution to the quarantine <laughs> content problem, yeah, is to throw his sister is missing her prom, and so he wants to throw. A prom for her. Right. <laughs> Very own prom in my living room, and I'm going to surprise him and my sister with Shut it. Up. No way. <laughs> Boom, what's up, everyone? This is some weird cuck shit, man. It's weird. It's it's a little bit weird. It's creepy, dude. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I have been very bored over this whole quarantine stay inside thing. So this is. Yeah, pause it. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, it's just you, man. Just you. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, it is everybody in the fucking world that's also bored. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, man, but I've been really bored with this whole quarantine thing. Yeah. Yeah, what is going on? I know that, you know, this year has been pretty crazy so far. And obviously school closed. It's your senior year. Yeah. And I know you were missing out on prom this year because of it. I am. So uh, I want to And I know you oh. were missing out on potentially losing your virginity with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a nice gesture if there wasn't a fucking camera in their face the whole time. Right. Right. <laughs> They're trying to have a have their dance or whatever, <laughs> and he's just like, oh, yeah. Well, let's see that. Yeah. Thank you, bro. That's all right. Well, yeah. Why are you doing this? You're the last person that would do this. <laughs> I know. I oh, <laughs> you're. <laughs> Why are you doing this, dude? This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the best part of the whole video. Are you joking me, bro? Oh you're the, my god. You're the last person that would do this. Why the fuck are you doing this, man? This is completely <laughs> out of character for you, man. You never do nice shit like this. <laughs> Why the fuck are you doing this, man? This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> the brother 
this is he's like trying to Still, like, hold you know, hold a nice face because he's being filmed. Yeah, he's like, he's, uh, why the fuck are you doing this, bro? <laughs> this is weirding me out, kind of. <laughs> with the camera and the rose petals, and it's like, thanks, but it's kind of weird. All weird. Why'd you send me that text about? I hope you get lucky tonight. That was fucking weird, dude. <laughs> yeah, you gave me some condoms. What the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> I gotta see what happens next. God damn that! Li- Even his fucking sister is like, look at her. Look at, <laughs> look at that face. She's like, dude. what the fuck is even going on here anymore? She's looking at her mom like, mom, did you okay this? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, me and Brent just got done fucking earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, oh, bro, what's he about to do? A little commencement? He's gonna make a little speech. <laughs> it is time now for the prom king and queen. Oh my god. <laughs> It is time now for you guys to consummate the prom king and queen. I mean, please follow me upstairs <laughs> and begin the uh, consummate ce- celebration. Oh, it's fucked up, but it has that energy, man. Yeah, this got big incest vibes. Big incest vibes, bro. Did he buy her that dress too? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Time for the slow song. And he's, oh man, he made him do it. He made him oh, he's do it. Him. What a fucking weird. Oh man. He's like, all right, all right, get your hands off my sister. If there's only, yeah. there's only one person who can hold my sister like that, and it's me. Yo, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm attracted to my sister, and so. <laughs> <laughs> This quarantine has made me realize how much I want to bang my sister. <laughs> and I'm bored. What about you guys? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I'm I'm bored, but what was that first one? <laughs> oh, I, I'm just bored, and I want to fuck my sister. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, and this is the best one. I can't take it anymore. I fuck my stepsister ass during <gasps> confinement. Confinement. Oh, we got Cody with that one. Confinement. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I have to fuck her ass. <laughs> that can mean that can mean anything, dude. That can mean like they already were fucking. I know. But now, he, like, he just wanted the asshole, <laughs> and he can't take it anymore. I need to fuck her ice in confinement. <laughs> Someone confinement, me- confinement, like yeah. with an A. Yeah. So you know, I intended to bring this up. Confinement. <laughs> oh, you're right. I can't keep- fuck her ass in confinement. I have to fuck her ice in confinement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shite. Oh, shite. I have to fuck her shite hole. I have to fuck her shite hole in confinement. <laughs> I have to fuck her. <laughs> and cutting out every single time they say the word like. So, how often do they say it? Well, in episode 124 of the podcast... Which was recently. Yeah. Like, that was a recent like, 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 <laughs> Just like, let it play. Like, 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 we should just change the podcast to this. This is way funny. <laughs> just sixty minutes of like. <laughs> we cut. We cut out everything we said. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning into this week's podcast. Uh, like, 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 like. Oh man. Oh man. I'm getting flashbacks of um right now. Like, 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 like 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 like
good god, dude. Like, 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 uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. If you're seeking a bit of motivation in this time, in this difficult time, we have just the thing for you. Just, mm -hmm. just, just listen. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much mm. money you have. Mm. That's really the thing. Because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like, that's where it is. But a sub is $5 Wait, at max. <laughs> what did she say? The difference between eating a, me yeah, eating that, a that. meal and... <laughs> I don't know. Does that even make sense? Hit you with the classic bullshit or economics. <laughs> she just she said it so, like, assuredly. Yeah. That's like some pyramid scheme shit right there. No, because you put the money in, and then it goes in, and then it comes back out. Huh? And the difference is sitting in between. Right? Right. Imagine you're eating a meal at Tim Hortons, okay. right? $20. $20 uh -huh. can quite a bit of money. Yeah. I can buy you four full meals at Tim Hortons. Imagine you didn't eat one of those meals. So you're sitting in Tim Hortons with three meals. Okay. That meal that you're not eating, that's where the money, that's where the difference lies. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm still... <laughs> I don't even... I need to get her original statement. What the fuck was that? Hold up. I'm going to listen really closely because we all know math is hard for me. $20. Like, that's where it is. Wait. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like, that's where it is. <laughs> what? But... what does that mean? What does it mean? Tell me. I think what she's saying is the difference between $20 and eating a meal is that's it right there it's it's twenty dollars it's in the twenty dollars right there but what but <laughs> that's the weirdest backwards way of saying twenty dollars can buy you a meal i know twenty dollars and she eating a this... meal is in that twenty dollars like that's where it is but <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> sorry keep playing that's so funny that was the weirdest way of saying yeah <laughs> twenty dollars is twenty dollars <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the difference is there. The difference between not eating a meal and, and eating a meal is having the twenty dollars. <laughs> That's the difference. Welcome to economics with Jay Alvarez. <laughs> All right. It's Welcome to how dollars. currency works. Yeah. <laughs> These are people in Wisconsin yeah. protesting how everything's still shut down. Okay. All right. You can't buy paint. You can't buy lawn. You can't buy lawn fertilizer or grass seed or whatever. I mean, come on, all statewide, really? You know, it's time for our state to be opened up. We're tired of not being able to buy the things that we need. Go to the hairdressers, get our hair done. Now, when I start to buy my Halloween stuff, what am I not supposed to buy my Halloween stuff? Really? You can't buy paint. You <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, so that was when I started to buy my Halloween stuff. I gotta hear it's that also, again. It's so funny that it's it's April. I know. I know. Need go to the hairdressers, get our hair done. That was when I start to buy my Halloween stuff. What am I not supposed to buy my Halloween stuff? Really? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Uh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, bro. You know, even if a chip comes out, it's it's not a bad thing. I kind of I, I want it. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by a chip? Explain. You know, a chip that you know goes into your skin, and the government can track you all hours of the day, figure out what you're doing. Whatever. Now we were joking on Telegram about about like. If everyone, for some reason, was, like, super receptive to the idea. Like, maybe they branded it cool or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. they use, like, Apple's branding for yeah. this new chip. And so everyone's, like, kind of pumped on it. And, like, <laughs> dudes, dudes are, like, 
you know, waiting in line. Like the iPhone guys are waiting in line for the new chip. There's like a YouTuber there that's just going to destroy it as soon as he gets it. <laughs> God, this new chip looks so sick. I want it, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, play the play, wait, play the song that I made. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Noel was joking about like yeah, like Charlie D'Amelio doing like a TikTok dance to like <laughs> oh, the yeah, chi- yeah. for the chip saying, campaign. Yeah. Like maybe even that, the government like pays yeah, the government her. <laughs> creates a campaign so like all these TikTokers are like <laughs> are doing a chip dance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making up the chip dance on camera right now. <laughs> Dog, did you see that clip of him and Drake drinking on Instagram Live? I was no, no, show crying. it to me. Crying. Okay. Don't you ever disrespect me like that? Oh, like, <laughs> hold on. I, I felt a little let down. Where is Why your body? Boy? Oh, here we go. 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 Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I know that. Even though you're sipping on sangria and I'm sipping on Hennessy. Let's see it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he just chugs it. I am fine. Because I don't know what you're about to say after that, man. All right. <laughs> Dude. What? I haven't seen someone try to impress someone like that since like high school. <laughs> that was the funniest shit to me. I know you're sipping sangria, but me personally, I'm <laughs> sipping an entire cup of Hennessy. And when Drake he, going, let's see it, and his <laughs> how fast he's like, <laughs> and then his face after, yeah, he's yeah. Just looking, he's just, you see that man, yo, yo Aubrey, you see that? His yo, eyes Aubrey, hella you see red. How fast I chugged it. His eyes just red and watery, trying to. <laughs> Hold back the pain. Yeah, just... he's trying to. He's not saying anything because he can't. He's trying not to gag. Yo, act you good? Yeah. Yeah. Go oh. ahead. And then he goes, "I'm gonna turn it off because I don't know what you're gonna say after that." <laughs> you're gonna be. I'm fine because I don't know what you're about to say after that, man. All right, we're gonna lick. Yo, respect. <laughs> you're my guy. You're, you're you know. Man. Oh. A respect. respect. A respect. <laughs> Yo, Drake, you're a bad ting. <laughs> no, what? bro. That was him trying to fight him back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> respect. <laughs> you're my guy. <laughs> you're my guy. Listen to that shit. Respect. <laughs> you're my guy. You're my guy. You're You're my guy. You got a gag so hard, he just starts speaking that way. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Bad man, ting. <laughs> Bro, fucking hell. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm turning it off now. <laughs> and he just you know what he's, he fucking after he got taken out of the live. He's sitting there in his room like, oh, fuck, I'm going to yeah. be just wasting yeah, now for the next four hours. Blacked out. I can sit here alone and just be wasted. The Nori watch- Mackie synthesizer is a lickable screen. <laughs> it's a screen that can recreate almost any taste. Oh, sorry, or flavor. Sorry. No smell. Without no eating smell. food. Oh, my God. How's, wife comes home. Dude's watching porn and just <laughs> lap, <laughs> lapping the screen. Like a cat Hi, drink, <laughs> like a cat drinking milk, just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a close-up shot of a of a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs>
that's that's gonna be you know that's the future of memes. Someone sends you a dope uh, <laughs> Normansky synthesizer pussy lick video, and you start watching it, and you're licking your your synthesizer, and then it just changes to dick all of a sudden. You just <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh, why did I like it? Why did I like it? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, what the fuck? You like? <laughs> it just like added, it. added that dick taste, dude. I, what are you talking about? I I turned it off before you turned <laughs> before it off you got there before you even got there. <laughs> You start having a fucking meltdown. <laughs> You're crying and shit. <laughs> Texting your wife, I'm honey, I'm gay. What? What? I'm I gay! Just, I sucked a dick. I was looking at the dick and it was a penis. <laughs> Justin sent me a meme and I was tasting it and then it changed to a dick, <laughs> so I tasted the dick. Justin sent me a meme and I was <laughs> tasting it. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to. I swear I didn't mean to. But I tasted the dick. <laughs> you what? I licked the dick. I tasted it. What? How? Because I have a Normansky synthesizer. <clears throat> when did you buy that? <laughs> For tasty memes. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I, you know, I've noticed there's a lot of like, unnecessary like padding on like before and after jokes you know like a lot of tiktoks are fucking too long and you yeah. finish watching them and you're like that was funny but like 30 40 percent of that could have been cut out <laughs> like there's this one there's this one trend that's funny i thought it was funny it's the um walking on a dream song you know what i'm talking about <laughs> no what what was that what is that <laughs> Were you i was catching your likes <laughs> oh fuck off dude 71 sentence. Uh, bro, oh my god. Nate, clip that out. Clip that out. <clears throat> and that just has to, we have to bake in a video soundboard where we just cut to that shot right there. Did I just get uh, owned? Yeah, dude, you got Did owned. Did I just get completely owned uh, on my own podcast. show? Yes. Anyway, what's what's the trend? Sorry, you were you were singing real nice. There. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. No, go I, ahead. I wanna, <laughs> no, go ahead. No. Go ahead. Uh, no. Okay. Like, how are we? Are you, Bevan? Are you still doing it? Don't fucking no one. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to see any fingers up. I don't want. Okay. I don't need to see you. I don't want to okay. see you counting in your head. Okay. Like I said, I can. That, I can say that one. Yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah. That one's good. Chief of police and um, I don't really know who else is here on the Zoom call, but they basically had a town hall where they were hearing people out on the current situation. They give them <laughs> two minutes each. And this is my favorite one so far. Okay. Jeremy Fresh, followed by Ron, Juan Ramirez. You turn it on. <clears throat> tear gas is this what you think of protecting and serving because i think it's bullshit fuck you michael moore i refuse to call you an officer or a chief because you don't deserve those titles you are a disgrace suck my dick and choke on it i yield my time fuck you, <laughs> thank you i yield my time thank you Jeremy Fish, followed by suck my dick and choke on it i yield my time and fuck <laughs> you <laughs> I yield my time. Fuck you. <laughs> Suck on my dick and choke on it. I have to hear that again, dude. Officer or chief because you don't deserve those titles. You are a disgrace. Suck my dick and choke on it. I yield my time. Fuck you. I yield my time. Fuck you. <laughs> dude, it's, it sounds like a Papa Roach song. I guess. <laughs> Suck my dick and choke on it. I yield my time. Fuck, Fuck you. you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> he sounds like Limp Biscuit, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's Fred Durst, man. <laughs> Suck my dick and choke on it. Yo, suck. that lady, I have to give her props for telling everyone thank you for nine hours straight. Yeah. yeah. Go fuck yourself. Thank you so much for thank your time. Thank you so much. Next up, we have... <laughs> 
<laughs> we have Jasper. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Suck my fucking dick. <laughs> Thank you so much. Next up, we have Corey. Hello. Is this on? Hi. Hello. Hi. Yep. Hi. Yep. Can you Th- you? Thank you so much, Commission. Um, what has transpired after these events is absolutely disgusting. I would love nothing more for than to shove my fat fucking dick down your fucking throats. Fuck you! Mm. I yield okay. my time and go fuck yourself! Okay. Great. Thank you. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. It's four years old. Listen to the fucking... <clears throat> this is the weirdest fucking thing. So you, know, you guys know. If, you don't, if you're not familiar, Architectural Digest is a channel where, you know, they go to celebrities' homes. We've talked about this. Yeah, but just in case, you okay. know. Fair. You and you get to witness um, either you know it's a razor thin line between where your favorite celebrity is a just a massive dickhead mm-hmm. or an endearing person. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you get to find out by way of their house. Mm-hmm. You know, Who, who's did we? It was Aaron Paul? <laughs> He's like, yeah, hey, we just had to get out of the the L.A. Couldn't do it, so we we bought this ranch in Idaho, just in the middle of the forest. It's super secluded, really private. We actually had this fireplace uh mantle whatever imported from sweden or something it's 80 that eighty thousand dollars and actually the home and this is real is is like several barns that were transferred here oh, yeah. and connected <laughs> that's so rich to be like i like this house but i want it in another place yeah, yeah. just move it all i like this one i saw i saw this one in ohio last week and also, there was one more I saw a picture of <laughs> in the Alps. I like that one, too. I want them all combined what? here. Courtney Kardashian did what the rest of them do, and she did it with green screen uh, with just still images of her house. Reading, no way. Reading from a script. Now, what? Now, watch the fucking pacing on this. This is the craziest shit. I'm just going to let it run for a minute. Okay. This is real? This is real, man. It's got 4.3 million views, bro. Just watch. Hold on. Hold on wait one second. What date was this? So this isn't even quarantine. This no. is she just did it. This is four years ago. Four years ago. But why didn't they just go to her house? Okay, weird. Yeah, just let it rip. Okay. You ready? It gets weird. Yeah. Kardashian, and these are three rooms in my home. My name's Martin Lawrence Bullard, and I'm the interior designer. And we're gonna check out eighty-seven things in these rooms. Now, dude, when you hear that, what do you think they're gonna talk about? What eighty-seven things? Pick one that you think they're gonna discuss. <laughs> just the tiles and the floor. Okay. What's another? What's another thing you the think would be... The architecture, the... Okay. How they designed it. The okay. furniture. Yeah. Why they chose it. Welcome to my entryway. Frame doorknob and lock from <laughs> front door <door-hop>. hardware. Okay. <laughs> my mirrors are vintage Belgian. Candle mirror in dark walnut frame. Above, a light fixture. Vintage found in Paris at Marché Paul Bear Serpent. This table was custom made for me by an artist in Venice, California. James DeWolf, made of concrete. What's with his voice, dude? Why is why is the audio so bad? Dude, this feels like a fucking QVC segment. Yeah, like, it really it's does, just, yeah. And, bro, how much he doesn't give a fuck and how he's ad-libbing all this shit. This table was made by a guy in Venice. <laughs> Jean Cousteau. <laughs> Fortified wood and refurbished steel. Wait, watch this attempt at a joke. Gins. All of this resting on a limestone. You nailed one. Like tiles on the thing. Tiles yep. on the floor. On the floor. And I love having my kids' toys everywhere. This is my- <laughs> <laughs> How hyper focused this shit is. You're like, oh man, I can't wait to see this house. Grapes, Venetian, shipped in from Rome. You're like, mm-hmm. well, okay, that's not really what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I don't really give a fuck about the grapes. Yeah. I love to collect black and white photography. Artichokes in porcelain bowl. Unbelievable. I was joking about the Yo, fucking got- grapes, and they actually showed artichokes. In a I'm- porcelain bowl. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. <laughs> I was fucking kidding, and they did it. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Fresh artichokes in a porcelain bowl. That's how, that's how I they- have that. <laughs> At my place. <laughs> Who did they make this for? Yeah. Like someone suffering in a fucking underdeveloped country? Yeah. Look at what we have. We have stoves with red knobs and food. <laughs> what, a, what a weird flex. We have better food than you. Yeah. Fresh vegetables from the local farmer's market. <laughs> Grapes and porcelain bowl. Oh, no. Wow. They actually did it. 
Dude, I I promise you. You I didn't know that they were going to do that? I promise you. I only watched about a minute of it. I, how is that a constant like design? How is that like a major design feature of this house? Grapes in a porcelain bowl? And an artichoke <laughs> yeah. in a porcelain bowl. You think like when they forget to, when whoever, the housekeeper forgets to replace them, she's like, where are the fucking grapes? Chloe got me this Kelly Wurstler bowl for my birthday. The kids and I love to pick oranges from our tree. Maple cutting boards. Custom steel door frame. A doggy door from the previous owner. There's no way! There's a doggy door from the previous owner? <laughs> that's so interesting! Bro, Dude, that's same. sick. Doesn't this feel like a, like a Tim and Eric Yeah, bit? it really does. It's still refrigerated. It'd be so it's funny if they started just going into like weird just <laughs> shit that just, just bunched up toilet paper. From, <laughs> from That's what Beck did on the SNL did a parody of this and it was actually kind of funny. Beck was doing that shit like he goes in he's like, yeah, this is um... This is a window. There's like tape. There's tape on it. Oh, it's weird. There's <laughs> tape on it. There's a piece of tape on there. And then it cuts. It's like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so here's another window. There's my neighbor's blue car. Um, this is like a, a, a thing. Um, this is a pile of paper. You guys ever have paper? And like, you don't know. Yeah. And um, <laughs> that's so good because that's really what it is. No, that is what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's just everyone's house. So it's just, yeah, there's some random shit here that I haven't moved for two years. And that's just going to stay there forever. And I don't even know what the fuck it is. <laughs> a couple bills. I love when they come across something that's really expensive and they don't know how to explain it without coming across like an asshole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and this is a, uh, um, uh, how do I say this? Um, <laughs> oh, it's custom steel made by kids and it's like kind of illegal, but the knife is like so <laughs> sick and it cuts really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. To come to the celebs defense. <laughs> yeah. It would be hard to be Aaron Paul and describe his fireplace. Yeah. If you're really proud of that fireplace and you paid a lot of money for it, how do you not describe that like a dickhead? Yeah, that's, it's like, pro that's probably what his tone it, is. It was whole... imported from Spain. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> it was. It was a fucking bitch to get here. And we finally got it here and I paid so much money. I, I have to fucking tell you that. It was imported from Spain. All right, so what? So fucking sue me. That's, that's everyone's misinterpreting his tone. That's yeah, his whole yeah. tone is like reluctance. Yeah, it's not exactly. trying to be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, and the fucking... He's like, he's sitting there like quietly, like, can't you guys just ask about like, <laughs> like what our favorite like hiking trail is or something or like about the trees. Like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we don't know the prompts. Like you keep picking like the fucking hardest thing in the room. Could be the producer being like, tell us about this. This is a great fireplace. Tell us about this. He's like, oh yeah. You know, we, we like to have marshmallows. No, no, no. The stone. Like, where'd you get it? <sighs> yeah. Okay. It came, it came from Spain. Spain how did you get it you know it's just you know it's 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 it just uh, you're to charter uh, <laughs> a custom Airbus that deals specifically with moving the cargo plane <laughs> this type of stone because it's like religious and <laughs> religious. the local government doesn't <laughs> let you have it unless it's transported by this particular airline because they're the only one sanctioned by the Pope to move this stone. Can we just talk about the, something the else? pile of paper on the fucking table. You want to know about this? Yeah. Ooh, is this Yeah, a... tell us about this. Oh, fuck. That's an offer. It's... Yeah. God damn it. It's an offer for a new show. I can't talk about I that can't one. can't talk about it, but... Well, could you give the fans just like a little... What's the fee? Tell us the fee. No, I, can't, I, can't. I don't want to tell the fee. I can't. You can <laughs> tell us the fee. Can you tell us the fee? Yeah, $64 million. <laughs> See, you're making me seem like a dick. I'm not trying to talk about this stuff, but yes, it's $64 million. And then his girlfriend keeps trying to bail him out when she's like, oh, you know, it's, um, here, let's talk about this. This is Aaron's favorite checkerboard that we bought from a local man for $10. He's like, yes, yes, I love sitting here playing checkers with her in the morning when we eat breakfast. This is such a great view. Did this hiking trail and river come with the property? <laughs> <laughs> she's like well not not per se it had to be built there and put there <laughs> custom but we, we he's like we fucking did it we did it we, we made a it. custom we river hap, yep and we wanted a custom hiking trail <laughs> so we all contacted the city and we got our own but but you know the the, the land People in Utah told us, or in Idaho told us, that this would have happened anyways through erosion and stuff. So we were just speeding Spe up the Speeding process. it up, yeah. yeah. 
So is anyone else allowed to walk on it? No. <laughs> oh, is that by... Ch we paid to have it to be to ourselves. Got it. Yeah. That, they're going to love that. <laughs> Perfect. That's a wrap. Thank you so yeah. much, Aaron. <laughs> Fucking Why do I do these? Sick. <laughs> So Mr. Beast is running a game where you gotta hold your finger on on a phone for a uh, uh, for as long as you can. As long as you can, yeah. And uh this our our boy right here gets fucking pranked. Here we go. Okay. Wait, did we get any new followers? Oh, hey Z Re, I appreciate the Oh my god! I don't know what that means. <laughs> Bruh. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> and it, it had been three and a Are half hours at that point. Me? Three and a half hours, right? Oh. Yeah, three and a half hours of holding your finger on a phone <laughs> just to get <sighs> wrecked <sighs> by your chat. Hey Z Re. Oh. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, dude. I gotta see that again, dude. That hey, fucking Z killed me. We, just so innocent. Oh, we got it. We got any use? We got any? We got any donos? <laughs> Watch it one more time. Wait, did we get any new followers? Oh, hey Z Re. I appreciate the. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this frame, this frame, just the <laughs> sheer. Oh, and I the, and the up. you lost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, did you fuck? Do you hear about that fucking streamer decide? Do you hear about that fool? No. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is this one of those? Like, did you? Will you decide to put my nuts in your mouth? Sort of thing. No, no. Actually, is a streamer actually decides like a Fortnite player? Okay. <laughs> Did you see... <laughs> what? Sorry, I just... I don't know. I just... I'm five years old. Did you see the... Did you see the clip of Ness? Oh, nailing you with Owning the, me with the Candace shit? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought that was. Yeah. <laughs> he said... <laughs> He said, uh, what did he say? You ever heard of Candace? Yeah, yeah, do you know Candace? Yeah. Yeah, and I said, no, who's that? And he said, Candace dick fit in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> and I got fucking laughed at, dude. <laughs> and so now I'm being extra careful. Because you could have done that there. You could have. Yeah, I know. So, but you, you know. so you never heard of Decide? No, no, never. no. Okay. No. You never heard of Decide of this dick, bitch? <laughs> Right, I was right, and it still worked. There's nothing, there's nothing else I could have done. There's nothing else I could have. I called it. I called it out, and you oh still somehow, <laughs> somehow managed to get me with it. Don't don't you feel like Drake and Future just need to go back to the yeah, what, what a time to be alive era of making dark, moody trap music made for late night drives around Atlanta while you're sipping on a cup of lean? Don't you feel that way? Totally. You know. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Someone tweeted this fucking Reddit post. It's on R Drizzy. I was crying, dude. And <laughs> and that was the caption. <laughs> you know it's some fucking suburban white kid too. Oh, of course, man. You no. know it is. I was just picturing like being in a studio, being an intern and saying this shit and just just completely speaking out of turn. <laughs> some skinny Skinny like white kid. Yo, 
if I may, <laughs> if I may interject with my opinion, I think Drake and Future need to go back to the <laughs> Watba. What is this? <laughs> what Watba? <laughs> Watba era of making dark, moody trap music made for late night drives around Atlanta while you're sipping on a cup of lean. <laughs> They're like, man, clean the fucking bathroom. What are you? Who let you in here, man? <laughs> Fucking shit. Dude. Just like we're in we're in Sacramento, dude. What do you Yeah, yeah, what do you yeah? Uh, we're Have you ever or- even been to Atlanta? <laughs> we're we're in Oregon, man. <laughs> Have you ever been to Atlanta? Yeah. yeah. I went to Buckhead once with my parents. <laughs> this was sick. You know who you know who is a really good artist and a great freestyler in particular? Who? Is uh um, don't, don't say it. Smoke perp. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, man. It's Fortnite, uh, uh, play it like it's Fortnite. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. In the moonlight, in the spotlight, uh, I don't really, really want the limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. You can move me under motherfucking limelight. Cause I really, really, really want to blow pipes. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Low perp really go, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to respect the fact that he just stops saying words. Just, uh, like he's like I'm I'm not, he's like I'm choking right now, so I'm just gonna make this so bad <laughs> that you can't not like it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> just whining over the beat. Bro. Bro. That shit was hard <laughs> to fucking watch. He <laughs> tweet. Of that dude yelling into the car. Oh, oh, of course. It's very classic. You know, we had 5,000 people uh, tag us in this, and then I watched it and I realized why. It's it's very us. Yeah. On the road, aren't you? Get out of the truck! <laughs> Get out of the truck, little lady! No, I'm good. See, because you know you lose. How do I lose? Because I will beat your fucking dick into the ground all day long. <laughs> The way he gets choked up on the word long. <laughs> All day long. That's kind of gay, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay, bye. What did you say? Well, beat your dick. Dude, hop out. Hop out. Dude, hop out. I will beat your dick. Dude. dude. I will beat your dick. Dude. Hop out. I like How about if you want to get sucked <laughs> off? I like to imagine that that's the juxtaposition here, that this kid doesn't get that this dude is actually offering. <laughs> yeah. Like he's offering. Like, get out of the truck. I'm going to beat dude, your... I will, f- I will fuck your <laughs> dick around. I will beat your fucking dick into the ground all day long. That dude got home, sat down with his family. He was like, huh. This fucking guy today, he's so lucky. I almost fucking beat his dick clean off. <laughs> I almost fucked his dick completely off. <laughs> and in his house, there, <laughs> dude, there's just like glass cases of other guys' dicks that he's just beaten <laughs> literally off their body. <laughs> like he sucked their penis clean off their body. Oh, man. <laughs> Like, you know, that's so funny. Like, you that know, dude just punching a dick and it flies off. It's a clean break. Yeah. Dude is smooth there. It's just balls and smooth. <laughs> no penis. No blood, no nothing. Nothing. It's just a clean break. Just No, his balls pop off too. And then he looks like a Ken doll. <laughs> that's why he's so confident. That's why, that's why he's like, I will beat your, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude. That's why he's so confident because he knows. If you don't want this smoke, he's, he's like, he's like, it's fine. Like that, that he doesn't care. He's like, that's fine. Yeah, Stay in the truck, fine. man. You're better Stay off. Because I'm truck. telling you, you yeah, come out r- here right now, your penis is coming off. <laughs> you are going to be missing a dick. <laughs> uh, 
Like I mean, the, it's funny, and then you, you get under the surface, and you're like, "Oh man, yeah, yeah is this is this me? Really is this me?" <laughs> it feels, dude. You know what I've been looking into recently? What <laughs> penny trading? Pe- oh, like penny stocks? Get out of here, dude! No, 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 like penny trading your mom. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? I, <laughs> what? <laughs> penny trading your mom? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think so. I read a I read a tweet this morning about some dude. Let me read this shit. I tutor high school juniors in coding, and today we are making a messaging app, and I needed a name for a user, so a kid said, try Jeff, and I did the, my name Jeff, voice from Vine, and not a single kid laughed. (laughs) (laughs) Completely. Wait, these are high school students? Uh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, that's so depressing. (laughs) Completely silent Zoom call. After like 15 seconds, one kid asked if I was okay. (laughs) I think Mr. Stevens is having a stroke. (laughs) Mr. Stevens, are you okay? Oh. Yeah, no, I'm... (laughs) No, I'm not. I'm not, actually, because here's the thing. I'm (laughs) I'm only like 22, and I for sure thought I was still relatable, but I'm... But I'm not, and I wasn't supposed to feel this until like 35. This has come 13 years too early. I'm gonna need you guys to Holy sit here and fuck. watch these Vine compilations before I bug the fuck out. <laughs> He's like, "Come on, you guys, bar last day. What about that? <laughs> Nothing, bar last day." Manic sweating, like <laughs> with playing a Vine compilation. Like it's funny, right? Come in here, come, come get y'all juice. What about that? Come on. Come on. And then all the Nothing. kids are just like fucking weird and meta and boring. They're like, that's not very nice. Oil <laughs> on the floor was a bad idea, and she's probably very injured. It looked like that kid was really hurt there. Yeah. I don't know why no, you think it's that's not that's funny. not the point. It's the thing shot it's funny. It was a prank. Yeah, I don't know, Mr. Stevens. I don't know if other people's pain is is really that funny. Do you laugh when like, you know? Uh, people get injured on the street, or just in general. <laughs> He's like, "Come on, what the fuck is wrong with you kids? <laughs> just, just, just laugh." It's she hit funny. the fucking oven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come get y'all juice and then the knee into the pawn. It's funny. Come in here, come get y'all juice. What about the drop the croissant one? Huh? No. Guess he's gonna drop the croissants on the ground. Okay, okay, easier one. Nicer. Free shavaka do? Come on. <laughs> Come on. It's not it's it's clearly fresh avocado. Look at she all thinks- these fucking chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are like, um Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch professors. Those You're aren't f- chickens, <laughs> Mr. Stevens, they're geese. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, 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 it's just, all right, yeah, no, it's cool. No, you, you win. Yeah. I guess this shit isn't funny. <laughs> Someone in the back? <laughs> oh, he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> the, cra- the class erupts in laughter. Yeah, 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 and it's just, the laughter is like evil and fucking mean. <laughs> It's echoing in his fucking head, and he's just sitting there. He needs some milk. (laughs) Oh, my God. Damn, he needs some milk. (laughs) Damn, he needs some milk. This guy is talking. Private property. If I put my hands on him, he's going to go into jail. No way, you're on camera too. I'm not going to put my hands on you. Well, why do you keep talking to me, sir? I asked you to leave me alone. You come out here being disrespectful. Uh, You're being disrespectful. You're at a funeral home. All right, we understand. You you should have just said, move the truck. But you come out here getting all people's faces like, we'll knock you the fuck out. You're blocking my lot. Man, shut up, man. 
State, state your name. What's your name? <laughs> well, now you want to walk off. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name, sir? My name is Dees. Dees what, sir? Dees nuts. <laughs> wow, <laughs> good one. <laughs> I've never seen, I've, I mean, that one, when you got me, that was good, but this, I feel like this takes, this takes first place. I've never seen one that good before. He like can't believe He's it. He's not. He can't believe it. He can't believe he got him. He's just, these. These what, sir? <laughs> these nuts. The confidence. These what? <laughs> these what? <laughs> these nuts. So cool. What did the white guy say? He's like, ha! Ah, good one. A good one. <laughs> Bro, you know you oh my oh, god, my. dude. These what? These what? These nuts. I gotta hear it one more time. Dude, he's like in his fucking face. <laughs> I know. The chin to shoulder. These what? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Dees. No dude, way. It, it's already kind of like that with coronavirus uh, like i my i asked my friend because my friend's dating right now and i'm like how how weird is it <laughs> and he was like it's first of all it's super weird <laughs> people have in their profiles like i have antibodies i just got tested all this stuff wow and and then he was like i met up with this girl and she wore her mask the whole time and so i wasn't really sure if she was like into it or not and then at the very end of the date, she took her mask off. I'm assuming because she wanted a kiss. <laughs> but that he read that as like, okay, I guess she's into she's into this. Mm -hmm. It's just funny that that's an indicator now. Yeah, <laughs> that something's going well. Is dude, she took her mask off, bro. <laughs> she trusts me. <laughs> yeah, guys, dude. Did you guys bone first date? Yeah, dude. Mask off. <clears throat> mask off, dude. Mask off the whole time, too. <laughs> I can't wait till they start making like um, lingerie masks. So when you go to hook up, she's like, "Hold on," and she goes into the she goes into the bathroom, and then she comes out, and it's got like lace and shit on it, and you're like, "Oh, yeah, no you're like, oh way. my god, breathe into my mouth," <laughs> and it's like it's like lace over her lips, so you can like kind of see it. And she, yeah, she's like, "Do you like it when I breathe on you?" You're like, "Oh, yes. that's fucking. You're such a fucking dirty girl." You're <laughs> you know what gleeking is? Oh yeah. <laughs> You know, gleeking. Yeah. Is it? That's the new squirting. Yeah, I gleeked. Oh, I'm gonna gleek. I'm gonna gleek. <laughs> <laughs> Sounding like that. <laughs> Just. Oh my god. Spitting up like that oh, I'm water gun. I'm gonna gleek. I'm gonna gleek. I'm gonna gleek. I'm gonna gleek. <laughs> Spitting up like a water gun from the dentist. Just fucking. T One tiny little stream. <laughs> <laughs> like when you drop a yeah. can of soda <laughs> and you're like dude, you're like you're like rubbing her nose like it's her her thing and you're like she's like oh my god I'm gonna gleek I'm gonna gleek and you're just like <laughs> mashing on the tip of her nose just like holding it up so her lip can be held back so just the goes crazy <laughs> You know that shit they do in a squirting video where they're like, they're like rubbing oh, yeah. their hand over the fucking yeah. stream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do that shit to her gleek, just fucking. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's like a clip of Gunna with like a. He had like a. He had a bit of a slip. I don't know how you describe it. <laughs> Basically, he was like promoting that he's gonna be in Chicago. Okay. You know, he was like, "Oh man, I'm gonna be in Chicago. Drip God's gonna be there." So he goes, "I'm gonna." Need, he's like counting some money while he's saying this. He's like, "I'm gonna need all the sexy ladies to pull up. I need all the fine ass, all the sexy <laughs> shit." <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little slip. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say fine ass guys. I think yeah, but I don't think I don't think you know he, whether it was like the fucking whippets or whatever the fuck. <laughs> just he had a little brain fart and he caught himself before he hit the eyes <laughs> on guys. That'd be so funny for a rapper to come out like that. I mean, just just full up by who cares? 
Yeah, but like just to come out on a random story. Oh like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. He just doesn't, yeah, just doesn't flinch at it. He's like, how many all the sexy ladies, all the fine ass guys to pull up? And everyone's like, fine ass guys? <laughs> question mark. And he's like, I said what I said. Everyone's like, oh, oh, so my, our bad. <laughs> yeah. So like I said, I mean, all the sexy ladies and all the fine ass guys to pull up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or what if you didn't even mean it sexually? He's just like, no, nah, man. If you, you know, if you're attractive. I want you Yeah, there. Ryan Reynolds, pull up. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, come through. <laughs> pull up, Ryan. You know, Brad. Um, who else? George. D- George. Cl- Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> pull up, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That'd be, that's when it gets funny. He starts making specific requests. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need all the sexy ladies to pull up. Uh, I'm also need uh, Chadwick Boseman's fine ass to pull to pull up. Um, Yo, pull up, Dave Franco. Yeah, come through. <laughs> uh, you know, I want to see all the sexy ladies and Dave Franco pull up. <laughs> He just says it at the end. Like, it's just all, it's all about women right until the end. I need all the bad bitches to pull up. So, yeah, all my sexy ladies and Dave Franco, I'll see you Saturday. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not fucking blind, but I just choked. Um, was that uh, real? <laughs> yeah. Just, what the fuck was that? I got a dat. I got a, I got a, I got a dat. Dry ass cat? throat. I got a dad. You a fucking cat? <laughs> yeah, dude. So my retinas. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Cough up fucking fur balls in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> Wait, bro. Bro, did you see? You saw fucking. Um, uh, have you, you been following the Shoreline Mafia <laughs> drama? No, no. What's up? So, like, you know, Phoenix. Yeah. Flex and he's out, right? Yeah. yeah you yeah. saw the dude they replaced him with? No. Malone Brown? You hear this fool? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> the tables have turned once again. <laughs> Fuck, you are you are pumped. You are so pumped, dude. You you like the dude in the video. You're like the dude in the video when the guy was like, Bro. "These what?" That's exactly what I did. No, never heard of him. Who's Malone Brown? (laughs) Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, man. I've been I've been sitting on that one since last night. God damn it. I watched the Shia LaBeouf movie. My guy. My guy. Oh my god. God. Tax collector, cinematic masterpiece. Oh, cinematic my God. masterpiece. You don't even know how a movie could be that bad with that much money. You have no clue. Is he supposed to be Mexican? <laughs> yes. So That's, he's supposed to be. He's playing a Mexican guy. Well, Latino. I, I don't know what what like you know. Yeah, he's supposed to be. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. It was just we. It was just like pretty racist, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, dog. He's in the fucking car on the on the way home, and he's like, he's like, uh, what does he say about the? He's like on a diet. He's like, I'm eating good and shit. Yeah, I was like, oh was my like, god, dude, dude. what? <laughs> like, why would his accent is thicker than the other dude? Bro, I know. Yeah, he's like, he's in the car. He's like, fucking, I'm on a diet and shit. And the other guy's Ooh. like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude. I felt like he went in there and everyone was just like normal and he was like, hey, um, could you kind of dial up the, you know, just make it a little more stereotypical. And they're like, yeah. oh, oh, how do you, how would you like me to say the line? 
he's like, he's like really lean, in, lean into it. And then they just, for the rest of the movie, are like, damn, if I was sleeping and shit. He's like, perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like, you know, a little bit more, uh, you, know, hey, you know, a little bit more, you know, like play the part. The guy's like, I'm not following. What do you, what do you want me to do? What do you mean? I'm just, I'm not. What do you mean? He's like, just be a little bit, you know, like you'd expect. What? He like what are you looks about? around. He's like, you know, like, what's up, fool? Like, like put like, some of that fool. in there. Come on, yeah, yeah. S- sprinkle it with a little. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Eh. They're like, I don't. He just keeps staring at them, going, eh. <laughs> This feels like a South Park scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, just give it a little more, eh, fool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't quite, you know, just this little more, that's what's up, fool. Eh. Eyes so I was like, I'm, but, I mean, isn't that super racist? Yeah, no, not- you're, come on, you're like a little bit Mexican, aren't you? <laughs> Well, you grew up no. around Latinos, right? But you were, you know, you're in L.A. Come on, yeah. Bro. Come on, fool. <laughs> He's like, come on, fool. See, yeah, come I on, fool. Come on, I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. <laughs> come on, let's do it back and forth. <laughs> What's up, fool? What's up? What's fool? up, fool? Come on, a little more. A hey, fool. <laughs> come on, come on. It's in there. I know it's in there. Smacking his chest. <laughs> Hey, fool. <laughs> Dude, a fucking director with a comb over just being like, put some more of that foo in there. A foo, yeah, get some more foo. <laughs> Maybe a homie. <laughs> you know, just foo it up. <laughs> <laughs> put some salsa on it. Come on. Then you, you throw a little pico de gallo on there, huh? 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 Put a little foo in there. Put a little foo in your step. God damn it, dude. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to have a great shoot today. Very excited. Thank you all for joining the project. Just remember, um, you know, just general direction for everyone. Don't be afraid to foo it up. <laughs> we want maximum foo vibes here today. <laughs> and, then he, and then he fucking <laughs> he plays his fucking, connect, connects his iPhone to the Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> All the homies will know what, what I mean. mean. All sure right. Lean, lean like a cholo. Yeah. You guys like this one? Bounce yeah. in the club. <laughs> like a what? <laughs> like a cholo. Side to side. Hey. Right, guys? Everyone elbows there. up. Side. <laughs> elbows up, guys. Side to side. Let's carry that energy through the shoot, okay, guys? Morning, David. How are you? I'm good. Feeling like a cholo. You? <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah, says man. That every, says that every morning. <laughs> Uh, you know, David, I'm going to be honest. You've been saying that 10 days into the production now. Um, and I, we just we just kind of feel like, you know, we should, I should do it more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should. Yeah, David, do it more. <laughs> you got it, man. It's like every day for lunch, it's like tacos and. <laughs> oh, just, God. Just, just, just like, like fucking, doing the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking like getting like like Mexican food and like fucking Tupperware and like bucking his <laughs> yeah. eyes at him. Like, I had someone's abuela make this for me. They're like, yeah, we're just going to get the catering, man. We're good. I'm, dude, I'm dying laughing thinking about when they're like all on break and all like the. Half the cast is like speaking Spanish, and then he's just sitting in the middle of it, like, "What you guys talking about?" Yeah, 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 yeah. Donde? Yeah. Oh, it's muy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he's the catering, and he's like, "Hey, frio. George, you loving it?" Muy, muy frío. It's it's a hundred degrees, <laughs> dude. I don't know how to say hot. Muy caliente, huh? <laughs> Bueno, bueno, everyone, bueno. <laughs> I feel like everyone got to set and they got the vibe and they were like, why did I get take this movie? Uh, yeah. Why the fuck did I take this movie? Yeah. Yeah. And they had Shia walking around with this full, you think he was like full method when he wasn't on set? Like, just like. Definitely. <laughs> just walking around outside the trailer without a shirt. He's like, well, so Holmes. They're like, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, this is going to be an all right movie. <laughs> and they're like, okay, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> So, uh, do you guys eat Taco Bell, or uh, is that a that's an American thing? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I just wasn't sure. I just had to ask. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you have it down there? Oh. Or is it just... <laughs> You don't, you don't have Taco Bell down in Okay, just 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 curious. Yeah, just curious. just curious. I've always wondered. I've always wondered. Yeah. God, I love me a BRC though from El <laughs> Pollo Loco. Oh Lord. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Mm, mm, mm. I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who got mad at me for eating last episode. I apologize. That was my only time to eat. And as a way to say sorry, Cody and I have actually ordered a cake, and I'm gonna eat it. For the last 30 minutes of the episode. Yep. It says happy proposal on it. No, I didn't realize it. it I didn't realize. On my mic, it wasn't there. I was like leaning away. I didn't hear it at all. So I thought it was good. But apparently I wasn't. It. it I mean, first off, we do apologize, right? No, There's yeah. No excuse for, sure. for us to be fucking around on the mics. No, I. At I, this point. No, I genuinely did not hear it. I like actually didn't hear it. But I will say, uh-huh. it is kind of fucking hilarious how mad people get. <laughs> oh, bro. Like, I, I know. It is, it is. That is a special kind of anger. Oh. What's that screenshot that you Oh, yeah. I, I, I was crying. La- bro, I'm, I have to be so honest and say I was crying laughing at your DMs. One guy, I have a couple things to so call good. out on that, but this guy goes, no one wants to hear that. Fu-. He's something to the tune of like, no one wants to hear that fucking nasty shit. You ruined my Saturday. <laughs> it's like, the whole thing? Like the whole day. Even after? <laughs> like He's like at night eating dinner and he just can't want to fucking eat this. Bullshit. What? What happened? No, it's just... He's got a podcast and he's eating on it. What's the what's the pod the podcast? <laughs> I imagine it like maybe he times out his or he structures his whole Saturday around the, the episode. The, uh, and so he couldn't li- he couldn't finish the episode because he was so, so frustrated. Now his whole he out. Yeah, and then he's like, Well now I got I gotta sit here for forty minutes. And now what do I do? And now what do I do? This yeah. is my time to relax. Yeah, and yeah. now I gotta maybe I'll go get lunch and then it just fucked the whole day up. Yeah. And, yeah, I get I got you, man. I'm sorry, bro. I won't I won't do that to you again. I do have to say there are a couple consistencies though in all the DMs. All right. Yeah. Overwhelming amount of dudes, predominantly males. Okay. And there's a consistent word across all of your complaints, which is wet. <laughs> so I don't use that wet. That wet. It's like wet, wet, wet. He's wet, got a wet. wham. You got a wham. Yeah, I got wet ass mouth. <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable? My wet, moist lips just. Sucking on some cream cheese. You guys are wang over his wham. Mm. That's what it is. That's what it is. You don't like. You don't like a man. <laughs> wham 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 wham. I don't like imagining getting sucked off. <laughs> it's like no one's making yeah. you imagine that. But the sound just sounds like I'm getting sucked it's the, off, it's man. The same. You you can't say it's not similar. And I'm just trying to listen to the podcast. And you got to ruin my day because I'm thinking about a dude. I'm thinking about my dick in your mouth. I'm thinking about getting sucked off, man. <laughs> really, really lean into the SU. <laughs> sucked off. SU sucked off, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I'm going to get sucked off, it's going to be by my girlfriend or a girl. It's not going to be while I'm doing my errands, <laughs> listen to another man suck me off. Sucking me off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, how to go with how to go with <laughs> night. dude. She sucked me <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my god, she was sucking, dude. She's su- sucking and fucking, man. She sucked. <laughs> she sucked my dick off. Yeah, now I hope the guy downstairs. Yeah, is yeah. Now, now he just he's got putting his earbuds in. I guess the guys are back. Eight months of silence, and, and now it's sucking off. So does he suck off? <laughs> I'm trying to do my work. <laughs> you're up there sucking around, and you're fucking off my day. We're just pissing off everybody. Going to a confessional. It's like, Heavenly uh, Father, how are you? All right, son. We don't talk about. Oh, Father, I got my shit sucked last <laughs> night. <laughs> It was so like, oh, I just felt like I had to come in and say sorry. Like it was, 
she was bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to apologize for her. You know what I mean? She was sucking my thing. He's like, okay, well, it. you know what? Honestly, father, I didn't even want to really apologize for it. I just had to tell <laughs> someone. <laughs> I'm new to like, the city. All my boys are working yeah, right yeah. now. None of them were answering their phones. <laughs> and I just thought I'd come in and just <laughs> tell you. So what do you think? Well, what does she look like, son? <laughs> He's just tipping the phone around the fucking around the side. Let me slide this through, man. Look at that. Look at that. (laughs) He's like, oh dear, oh dear. You can say it, man. Dear mercy, I won't tell. (laughs) Dear, oh mercy, mercy me. (laughs) Mercy, mercy, (laughs) mercy, mercy me, Lord. Oh yeah. He's like, damn, not a lot of followers too. Uh, (laughs) Nice, nice. (laughs) She's very, uh, she's very good on the Instagram. I can see. Yeah, Father, she sucked my thing. <laughs> I'm afraid to call her back, but because I don't think she, you know, I, I think I'm just like a little toy to her, but God damn. And then would you say, when you say sucked, would you say she sucked you off? Oh, she sucked me <laughs> off, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Mercy me. Mercy me. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I want to apologize for getting my thing absolutely sucked <laughs> off last night. Wow. <laughs> That's a tweet right there. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm so sorry for getting completely sucked <laughs> last night. Have mercy on my soul. So, Please forgive me for getting sucked <laughs> off last night. Father, I want to propose a new chapter in the Bible called The Suckening, dude. That was crazy. <laughs> she can't be the only one. <laughs> That's my biggest pet peeve is like the, you see it in the rear view mirror, the person coming up way too fast. Yeah, and you're just like, why? And then you see them like, <laughs> you're like, just fucking relax. This is not my fault. I'm just, I'm being safe. There's a, literally a thousand people in front of me. Like, this is not unique to me. Dude, one guy, same thing. You know, he's like sitting on my ass and I change lanes, like get over. Then he does this shit where he drives up next to me. He like looks over into my car. It's like, What? What, you look over and then what? I know. <laughs> and then what? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, I don't know. It, 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 that's a very sp- specific skill, though, like winning those. Oh, yeah, those yeah. Those confrontations, because they're yeah. very hard to win. Yeah. If someone looks in your car, they automatically have, like, the upper hand, because they can look, make eye contact, and then just yeah. dip. And then you're like, fuck. Yeah. They had kind of the last yeah thing there right that's there's things you can do if you know that they're gonna look yeah then you can be like you know you can make some stupid face yeah or you know whip your cock out or something like yeah. that. yeah yeah the unrealistic thing i wish i could do is just immediately stand up and put both my ass cheeks out the window yeah and oh. just be driving with one hand full moon full moon yeah. and you, you're looking over your yeah, shoulder yeah, yeah. like like <laughs> yeah. yeah and then you just squirt out a little shart onto his window he's like oh dude yeah yeah that's the ultimate revenge dude hershey squirts on the yeah. highway <laughs> he's like how does how's he doing that the ultimate the ultimate comebacks in those scenarios are like the four-year-old shit like full mo- putting your both your ass cheeks oh up yeah later you know? is there anything more offensive than that no nah, no nah, you're yeah that's that's a that's a <laughs> huge l for them <laughs> you're just getting roadhead <laughs> just look over and you're just like oh i'm sorry oh i'm sorry no i get in your way i'm getting my dick sucked <laughs> Oh, sucked off. Oh. You know, pull her head up. It's his mom. <laughs> You're like, oh. Mom. Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, sucking me off. I'm sucking him off. <laughs> just, oh, he ruined my Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a bad that's Saturday. That's a Saturday right there. I'll be, they're dating now. I know. Oh, I know. Like super dating. I know. She, there must be something... <laughs> she wants to have something for that dude to just walk off television and be like, I love you, I love you, I love you. I like straight to her. <laughs> like he was hypnotized. Yeah, but it's because he like tit-matized. wasn't experienced. Titmatized, nice. Yeah. Gorilla gripnotized. Yeah, yeah, gripnotized. <laughs> That's what it is when you got that fucking wet, that 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 wet, wet gripnotized. <laughs> That's when you get guys Gorilla going. Gorilla Gripnotized. <laughs> That's when you get guys going, I love mommy. I love my mommy. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Yeah. I love my, my mommy, mommy so much. Grip. I love mommy's Gorilla Grip. No. 
<laughs> I love when mommy puts a gorilla grip on me. <laughs> so I, I read this tweet where someone said rap is becoming an extreme sport, and it's fucking sad. How? Yeah. With, dude, no. King Vaughn gets shot. Some days later, you, did you ever hear that rapper Mo3? No. So he got shot in like the worst way possible. He like went over to some girl's house and then he woke up the next morning and he went to get gas and he like noticed the car tailing him. So he goes on the freeway and he uh, sees his car still following him. He hits traffic. So he exits his car and takes off on foot because he's like, these dudes are after me. And the dudes pop out the car and they fucking chase him down and they gun him down. Why? I don't, I don't know the details. Did I, he die? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So him, King Vaughn, Benny gets shot in the leg, and then Boosie got shot as well. Boosie and Benny the Butcher both got shot in the leg. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I had read something where he might have to have his shit amputated because he has um, diabetes, so he has like some complication with the wound. Hold on. Let me look this up. and Let me fact check this real quick. Boosie amputation. I just I just did the kid cuddy. I just did the kid cuddy. What? Kid Cuddy was high as hell with Selena Gomez on like Facebook Live. <laughs> dude, and what did he do? Dude, it's it's not fair because basically they're live and he's like you could tell they're high as shit and he's just like standing with his hands at his side, which is already <laughs> like Hold if on, you're hold that on. Yeah, yeah, but wait, wait. Was it were they in the same room together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah. He wasn't like on the, in the other frame or whatever. No, 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 no. Okay, no. okay. So they're in the same room, and he's just kind of standing off to the side of the camera, and his hand is like at his side, which is, in my opinion, you have to be in a specific kind of mental state to be standing with your hands next to your pockets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, when's the last time you stood like that? <laughs> That's fucking weird. Like. Like yeah, not, it's like you're it's like you're having to hold yourself. Well, no, no, uh, no, they're not like pinned. Like they're just hanging. Like he's just like, oh, like yeah. straight like this. Yeah, just yeah, like that. <laughs> okay. And she brings up like, something about like Facebook Live. Like, oh, she's like, oh, we could go on Facebook Live, or I wonder if my Facebook Live works. Or, I don't know. And Kid Why? Cudi goes, oh, damn, do you remember that lady who got shot on Facebook Live? <laughs> And it's just, it's just what? so out of nowhere. And dude, he's like, he's just so faded that like he's, it was just something that popped up in his head and he's just like. <laughs> so wait, is this, so people can see this on your Instagram or your Twitter? Yes, on my Instagram. Okay. <coughs> you think I can go live on Facebook? Could I do that? That would be, you can do that. That's a. Some people do. Yeah, that's what the people do. You remember that lady that um, went live on Facebook? What uh, she got pulled over by the police and they shot her husband. Yeah. Okay. And she had the whole thing on Facetime Live. That's no. Yeah, it was gnarly. Okay, well it was that's like three years ago. I don't. I, I don't like that. Yeah, it was crazy. It was really sad. Dude, that's that's the oh bit. Oh my god! That's the she, bit. That's she like, goes. That's, what? What? <laughs> yeah. God damn it, man! I feel for Kid Cudi. I'm just still thinking about that because that's something I w- I would do, like to be high as hell, and then something happens on TV, and I say, "Ooh, you, you, have you seen that live league video where that person gets killed by a brick?" <laughs> Everyone's like, "What? This is like a tiny home video. What are you? What are you talking about? Well, you're like, there's bricks right there. They're using and, bricks." Though what's funny is I, I googled Carrington Love Island height, and the third link is a Reddit post. Carrington update. So is he five seven or six feet? <laughs> Dude, I hate. I found out what Reddit is just just after the show. It's fucking. I know you guys don't know what it is apparently, but it's fucking terrible. <laughs> it's so it's so weird. The the conspiracy theories of like the show. Like there's there's fans and oh. there's people who like make up theories like i saw one it was like caleb caleb's bi and Carrington's gay and and they've been secretly talking I'm like, what <laughs> like where did you get that from like what the fuck <laughs> how did they get your sex tape bro i that know was me, right man. 
<laughs> I hacked the Love Island server and I got your sex tape. It's a Reddit for you both. Tape. Hold on, you you didn't know what Reddit was? That's the part that Bro, is killing me You just me found out what Reddit is, and how old are you? Twenty three, dude. Damn, I have dude. Lived it. Like I, I've heard about it. I just never. When went you're into six it feet, you don't go on the internet like that. Like the internet <laughs> no. is a utility. It's just that's like the most, that's the most hot person shit of all time. Just like. Yeah. I, I just found out. I, <laughs> I just found out people sit inside all day and post on a. What do you even call this? <laughs> Don't these people not even, talk to people in person? <laughs> that's hilarious. They're not even like normal conversations. It's just like the weirdest <laughs> shit, bro. Like the weirdest shit. No offense to anyone out there using Reddit, but damn. <laughs> I am, dude. I am. Oh my god. This is, this is the funniest this thing. This is I've probably heard the my best segment life. that we could have ever asked this for. is the funniest thing i've heard in my entire <laughs> life because we constantly pretend like we don't use reddit uh, even though yeah. we do and so to have it's, someone on here that literally has never used it yeah <laughs> this is fucking amazing this is the funniest <laughs> thing i've heard literally in my entire life yeah i just uh. found out what reddit is man god damn it there's this matthew mccann's clip oh yeah let's watch it Ma maddie giggles yeah what is it what's the clip dude let this rip the whole thing i can't fucking wait for this on it i was crying bro Oh, man, this is just the most actor thing ever, okay? <laughs> it's talking about the scene in Interstellar when he's crying, okay? And the okay. caption is, the Interstellar crying scene was done first take. All right, okay. not just... Okay, let's let it rip. So, that was a Monday morning. Um, first shot up. Okay. Uh, it's not a scene about knowing the dialogue. It's not about saying the right word. It's about reacting, which is the word you just used. I got to go into that and just say, relax and get ready to receive. And here's the trick. And I did this with the final summation and the time to kill Joe Schumacher. I walk in and I'm pretty much in my, on those days, I'm in my own zone. I'm not looking anybody else in the eye. I'm in my own zone to receive whatever this is going to happen. <laughs> I, I love to receive. To receive. <laughs> to receive, man. Just let it rip. Let it rip. <laughs> And I hear, and I have something in my hand written in case I need it. And then I hear Nolan start to go, okay, we're going to set up cameras over here's wide and here's wide. And then we'll rehearse it one time. We'll play the video. And I just kind of walked over with that look at him kind of up. And he goes, yeah. And I hand him this thing. It's a piece of paper that has two letters on it. C U which means close up. So he goes, that's me letting him know. No, don't do the wide shots. And I'll just get in close now. And he goes, all right, we'll rehearse. And I just look up and I go, which is what I mean by going, uh-uh. We ain't rehearsing. Live. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who directed this? Nolan. <laughs> he sounds like McConaughey directed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Shut up, Nolan. We're doing it my way. I love the, the hand roll. So what is it? What this means is I'm rolling. <laughs> what this, we're going to do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. <laughs> it's just, as if, as if this so could I mean this, anything right? else. I do this. Yeah, yeah, I do this. Which means in the movie biz, that means let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> hey, nah, hey, hey. I'm, I'm doing this. I do this to him, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this to him. <laughs> Some, <laughs> I'm doing this to him. <laughs> Which in the biz means, <laughs> means no. roll. He says go wide. I say, uh-uh. 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 I want it tight. This means tight shot right here. <laughs> tight shot. That's what that means. <laughs> he says, so, I, he, so he says, we're getting wide. I say, I, I, I go up to him, right? And I go in his ear and I say this. Uh. <laughs> which, which in the game means close up. I want to go close up. <laughs> he says, we're going wide. I say, nope. I go right up to his earlobe, and I just give a nice little <laughs> a quick little <laughs> suck on the earlobe, and he knows, nope. <laughs> no rehearsal. We're doing it live. Close up. <laughs> uh, it would actually be fucking hysterical if he started fucking with whoever this podcast host is. <laughs> Because he's, yeah, he's just he's making using a shit lot up. of like movie terms, and he's, he's every single time he's got to explain it like that. You know that means let's we're live, let's roll. <laughs> if he was just like just fucking just like up to him, I do this right. 
And I say, no, no, no. Which in the movie biz means craft services needs to be replenished. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Host is just... Right. Okay, yeah, okay. I right. See, I see that. I see how uh-huh. that can be. Uh-huh. So if I'm on set and I go, they're going to give it to me close up. Yes, exactly. That's right. what that means. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. Dude, let this rip. <laughs> Roll. And what you see in that take, that's the, fr- that's the first take. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Everything after take one is act. Take one is where you really are reacting. And so I wanted to see that tape of the footage of my children in the movie for the first time, not have any anticipation of what's going to come next or what they're going to say next. Or I wanted to and, and, and just receive it and then let happen what happens. I'm not trying to do anything in that scene. Well, after you do one take and, you know, take two and take three, we're okay. But we were like, take one, that's it. Because what are you going to do de- now? Take three or any anything after take one. Take two and on. You can't help but kind of know what's coming. <laughs> and then you start to anticipate a little bit and get ahead of yourself. And go, Oh, this is when they're about to say that thing, which really got me last time. We are already out of the moment. So that's take one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, man. Word. <laughs> Word for sure. Nice. <laughs> That's what kills me about the whole two minutes, 17 seconds. The only word the host got in right there was, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the dude's like, no, I meant, I was asking you about your real kids. How are they doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, well, shit. <sighs> shit. Okay, well, <laughs> it's not about how they're doing. It's about why they're doing. How they're doing. And it's about whatever they're doing. Because whatever they're doing, then I'm happy. How they're doing is irrelevant. We're always doing. Okay? Mm-hmm. But why? That's the real question. It's, no, it's not about how they're doing or what they're doing. It's about what they're not doing and what you're not doing. Matthew, are you just going to cr- criticize every question I ask you for the entire interview? <laughs> or are we, <laughs> we going to get somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing him on this Ringer podcast in person. And there's like a bowl of like, you know, Halloween candy or something like that. And he's like, he's like, can I have one of these? And the guy's like, yeah, take one. He's like, take one. One take. I'll tell you about a story. <laughs> yeah, everything like, reminds of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes later. And that was the first take. And that's what made the movie. And then he reaches in the bowl and goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just deep throats a Twix. Yeah, then he winks at him. <laughs> What else you got for me? (laughs) Tell you something about cuts, all right? I don't do cuts in my performances, Mm -hmm. okay? They want to cut. What? How are you gonna stay? How are you gonna stay in character if you're cutting? So I just have them roll the whole time, (laughs) even when the scene's over. Roll, (laughs) just roll. Thinking about how much of a waste that would be. And keep rolling. <laughs> Guys uploading like hours and hours of fucking of just z- nothing. <laughs> just zigabytes, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> nah, when I'm on set, when I'm even when I'm off, when I'm in my trailer, I just tell them roll, roll, because you'll never know what you might catch. Scene is being built. Roll. <laughs> Editors like. This is the fucking worst job. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck, man. Picturing him, like, boss around Christopher Nolan is so funny. (laughs) We're doing wide. We're not. We're doing close. Okay, we're doing close, Well, we're doing close, I guess. All right. (laughs) Ready? We're rehearsing. No rehearsals. Okay, well, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm... 
I Matt, we have to rehearse. Oscar There's a fight before. scene. There's a fight scene, Matt. We have to rehearse. The guys to, need to practice. Nope. No. Because then I'm acting. <laughs> They're like, fuck, we should have hired Christian Bale. What the, what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> Are you fucking with my lights? <laughs> so this, it's an MMA match. Jordan Leavitt is fighting this dude, Matt Wyman. And Matt Wyman really early try like like wraps his legs around him so <laughs> looks like a sex scene <laughs> matt wyman is you know face to face with him wrapped around him he looks like he's like trying to lock up like a like a some kind of i don't know what he was going for honestly and why he held on this long but or at least i can't remember but jordan leave it picks him up and walks him across the ring you know like he's about to fuck him okay <laughs> puts puts him up against the wall and makes out with him bro he lines his, he frames his forearm <laughs> over Matt Wyman's chin. Okay. And then he dro- he slams him on the mat. Boom. He, he looks at him and then Jordan Levy just lifts his hands and he gets up. And the dude, Matt Wyman, is like, he's like cross eyed, out cold on the mat. Just from getting slammed? Bro, let me, let me pull, maybe it's, He's like, what the fuck? I haven't even kissed you yet. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's pissed. Like, dude. <laughs> Couldn't even start the foreplay. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. It's the interview immediately after the fight. So there's two post fights and they always do one right at, right away. And so the one right away, um, Jordan Le- like Levy's demeanor is just like very serial killer. His eyes are wide. <laughs> he's, just, he's like, mm. hey, yeah, hi, hi. And they say, Jordan, how are you feeling right now? Did you did you practice that? And he says, uh, yeah, I don't know what fight it was, but uh, we, we saw him do the same thing. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I intended. I, I framed it right across his chin so he couldn't come up, and uh, it worked. And they're like, okay, here's the replay. Tell us your thoughts. <laughs> Show the replay of the kid going down. He just goes, oh, yeah, that is <laughs> oh, no. nasty. Just like that. Ooh, yeah, that's nast. Nast? Yeah. <laughs> nast? Yeah. Like, is it nasty? Almost, yeah. Oh, and then how could I forget is it, is this? Is it nice and nasty combined? Dude. Nast. How could I forget this shit? He fucking... <laughs> <laughs> he knocks him out. They they put him on camera for a celebration. This motherfucker does the splits. <laughs> oh no! Then he has his coaches lift him up in the air, doing like like the dirty dancing move. Okay. Like like he like he takes a few steps back and he runs up to them and they pick him up and they hold him in the air. <laughs> oh my god, that's so Bruh. funny! I can fight and I'm flexible. So, so here he goes to sleep, night, night. Oh, bye. Uh. <laughs> Wait. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's popping the cake out, he's too. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All you TikTokers, do the Jordan Leave It challenge. I want you to knock somebody out and then just do the splits and point your... <laughs> They really did a close-up on his toes. I can't believe that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was not. Nice. <laughs> that was not. Nice. Bro, I also have to bring up that Lewis Hamilton clip. Which Yo, one? Yo, uh, it's, it's this one, dude. Hi, everyone. I hope you're all well. I know I've not been in touch this past week, but it's definitely been one of the hardest uh, weeks that I've... <laughs> That I've had for some time. Are you time. grabbing your meat, dude? dude oh, <laughs> the arm position, like the arm position, is crazy. All he need, all he needed to do was do one little like. Yeah, yeah, you know dude, like, dude. dude. This he's trying one of the hardest. By the way, this is the guy that we were talking about that had COVID. Okay, so yeah, this, this is what he's is talking the, about. Yeah, the this race clip. car driver had COVID. Is, is recovering from COVID. <laughs> he's trying <laughs> so hard not to lick his lips right now. <laughs> This has been one of the toughest weeks of my whole life. Ah, this is one of this is one of the hardest weeks of my whole life. 
This is the been hardest the most, I've this been. Is, <laughs> this has been one of the most throbbing weeks of my life. <laughs> let, it, let it finish. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm just pulsating right now with the <laughs> desire to get over this virus. <laughs> um, just been focusing on recovering and trying to get back uh, in shape so I can get back in the car and race the final race in Abu Dhabi. Um, I woke up today feeling great and got Sweet. my first workout in. So I just wanted to send you guys a message of positivity, let you know that I'm okay. And wait, think, wait, wait, we're just right here. It's right here. Every single it... one of you for sending me the amazing messages and, and videos. <laughs> and um, it, I really, really appreciate it. And that doesn't say nudes. I just want to say if that, that is not nudes. If all that you is not beautiful people. <laughs> Thank you for Send your me all the messages and those videos. God, <laughs> and those, those videos. amazing videos. What videos? <laughs> what? Who, is, who are you? What? Why are you watching? <laughs> Whose videos are you? Like, what fans' videos are you watching? <laughs> you go to your DMs and watching like. <laughs> <laughs> if this is not the face of, I just got a hundred million nudes. Oh yeah, for having COVID. COVID nudes. Well, let's see what else he says. And I hope that wherever you are, you're staying positive and fighting through uh, whatever it is that, that you're facing. And uh, I hope that I can get back in the car soon. And, oh, my uh, God. That look down. Yeah. Hope that I can get back yeah, in the car soon. soon. Mm. <laughs> you filming a rap video? What is, what is that? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> he kind of looks like like he should be an R and B singer or something like that. Man, you know, Lou, Louis is you know he's a good looking dude. There's, yeah. there's no there's no denying that. So whoever sent me this as well was like, oh yeah, he definitely was getting his dick sucked right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh right here. Oh yeah, my god, it'd be so funny. It would be so funny if right at the very end you heard. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the top of someone's head just pop up from the bottom of the frame. <laughs> Thank you all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Remember to stay dog? positive. Cheers, <laughs> 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 shh, shh, mate. Shears are back down. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> stay positive. <laughs> Just she fucking spits on it. Oh my god! Thank you all the, to all the fan, the wonderful fans for the wonderful message. No, she does the fucking. <laughs> oh Cheers! Thank you. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs> what would have been really cash is if at the end of that video he reached over and he had like a little pull tab for a like a lamp. And he just he just pulled it out. Okay, Sending anyway. love. Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the video just keeps it's it's a reel. It's a seven minute Instagram reel. <laughs> it's just him fucking the shit out of somebody. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. ow, I hit the bottom of my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> he moved to Austin to change his life because it was affordable and the city he came from was fucking awful. And he said, man, I love this city because it, it just gave me so much opportunity because, you know, I can like rebuild my life now. And I just feel bad because I guarantee there's a, definitely a certain amount of people who moved to Austin for that reason. And now these assholes who have money California are gonna be like, I don't want to pay taxes anymore, yeah. and then they just go over there and just ruin that shit. Yeah, <laughs> just ha ha cost of housing skyrockets. It, it's ex probably gonna explode, man. Yeah, and all these people are all these California people. The barbecue here is fucking phenomenal. Seriously, <laughs> it is phenomenal. We do not get barbecue like this in California. I Would swear you? to God. Meanwhile, the fucking owner of the joint, it's like, 
homeless now. <laughs> yeah, bro. The I just picture a bunch of people from Silicon Valley with like hairlines like in the middle of their head and big ass eyes and thin lips being like, I love the barbecue. And the barbecue like, is so good. Seriously, <laughs> microdose a little tiny little shrooms and then eat some of the barbecue and it is life changing, dude. It is life changing. <laughs> Oh, man, the whole team would love this barbecue. We're trying a new thing where we do Adderall and mushrooms while we work. And uh, I don't really write much of the code these days, but, oh, man, they would love this. You would love this Soylent. It's brisket flavored. Seriously, twice a day I drink this shit, and it's so good. It tastes like mac and cheese, but the real Texas kind. They're doing the they're, they're doing the thing where they're holding their fork and knife while talking. Yeah, like just <laughs> pin down and just. <laughs> have, every For, night I have a Beyond Burger. Have you had a Beyond Burger? <laughs> I'll tell you, this is beyond this world, buddy. Oh my god. We're thinking about building one of these barbecue joints in the first floor of the office. And so what I did is I bought out this little mom and pop shop and I fired them all because they're not efficient. And we took the recipes. We plugged in some employees that I actually shipped out from San Francisco. Real reliable folk. And, and now we've got barbecue in our office. <laughs> Dude. Wow, this brisket's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to buy this place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what Holy do you say? Fuck. What do you say? <laughs> I got my buds on from Kleiner Perkins on the phone right now. They're willing to invest four, $4 million up front right now. If you, walk, if you give this place to me, give me the keys right now. We'll license your name. We'll sell a smoker in your name. We'll cut you in on 3%. <laughs> I'm going to buy it. Is it. No, I like what I do. and oh, But we geez, like it better. The, but this, I'm doing fine. We like there's it line, way more. There's a the line whole the team door. could use this. <laughs> Thank, I mean, I appreciate that. Thank you. But I, like, yeah. Oh, it's how I support my family, and I just want to. <laughs> I want to buy your family, too. <laughs> sure, the barbecue tastes good, but how does millions of dollars taste? <laughs> just give me your barbecue restaurant <laughs> and your family. <laughs> and you can live a life of luxury. On Monday, you brought up the Army Hammer shit. Mm -hmm. And I said, what? Army? What do you mean, Army Hammer? What is it? Cannibal? What are you talking about? And then yesterday I saw he was trending and I clicked on it and then just for like an hour and a half just dove deep on that. And holy fuck, that has to be the craziest piece of celebrity gossip that I've read ever, I think. You think it's real though? Uh, I mean... You think he really wants to drink blood? I mean, we so, watched him suck a baby foot. He probably wants to drink blood, man. Well, here's the thing. And yeah, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? And his, you don't remember that shit? That whole controversy at the top of the lockdown of him like sucking a toe. <laughs> no. Like, he was like sucking his kid's toe. <laughs> Hold on. It, it, no, no, no. It was the other way around. Son sucks Army Hammer's toe. And there was a video of it? Like he posted it or something? Yeah. We <laughs> this happened for a solid seven minutes his wife was filming it and they're just letting his kid suck his damn toe picture you got a son you letting your son suck your toe no like it'd be, it'd be like a like when your dog kisses you and you're like stop you know <laughs> your son starts if you're like on the thing on your on the couch on your phone and your son starts you know sucking down on your on one of your little piggies I'm not saying, I'm not going, honey, get the phone. This is hilarious. I'm not doing that. I'm going, get the fucking thing out of your mouth. This is my toe. You sick little perv. <laughs> King shaming your fucking one-year-old. You fucking little freak. Get away from me. 
You fucking degenerate heathen. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, that is depraved. <laughs> little fucking demon. <laughs> Get away from me, you twisted little demon. <laughs> Calling your kid a fucking freak for sucking your t- Fucking freak. <laughs> That's so brutal. Get off my toe, you fucking freak. You little perv. <laughs> you sick little fucker. Hey, you creep, get off my fucking foot. Hey, what a creep? Hey, what is wrong with you, you little creep? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking one year old son. Creepy little fuck. <laughs> Creepy little shit is always sucking on my toe. <laughs> yeah, my son's a total creep. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid's just in the corner playing. You're like, watch out for this one, man. Definitely, wears socks. <laughs> Definitely wears socks. A sick little fucker. Dude, my kid is fucked up in the head, man. Seriously. <laughs> Your kid's just teething naturally. You see that? See that? I know he's thinking about feet. It's it just, fucking disgusting. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Hey, Junior, what do you think about a toe? Look at him crawling already. Look at that. Fucking oh, gross. Oh, fucking disgusting. <laughs> fucking depraved. <laughs> Little idiot. Look at him. <laughs> so sick. That Lewis Hamilton post, that fucking baby filter post he put up. It says... Thank you all for the birthday wishes. I hope and I pray. Hope and pray <clears throat> wherever you are, you are staying positive despite what's happening around us. Uh-huh. My birthday wish is peace and love to all of you out there. Oh. <laughs> no more pandemic and equality for all of us. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. My birthday wish is peace and love to all of you out there. No more, <laughs> no more pandemic and equality no for more us all. No more pandemic and equality. I don't want any, any, any. equality. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how that's that reads. Freight. No more pandemic and equality for us all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you needed a period in there, dude. Put a stop. I want to put a stop to equality. Equality and the pandemic. <laughs> the amount of shirtless running story posts that guy has. I'm surprised that guy doesn't have that fucking phone on like a, like some kind of like GoPro rig from his waist. Yeah, yeah. So he can run two armed. Yeah. <sighs> Pull his hair back. <laughs> it's fucking hot up here. Yeah. In Monaco where I don't pay taxes on my hundreds <laughs> of millions of earnings. <laughs> Fuck, I want world peace. <laughs> Just been thinking about how badly I want world peace. <laughs> And it's so gets, nice up here in Monaco. I wish all of you could see this. He just I, wish, I, wish, I wish everyone in the world lived in Monaco and we were so all So they equal. could see the... <laughs> they could see the world like I do. They can see the peace brewing on the other <laughs> side of the sun. And he gets a fucking, literally a thousand DMs every time. Oh my God, Lewis. Oh my God. Fly me to Monaco. Fly me to Monaco. Oh my God. Ew. You know, he's reading those like, oh, ugh. Ugh. fucking disgusting. <laughs> no, never. Ew. Never fucking. <laughs> He's just so look at, judgmental. Look at, this, look at this fucking look at this swamp donkey that just DM'd me. <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> he like immediately look at an absolute monster. <laughs> look at this bitch. She's wearing glasses. <laughs> fucking disgusting. This bitch thinks I'd fly her to Monaco, bro. I wouldn't fly her to fucking home. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking rude as shit. <laughs> just su- super shitty. <laughs> oh, fuck. She's a two. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking puked in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking orc that just damned me. <laughs> I want world peace. Ew. It's a fucking zero. God. (laughs) How are there people this ugly? (laughs) Absolute goblin. (laughs) Fucking. 
like this little gargoyle that just did. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, holy shit <laughs> yeah i was gonna say one of those like flute things you know it's like a long flute and then a shorter flute and then a shorter one what are the, are the pan pipe pan pipe yeah holy fuck dude what maybe uh, they send you some mushrooms if you order a nah. pan pipe where do pan pipes originate from man <clears throat> uh wait pan oh, what the hell pan pipe origin Okay, the pan flute or pan pipes was a musical instrument first used in Segunda. So. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. No. You almost asked. You almost oh, asked. No, no, I didn't. As soon as I heard that red you flag. Said, <laughs> you, said, you said, fuck off. You almost said. You almost, nope. I almost said. <laughs> nope. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. You weren't even close to getting me, dude. You saw my defense systems go off. I've been working on that. <laughs> Trust me, dude. I've been training. <laughs> promo code. <laughs> promo code. <laughs> promo code. <laughs> when you download Walking Slush in the <laughs> bruh store. <laughs> Ow. Oh, man. Right, I didn't expect to start off like that. We're starting. <laughs> <laughs> That's in there. That's in there. We're keeping that in. <laughs> no, we'll just cut off the ad read and we'll start the episode from yeah, that. yeah. We'll start, yeah. We'll start with that. <laughs> you, you, use code brr at www.bruh.walkslash. <laughs> Download the bruh at wonky slush. <laughs> <laughs> Download white people be like bruh at wonky slush. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Download the epic chungus moment at <laughs> dot bruh. <laughs> Download your whoa Kenny bruh. <laughs> whoa Kenny bruh. <laughs> I love it when my boyfriend leaves his wonky slush. <laughs> what was that? A ooga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking, that fucking wink, wink, cartoon wink. running sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Kenny. <laughs> Whoa, Kenny. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> Wonky slush. He on X Games mode. <laughs> he does. Justin it. Timberlake better apologize for this next. <laughs> See, they call me late. Timber, timber, timber lake. <laughs> A little like lean on one foot he does, and then he, and then he slides over and keeps doing it. It's Yo. like, dude. Little, this is some of the worst beatboxing. Yeah. Chubba chubba. Wait, play it again. Chubba chubba chubba. Play it again. I gotta. Chubba chubba. You see, they call me late. Late. Chubba chubba late. Chubba 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 late. Hello, I'm getting there. Freaking it, freaking it, freaking it. Freaking it, freaking it, freaking it. What the they call fuck me, was any they of call that? Me Lake. Who calls you Lake, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Who calls you Lake? Yeah. Timber, 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 Timber Lake. Bro, that's just your agent. No one else calls you that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many bad Hey, puns? yo. Hey, yo. Timber, Timber, Timber Lake's here. <laughs> I'm fucking mad that any... Any... Girl ever tried to tell me <laughs> that this dude <laughs> was some form of an ideal man. Yeah, it's crazy that you could have just gotten away with that. 
That was in front of a live audience of probably like over a thousand people. Bro. And and I was on TV and nobody was like, that was a little bit bad. Like nothing about that was displayed any sort of talent. Like there is now a successful a FDA approved penis enlargement surgery called Panuma. When they introduce battery operation inside, that's when I'm getting it. What do you mean? Oh, like uh, mm -hmm. vibrate mode and and when my shit can be a, yeah. a mobile Sibian. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I mean, not only that, you could have like a full on like animatronic dick. Yeah. You know? Oh, if I can be playing games on my phone and that thing is just doing the work, you know, if I'm just like, wait, what do you mean? You know, Lena's like, I want it. I'm like, hold on, babe. And I just like, <laughs> it's just stiff and just. <laughs> <laughs> like cool yeah have at it you got about but i'm talking minutes. it's like moving around too like it's maybe doing All a small that. 360 yeah i'll just give i'll just give alina like a bluetooth Flapping controller the... that looks <laughs> that looks like this with a little joystick she's just sitting on the top riding it like a little ride <laughs> it's like fucking... <laughs> ah wait it's bugging out i don't know what's happening it's bugging out ah. slapping your thighs beep 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 Dude, it's just fucking <laughs> shit. It's just like shit. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> just salmoning your own thighs. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Damn it. <laughs> Gah. Get in here. This fucking thing. It's, got a it's going so fast you can't even you can't even see it. It's just a blur. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking. Ah! Shit. <laughs> Gah, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Take the battery out. Take the battery out. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> Got to reset it. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Animatronic dick. Damn. Lewis Hamilton shows yeah. great pace this weekend. He's positively not having sex with any troglodytes this weekend. Absolutely <laughs> not. He made sure to reassure. He made sure to reassure ESPN UK that he's only having sex with absolute dime pieces. <laughs> that sounds like Michael Keaton, doesn't it? Yeah. Or fucking yeah, yeah, the yeah. old guy, Batman. Yeah. Absolute dime pieces. <laughs> absolute <laughs> dime pieces. Bro, he, <laughs> he he actually did not do great in testing this weekend. So you know, maybe maybe that's the problem. Maybe maybe he slept with an eight, and it's just fucked his whole world up. It's thrown him off completely. Yeah. He, he like, went back into the... Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> he goes to therapy for it. I just... I'm so lost, Doc. I mean, I... I what happened? I just... I keep... I have no place... I fucked an eight. <laughs> Lewis, yeah, you look great out there this weekend. What are you feeling? I feel like I'm going to go right off track and have a... Copious amounts of sex this weekend. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to have egregious amounts of sex. <laughs> this Lewis, weekend with you look great out there on track today. <laughs> Tell us, what are your plans for the weekend? <laughs> uh, I don't know really. I'm going to get my balls sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to have my ass eaten. Honestly. <laughs> Probably going to have my ass eaten. You ever done this before? No, Lewis, afraid not. Afraid of not. Here at BBC really? Sky, we can't say that. <laughs> Lewis right. in the pit, dude, just saying I'm going to get my ass eaten this weekend is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what can I say? I feel pretty good. <laughs> Wins podium, walks yeah. off. Big ass bottle of champagne. Lewis, how are you going to celebrate? I'm going to get my ass eaten. <laughs> I'm going to go get my ass eaten. <laughs> I'm going to fall on my back like a dog, lift my legs in the air, wrap yeah. my hands around the back of my knees and get my yeah. ass eaten. I'm going to go get my salad tossed. <laughs> Honestly, if you want me to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get my ass eaten like a goddamn creme brulee. <laughs> it's like it's like borderline Australian. 
I'm going to go get my arse eaten. <laughs> goddamn <laughs> creme brulee. <laughs> like, a, like a goddamn... <laughs> like a go, goddamn muesli. I'm going to get me fucking arse eaten. God damn. <laughs> fucking, you want to fucking eat my ass? Eat my arse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, right, bro, I'm going to get my fucking arse eaten. Then, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, you want to try another yeah. accent? Um, Mate, no. I'm going to get my fucking arse eaten. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to get my arse eaten. Happy St. Patrick's oh, Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, by the way. How are you going to celebrate, Noel? I'm going to get my crack eaten wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have the shite eaten out of my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna find me a nice lassie to clean the shite out of my poop shovel. <laughs> I'm gonna find me a nice lassie to shovel the poop, shovel the shite out of me crack with her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, find me a nice lassie to shovel the shite out of me crack. Out of me crack. <laughs> All right, and next to the stage is uh, someone I've known for a while, a very, very, very funny dude. Don't know what race he is, though. <laughs> it's Noel Miller, everyone. Woo! What's up? Keep that going. Keep that going. Thank you. Thank you. I'm the audience member now. Thank you. I'm just going to look to my jokes here. Woo! Um, <laughs> sorry, I just got that done getting sense. my dick sucked. <laughs> so let me figure out what I want to get, what I want to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so apparently girls pee. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Who likes sex? Huh? My man, my man right here. Fucks, right? That makes one of us. Just me. <laughs> He's oh, ugly. Fuck it. <laughs> you got me. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um Do we still care about Trump? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I'm feminist. Just kidding. <laughs> No? All right, we didn't like that one. Okay, all right. Mark that. Strike that. <laughs> Strike that. I'm Strike that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> we should just do a we should just do a characterized comedy show for the rest of the thing. One, it should be the whole hour should be me doing the audience member and you doing the doing the back do, comedian. Yeah, just yeah, comedian bites. <laughs> So then I walk right up to my wife and I go, <laughs> you can't pee there. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> this guy's unreal. This you guy's can't unreal. fucking pee there, idiot. Why doesn't this guy have a special one? God. <laughs> God, Stop girls need good. to learn how to pee better. You know? I just stopped, dude. <laughs> my jaw hurts. <laughs> During it's like what hole history. do they pee out of? Exactly. <laughs> Which hole is it? Just have one hole. <laughs> Just have one. <laughs> Did you see the picture of puppy girl Jenna? That picture of her on the hardwood floor and she's kneeling and she's like bottomless and she's like looking back at the camera like puppy dog style and it's like, oops, I had an accident. There's a bunch of piss on the floor right underneath her. <laughs> Nice. That's what um My puppy girl Jenna is uh that that on her OnlyFans? I believe it was on her Twitter, but you know, oh. maybe maybe you could see more from that set on OnlyFans. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's so, so fucking gross. Disgusting. <laughs> 
Good luck, Good luck, <laughs> Booby Girl Jenna pee on floor, bad little girl, such a bad dog. Puppy Girl Jenna, accident, piss on floor, clean up. This is your reply to her. Bad girl, puppy, dog, Jenna, you need to clean up that pee pee, bad little puppy, dog, you shit, 500 characters. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, need to take you to puppy school, school you, you little bad, bad, bad girl. girl. You little bad dog. No treats for you. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, headphone users. This next bit is about to be really loud. <laughs> so, guys, we got some feedback uh, from one of the ads we read, and apparently my energy was too low. This was so. in a past episode, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. They hit us so up and to- said, no walls energy was too low (laughs) so i need to pick up my ad energy (laughs) so what would you Yo, my waveform is a fucking brick. It's just... It's just a fucking sausage. I'm dying, dude. I'm crying. <laughs> Get the fucking product, let's fucking go! My shit. It's not even saying what it is. Buy this fucking shit! <laughs> two hours and we do this even five minutes longer. (laughs) Bro, have you seen this guy that deals UFOs? UFO? (laughs) No, no, it's it's not not a D's, I swear. Seriously, look. swear? So what I is swear, it? dude, look, this guy is a he's a self-proclaimed UFO dealer. Look at that. Let's see. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? This is insane. I know. You see that one that's kind of like it's kind of like junk, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of a beater, but it's a good price. Yeah. That's like your like space commuter, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, we could put it, we could cop that. Yeah. We should def- I think we should get it. You think we should cop it? Yeah. Okay, right, let's go. Let's cop it. Yeah! Ah! Ah! What the? Oh! What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny And if not, Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC. The so-called flying stalkers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Science. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for debate. You know, it's crazy. The name of this ship is Candace. <laughs> is it? Yeah, which I thought was really fitting. That is, that's a perfect name, actually. Yeah.
Can this podcast go to space? Yep. <laughs> Just did. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, because you got... Oh, yeah, we're, by the way, we're both vaxxed and waxed now. Yeah. And ready to have sacks. <laughs> and um, we both got Johnson & Johnson, so... Babe, I had the vax. <laughs> I'm ready for sacks. <laughs> Let me come over. Babe, I'm vaxxed. <laughs> and I'm waxed. Let's have fucking sacks. Sacks. <laughs> <laughs> no that's why that's wax <laughs> man so, this relationship sucks I feel like I'm fucking trapped <laughs> Tori come over let's do some sick tracks cause my girlfriend won't rub on my shaft uh. <laughs> <laughs> damn I'm, that I'm over here she doesn't have socks or Pussy's dusty. I feel like I'm fucking Mad Max. <laughs> you think we could record a song in those voices and just have that shit go stupid viral? We should absolutely do that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. It's fucking good. Yeah. TNG. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go harder than Cardi. <laughs> I drink, but she called me Big Bear. <laughs> I have hella vodka, then I poop. Call that Bashardi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I got fucking <laughs> vaccine shamed on fucking Twitch. You sound like every surfer I've ever met. Fucking. <laughs> okay. so yeah. yeah. Dog. Fun. Fucking shit is petted as fuck. Fucking got petted. <laughs> so slotted. So deep in the tube. <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking. Surging. Surging. <laughs> I'm surging. I'm picturing a girl just, you know, like. Like being into a dude like that and going to suck his dick, and the whole time he's like, oh, yeah. So oh, right there, <laughs> fucking in there, girl, doing it. So, damn, sucking me off. Oh, fuck, oh, you sucking me. Dick about to be wax clearing in my bar. Shit. <laughs> damn, should put a GoPro on the end of this thing. You're going fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm about to bunk. <laughs> I'm about to besess. It's not even a word. Yeah, I know. I'm about to besess all over you. God about, damn it. I'm about to sun. I'm about to buns on. Um, I'm about to buns on your tans. <laughs> That's like good. This is that, this is that um, you know, academic humor. Yeah. This is a good, intelligent this is, humor. This is not, <laughs> The apparatus feature is number one. It stimulate vaginal environment through massage, twitching, sucking, vibration, etc. <laughs> massage, twitching, sucking, vibration, etc. That's nice. like all the best things. Yeah. Like that's what I want. Yeah. That's what you want your girl to do. Yeah. You massage it. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch it. a little bit. <laughs> Suck it. Suck Twitch it. it. <laughs> Pull, massage vibrate. it. Pull it. <laughs> Pass it. <laughs> Vibe it. <laughs> Suck it. Twitch it, dude. Just a bop. Gawk it. Blech. Gawk it. It's a fucking porn star just with that shit on OnlyFans. Whoop. <laughs> Suck it. Is it like a toy yeah, with dildos like a, yeah, all like over it? Yeah, she's just sitting, setting world records and shit. <laughs> all right. Fuck it. Challenge. Three, two, one, Go. Suck it. Suck it. Twitch it. Sit on it. Guck it. Guck it. Guck it. Sit it. Fuck it. Twist it. Yeah. That's the nasty part. Going to the different holes one after another and trying to remember the order. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Bop it, OnlyFans. That's so fucking good. Here's another thing. I want to I want to get into this test your girl TikTok. And this will be maybe a little bit of a relationship advice segment. We haven't done one of those in a little bit. Yeah. Like not on the new ship at yeah. least. Yeah. And so this actually will be a good um 
it's like a new form of that, honestly. There's this kid on TikTok. He's like, what, you know, kind of a Chad. He's a Chad looking guy. What's his name? Sean? Sean. The guys will tell this kid to DM their girls to yeah. see if they're faithful yeah. and what they do. And then this guy posts it all on TikTok. Unbelievable. Genius. This is exposing at a new level. Genius, Sean. Genius. It really is genius. And it's very heartbreaking and also really entertaining. We said, hey, broski, for I need your help. My wife's 34, and I think she's in the young guys, like 19, 22. <laughs> Wait, pause Can you help me, bro? It? What the Wait. fuck? Hey, what's up, guys? No. Hey, what's up, guys? Raider Tech here. We're reviewing the new iPhone 57. My wife is into young guys? <laughs> like 19, 18, 17. Not so much 17 because that's illegal. Monotone. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like this person's relationship is ruined. It's his wife. Like this is this goes so much deeper than he could ever comprehend. And he's just like, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to uh relationship breaker. Uh today we got this guy. He's really yeah. fucked. Uh he says his wife's in the younger guys. <laughs> I'm kind of perfect for that because I'm 18 and I'm and I'm fucking cool jaw. So <laughs> cool anyway, he's gonna just DM her and say, What's up? Hey, you wanna suck my cock? <laughs> She, she says. She, she said says, yes, yes, you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna follow up and say, "Can I eat your pussy?" So uh, like for part two when she sucks my cock. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'm heading to her place right now. <laughs> I have a four year old and it mean a lot. I was like, "Bet I got you. I'll let you know." So I started saying, "Hey." Started slow. She said, "Hello." I said, "How are you?" She said, "Fine. How are you?" Then I said, "No, now I'm talking to you. Pretty good. You gotta be smooth with it. Always." So that was sweet. Always. You look very young. Not saying it's a bad thing. And then I said, "I'm 20. You look like 25, right?" And I said 34, right. and that gorgeous bam. And she said, you're actually so sweet. I gotta speed up the process. So I said, um, I just honestly, just really attractive and maybe we can see each other sometime. All right, she then says, you just met me, but I wouldn't want to pass up on that opportunity. So I sent a winky face, cause like, you know. <laughs> then I want to ask questions. So I said, have you ever got with any guys my age before? She said, you will be my first. She said, will, like it's gonna happen, so. So then I said, so you're saying it's gonna happen? And she sent me a picture. I'm not gonna say what she sent me. Um, but you guys can obviously know. It was her big she ass said, Did you like it? And then she said, I don't even know if you. <laughs> yeah, it was like her 34 year old big old milkers. <laughs> yeah. So then she sent me a picture of her big old milky jugs. Um, can't wait to suck on those. Can't Anyways, wait to suck guys. on those. Sick nipples. Oh, anyway, yeah, gotta be smooth with it. So I went over there <laughs> and uh, sent her a picture of my penis. And uh, yeah, like for part two when I suck her big juicy milkers. <laughs> Imagine being the dude watching this, just listening to this voice. Yep, so I damn her. They have a four-year-old together. <laughs> yeah. and he's like, oh. What did he send you? <laughs> did he fucking, did he did suck he... in your big juicy milkers? <laughs> did he suck your big juicy milkers? Tell me the fucking truth. What did you send him? What did you send him? Did you send him a picture of your pussy? And then were you fingering it? And did you finger finger everywhere? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you do the sprinkler? You did the fucking sprinkler? Oh my you did fucking you god! All over the lens, didn't you? Oh, you got a squirt all over your pretty feet. <laughs> <laughs> Just ugly crying snot out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Was it bigger? Was it big? Don't don't lie to me. On the phone. With was it was it younger? <laughs> what? What? Was it young? He was. Was it gooder? <laughs> <laughs> Calling his boy, <laughs> and then and then and then, and then she, she 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 sucked his his young young balls all night. <laughs> No cry, like the silent, like, and then cry, like the. Nitty, where did he finish? Where did he finish? Okay, Jesus, he finished his. He finished all over my big 34 year old big juicy milker. Oh! <laughs> Do ghosts ever, you know. Probe someone, ha perhaps in their ass. Have you heard of any stories like that? You're obsessed with the human anus. <laughs> <laughs> He's not an alien. Let me say that spectral forces um, can interact with humans uh, in many different ways. Uh, we had an episode recently where uh, a young gentleman uh, had a ghost uh, of a woman, uh, and her name was happened to be Karen. Karen the ghost inhabited 
his house, and they were fully, fully sexual with one another. And um, the, and it's a ghost. It is a ghost. Yeah. How do you be sexual with a ghost? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna. Oh. <laughs> Got it. I think I broke your mannequin. Got it. <laughs> So pretty standard. Yeah, standard. Is you insert your penis in the, in the right. ghost's vagina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so he's dating Megan Fox. Are you aware of her? She's certainly yes. Okay. Transformers. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Great film. Mm -hmm. um, classic. Cinema classic. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so she. There are was... cars. <laughs> and at the same time, yes, they're it's robots. Robot. Yeah. Right. Come on. I mean. Win-win. Yes. It's like, duh. Uh, I love cars. I love robots. Put them together. How did we not? Sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> How did none of us think about that? We should do a movie franchise with just combining two things that we love, like yeah. ice cream and... and um, what else do I love? Ice cream and cocaine. No. Um, no. Trampolines. So Sorry. Machine Gun Kelly. Megan Fox, which who will Megan cast Fox. in our movie? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Would be wonderful to see her jump Done. on a trampoline. Sorry. <laughs> that was so offensive. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was, I don't know why I said wow. that. Wow. Mash that. Love the most in the world. My family. Once a day, genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. <laughs> I probably once a week to four <laughs> times a week sit there truly in the shower trying to convince myself that I have lost one of the five most important people in my life. And that is the biggest thing I do that leads to the biggest happiness I have. Like, what? You didn't sell enough earrings today? People lack perspective. It's actually remarkably easy if it becomes the way you see the world. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great advice. How do you... It's just, I feel, it made me feel worse, honestly. Now I feel mm -hmm. like I'm on the edge of something serious. Yeah. But um, it's just funny. He like, picture <laughs> your... one of the funny the way Gary Vee phrases things, like just the extreme ways that he puts things to yeah. be more like impactful or for clips to go viral or for, you know, to make more people go like, wow, what an excellent point. Like he could have just said, hey, like family is what matters here. Just if anything is bothering you, just remember, like, it, there's, there are way bigger problems that could happen to you. Like, you know, there are, there are people right now with family members who have cancer. Boo, I don't remember any of this at yeah, all. Yeah, no. Imagine one of your family members got shot in the fucking face. Imagine if your parents didn't have a face anymore. Picture your parents' face right now and replace it with a bloody mutilated mess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so what, you didn't sell a couple programs today? <laughs> Imagine your dad is getting tortured. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like, at at any moment, you know, you can just picture. Imagine your, your imagine, dog getting kicked imagine, down yeah. a thousand <laughs> stairs. Picture your family getting swallowed by ten thousand locusts, <laughs> <laughs> stung to death in the street. <laughs> and you have to listen. You have to listen to their blood curdling screams as they as they're essentially tortured to as, death as the romans <laughs> hold you there and make you watch it because they've covered them in honey they're going to be consumed by this army of locusts and then buried in a pit of frogs that are all poisonous <laughs> Some way you didn't sell a couple earrings. Gary, I just asked about Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, Gary. It's just at the end of the Yeah, so should uh, I buy Ethereum so or I, not? So, <laughs> so is Doge a good investment or is it just a meme? <laughs> Imagine your dad's dick is covered in locusts. <laughs> What? I don't want to picture that. <laughs> uh, you want to invest in Doge, right? <laughs> okay. Imagine a single one of your balls being sliced out of your ball sack. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're curious, you're curious about crypto, huh? Okay, 
picture of falling down picture, the stairs. Picture yourself falling down the stairs. Let's say somebody <laughs> twisted up your ball sack enough times where you could just snip that little, that little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. <laughs> You're interested in real estate. Okay. Picture an elevator losing power and crashing into the ground. A <laughs> hundred stories collapsed. <laughs> Onto your grandma. Onto your grandma. <laughs> the demented Gary V. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Gary V is straight up demented, dude. <laughs> that dude is sick. <laughs> sick in the Seriously, fucking head. Is sick. <laughs> Holy shit. If you're interested in technology. Imagine you get the new Samsung Nexus 12, and there's a video of your daughter getting mutilated. <laughs> <laughs> embedded into the phone <laughs> and it's shipped worldwide so everyone has a copy of this video <laughs> fuck <laughs> you like liquid death right <laughs> He's done. He's done. <laughs> That's the end of the episode. <laughs> I'm feeling nice and loose yeah. and creamy. Yeah. <laughs> because I did I did yoga yesterday. Oh no. <laughs> but I, I I don't know, like I accidentally clicked like an intermediate class. I didn't know. There's so fucking many. I was just like, ah, oh, I scrolled down and yeah. I was like, oh, I'll pick this one. Yeah. And uh and so she's like like 20 minutes into it, it's like the same shit over and over again. It's like flow yoga or some shit like that where you're doing the same poses over and mm. over and you're like, it's basically a, a cycle. Yeah. So I'm doing these things. I'm doing these things. And then she she goes, all right, go into downward dog, which is like, you know, your feet and your hands and you're like this. Yeah. And then she's like, and now just give yourself a couple kicks. And then she goes into a full on handstand <laughs> and holds an arm stand for like 30 seconds. And she's like, and just breathe. <laughs> <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm like, how the fuck yeah. I'm falling over? I'm like, and like 40 minutes into it, she gets down on her side and she does the craziest break dance, yeah. balancing one arm pose where her legs are completely out to the side and she's parallel to the ground. And I'm just sitting on the floor, like, and just like this, just watching it. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> kind of hilarious for a yoga instructor. Eating snacks. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> kind of hilarious for a yoga instructor to just start showing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, today's class is going to be a little advanced. This is just <laughs> <That's>... be boying <laughs> She starts doing yeah. the windmill. It's head spinning. Yeah. That seems not relaxing at all. <laughs> <laughs> and But the way she's like vocalizing it and instructing it is the same way. She's yeah. like, and downward dog. And breathe in, breathe out, umamasa pose. Breathe in, and breathe out for your mouth and head spin. <laughs> just and like now that. now while you're up here, I want you to just let everything go. <laughs> Think about your problems, what's, where you're holding your stress, maybe in your neck. Right now, for me especially, it's my neck. <laughs> and just let everything go. <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> nice work, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> We just both dropped down. Damn, Joe. <laughs> I do the rest of the podcast in splits. Nice, bro. <laughs> Killing it, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Great form, man. Quads look fire, dude. <laughs> just full splits. Yeah. Did you guys hear Big Chungus had a new song? <laughs> and just fucking, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, we're like leveraged on the chair, yeah. so we're going even we're going even deeper than a full <laughs> yeah. split. I did hear Big Chungus had a new <laughs> song. Legs are like this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just up by our heads. <laughs> That's just oh, porn oh star shit, man. Just, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I can wait. So what'd you get into this weekend, dude? <laughs> Yo, this single's gonna look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I did hear Big Chungus had a new song. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I just had to get that one out. If you're listening on audio, you really got to tune into video because, <laughs> goddamn, I am splitted right now. 
<laughs> Man, I'm seeing incredible progress from these yoga classes. Seriously. <laughs> Sexually demented Gary Vee. <laughs> Sexually demented Gary Vee. <laughs> so I was just thinking about it being like, you're interested in real estate. <laughs> Imagine being tied up and getting sucked <laughs> off by a thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Imagine consensually being used by a group of people, every hole in your body filled. filled. <laughs> Who's your favorite celebrity? What, you like to you like to experiment. You like to do new things, right? <laughs> what about sucking off somebody's spouse in front of them? <laughs> You're interested in forex trading? Picture drowning. <laughs> To think about drowning right now. Right now, think about drowning. Oh my god. You're interested in real estate, right? Okay, think about being a burn victim. <laughs> like, why? Why? <laughs> I want you to picture me tied up, and you can do whatever you want to me. <laughs> what? Ew. What would you do? What would you do? Tell me, what would you do? <laughs> Humiliate me, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I have a really small penis in front of this large room. What would you do? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. This is a two-day bit, man. Picture me tied up right now. Would you smack my dick around? <laughs> So you want to trade corn futures? Picture farting in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! I don't know where you go from here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, again, I don't I really have any context about the royal family. They just like they just dominate tabloids in, in the UK, and and it's like even even with Meghan and uh, what's the dude's name? Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Harry Styles, like even them coming over here, like you know they Harry Styles and Megan The Stallion. <laughs> you know that they couldn't handle it. They were like, "How dare they get American publicity before us?" Yeah. How do we beat this? We make a YouTube channel. YouTube. We make a YouTube channel. Chick chalk. Chick chalk. <laughs> <laughs> we make a chick chalk. <laughs> what? Chick chalk. I'm just trying to think of other words as big ass <laughs> dentures would collide together on. Twitch. Yeah. Twitch. We've made a chick talk, a Twitch channel. <laughs> as well as an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, if they're going to make something, make an OnlyFans, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see, you guys. Oh, God, that'd be fucking disgusting. What? Them fucking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awful, man. I don't see that guy fuck anything. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm, yeah, right. Oh. Mm. Right. Mm, yeah, right. Um, right, quite. yeah, okay. Mm, quite. Quite. <laughs> mm, certainly. Certainly. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Mm, yes, right. Unequivocally. <laughs> ir ir irreparably. 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 <laughs> yes, commensurate. <laughs> Absolutely commensurate. <laughs> Unbelievable. Obviously commensurate. Obviously. Obviously commensurate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, that's bloody commensurate. <laughs> 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 why are you why you got i mean I, I always got it on me but why do you have it up just like to keep it locked and loaded <clears throat> just, just in case someone gets out of line or something for sure well i feel like for today's episode we should holster because you know there's a big friends reunion this weekend right i watched it do you watch it uh yeah yeah I yeah do. <clears throat> it got us thinking maybe we should have our own friends reunion like mm-hmm. we have there's you know, someone in particular we haven't seen on the show for a very long time. Yeah, we're right over his house. So I feel like we should just beam him up. Dude. Let's beam him up. I want to yeah. see him. Yeah, right. What's up? All right. Candice, can we get Spock up here? Beaming Spock now. Damn. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, Good yeah. to see you, man. You okay? You feel all right? Uh, I mean, it's a bit uncomfortable, to be honest, but it's, nah, it's cool. It's cool, man. Okay. This place is pretty wild, man. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Hello, Spock. Hey, what's up, Candace? It's nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see you, but yeah, yeah. Mm. I can always see you. Cool. Wow. So was it? How? <clears throat> yeah, maybe just don't. Same. We're pretty high up here, man. Yeah, yeah really high. Yes, really. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good cool, to man. see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm ahead. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. All right. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. I think you're always here, so. Yeah. All right, dude. I'll see you. Yeah, do I just beam there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's take care. You just, just, just head can. out. Just, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. One. yeah, yeah, that just, one. Just, like, go. That was cool. Yeah, good that was really him. great. Really that was good awesome. to see him. That was awesome. Yeah, that yeah, felt awesome. Because <laughs> wasn't that the reason why everyone got mad at Nico Lull in the beginning? I guess she wears like Tax the Rich shirts and like Bernie shirts all the time. Sure. And then she did a video called My $2 million Apartment Tour. Sick. <laughs> Look how many dislikes that has. How many? 40, what does it say? 48,000. 49,000. <laughs> nice. And That's it's only funny. Who, uh, how many likes does it have? 3.8 thousand. Those are all her tier three subs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Those are, how many is that? 25 bucks a month? Let's do the math on that. Let's do the math on. I'll pay her tax. <laughs> you I'll can, pay I'll pay it. I'll eat her tax. I'll eat her tax. <laughs> it's 95K a month before <laughs> Twitch split. I mean, that's who's fueling her career. The other 49,000 <laughs> that showed up and didn't like it, she don't care about you. Yeah. <laughs> she's looking at She's like, yeah, 3,800, those yeah. are my boys. Yeah, how do you think I got this $2 million apartment? <laughs> here, let's let's narrate it. Let's, you know, what's up, gang? I'm here in my $2 million apartment. This is where I eat vegetables and meat separately, never together. <laughs> um, sometimes I like to cut up people on here, but that's illegal now, so <laughs> I kind of had to stop that. This is actually marble imported straight from Italy. This counter alone is worth uh, more than you have ever made in your entire life. I used to keep my broccoli in there, but then I found out that's for wine, so I had to stop <laughs> doing that. I just want to know what the $2 million part is. Yeah. Is there like a, I don't know, is there like a fire station in the middle of it? Oh, no. You know what it is, dude? It's those streamer lights on the wall. That's right. That's what it is. Those are actually, those are $2 million on <laughs> no, Amazon. No, the $2 million part is her streaming rig. And <laughs> yeah. this right here makes me $2 million a year. <laughs> so this apartment is worth $2 million. I mean, I would This assume. is pretty sick, actually. Bathroom with a view? Chicago or some shit? That's pretty wild. It's got to be New York. That's got a window. That's why it's $2 million. Anyways. <laughs> that dude, that dude, <laughs> that dude the... that's... isn't that? I said that in one of my videos. That's also that. That's always like the most embarrassing thing. Just being the person in the reflection, <laughs> seeing the reflection. Hi, of you filming something. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, man, hire a steady op. Hi, Ma- put like five people in that reflection, so that shit looks serious. <laughs> oh, that's the two million dollar part. It's this art. <laughs> two million bucks, baby. Tax the rich. <laughs> Wait, I will, we just I, will eat, I will eat the rich for you, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat them. We will eat all the rich, so the only rich left is you. <laughs> yeah, this is my Snorlax. Some dumb fucking tier three sub gave this to me. <laughs> just highly disrespectful. 
So I don't know. Some fucking loser with a girlfriend <laughs> so sent me this good. shit. She doesn't even know. Some stinky neck beard sent this to me. <laughs> I've never, I've never used it. I've never sat on it. Uh, oh man! <laughs> please get out the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, film me in here, but don't be in the reflection. But show them this mirror. But also, don't show yourself. <laughs> Yeah, it's another Listen, onion Evan, souvenir. Get your stinky face out of the out of the mirror, dude. We can see your f- stupid face in the stinky, mirror, dude. Dumb fucking face. S- Get it sorry, out. Sorry, Queen. <laughs> oh, oh man. God damn it, dude. You think we could get a residence in Vegas? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. We could be the new Sigmund and Freud or whatever. <laughs> Us doing magic with cats. You mean, is that what you're talking about? Yes. Isn't that Sigmund and Freud? Sigmund and Freud? Bro, Freud is a like philosopher or psychologist. What, what, I don't what, even what, know what, what am the I fuck I'm of? saying. <laughs> what is it? Siegfried and Royd? Roy. Roy. He can't. He doesn't. <laughs> Roids? Siegfried and Roids? It's just two dudes on trend <laughs> taking care of tigers and doing magic. <laughs> doing magic. Siegfried and Roids. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm Sig. You're Freed. Siegfried. Yeah. Siegfried and Roy. Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> Siegfried whatever. and Roids. And one of them, like, got bit by the tiger, right? Yeah. He died or something? I mean, he got injured. That's us, dude. That is fucking us. <laughs> <laughs> no, go back to the other picture. That's us, dude. Hundred percent, dude. <laughs> and that's Spock. <laughs> uh, oh, they're dead. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's awesome. Bro, <clears throat> I almost got stabbed last night. What? It was, it was a dream. I just had to I just had to do that. What? I just had to do that. Okay. I woke up this morning, I'm like, I'm this is a bit. I woke up from the dream, I'm like, this is a bit. I'm gonna tell Cody I almost got stabbed. <laughs> and I knew you were gonna freak out. <laughs> yeah, because that's, I mean it's a pretty intense thing to say. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, I almost got stabbed last night. Ah, got it. Dream, dude, you had me going, man. When you said that, I was like, what? In my head, I was like, what? You were what in- kind of situation would he be? And then you, it's a dream. And I- <laughs> I'm joking. My brain was totally going. I'm like, you're, oh, 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 fuck. My boy's seriously in peril? Yeah. And I- What? <laughs> what? My dog almost got stabbed last night? <laughs> almost in peril? <laughs> my boy is seriously in peril? <laughs> Bro, hold up. Are you telling me last night you were in grave danger? <laughs> you were joking. You Dang. motherfucker, dude. You effort, dude. <laughs> you mother effort, <laughs> man. Effort, fool. I didn't, I, it wasn't a fight, but I definitely took an L. I, 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 had, I told the story before I got t- too many edibles. Mm-hmm. And I like, was talking to this dude about moving his car because he was blocking my friend's car. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is your car. <laughs> this is some crazy white kid. He was like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? <laughs> That's how high I was, is I would made no sense and it was like offensive to him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? All he heard was like me saying like my boy. Can you move your shitty car? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, can you move your bunk ass, dumbass car? Cause like my boy has to move his car and like your car fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, the only line I remember, I'm like high as hell. And he just goes, tell your boy. If he wants to come down, he can come down. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so what? He must have fucked. That must have confused the fuck out of you as a high person. I was that high with like, come, yeah, yeah, come with. Come down. Come down. Come down. I don't, where am, am I? Am I coming down? <laughs> I'm coming down right now. I'd grab him. Dude, help me. <laughs> I'm coming down, man. <laughs> I'm scared. My heart's beating really fast. Get the fuck off me, fool. <laughs> So I'm really high. Yo, this kid's weird as fuck. <laughs> you're gonna leave me here? I'm like really high. Dude, you're gonna leave him there? That's fucked up. <laughs> he was getting in my face. I'm really high. I'm really high. 
<laughs> Let's beat this kid's ass. So, dude, we can't beat his ass, Kyle. He's like f- completely fucked up. <laughs> My chest. Oh, oh. Can you die from weed, dude? Can you die from dude, weed? Dude, I think he's ODing. Oh, uh, I'm dying from weed. Bro, give him mouth to mouth. <laughs> I don't want to fucking do that. That's gay. <laughs> he's gonna die, dude. Do it quick. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Got you, pussy. <laughs> Knocked out. <laughs> Roll him on his back, choke him out. <laughs> hey, you fucking thought I was high, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. You gonna move your? You gonna move, you gonna move your shitty ass, dumb ass, bunk ass car now, bro? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, my boy is my fist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't believe Sigmund's dad, dude. Sigmund's fucking- Siegfried. I can't believe Freud's dead, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Spock sent us this clip yesterday. And I think it's just absolutely perfect. It's the perfect sequel. Did you see it? No. Oh, you're going to love this, dude. You're going to love this. Let's go. 25. And I'm like, man, I've really been here like... Bro, I'd rip both my legs off and arms to be 25. <laughs> on some real shit. I'd give up everything I have to be 25. Just to play again. <laughs> 25 is a baby. That's how I feel about going back to 16 sometimes, man. Like, I hate it, but fuck, growing up sucks sometimes. Yeah, but it's also amazing if you change your relationship with it. If you really know you're going <laughs> to live for one more time, with it, it, all all it slows down. Everybody's got pressure. Thinking they got to do something by 25. You got to do shit. <laughs> First time I think about getting to like 25, and I'm like, Wait, 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 play it again. I got to hear it one more time. <laughs> this really next part. Like, Bro, I'd rip both my legs off and arms to be 25. <laughs> on some real shit. I'd give up everything all I right, have to be 25. <laughs> Bro. I'd rip both my legs off and my arms off to be 25. What? You want to go back to be 20 to be 25, but have no arms and no legs? Why is it gotta be so violent? I'd rip both my arms and legs. That is so fucking graphic, dude. That's such a crazy ass response. I would- I would rip my own arm off. Do you understand what the like the force it would take to do that? Just ah! Ah! And then you gotta rip the other one off somehow. I know. With only one arm. <laughs> with your feet. <laughs> and then how are you gonna get your feet off? Ah! <laughs> so they you get that one off. Ah! Yeah. And so now they're both spraying blood. <laughs> Now you have to eat your own <laughs> legs off. <laughs> but what, once you do, what do at you least do? you'll be 25. <laughs> what do you do? Like, hang over a building? Like, do you ask your friends? Like, now you're bleeding from the arms, screaming. Your friends are freaking out. And you're like, put cinder blocks on my legs. <laughs> hang me over the building. Hang it. Just do it. I want to be 25 again. <laughs> and then... Or is no? It's the inverse. They got to hang your legs over a building and then put cinder blocks here, so you lose all the circulation. Yeah. And then they can just detach. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just fall, with no limbs, on top of a building. You're just rolling around, <laughs> bleeding from every hole, and then you just start getting younger as you're bleeding out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. How to be young again? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you change your relationship with it, <laughs> everyone was in Vegas this weekend. Yeah, what were they? Everyone. Yeah, even Spock was there for a night. Was he? Yeah. What was he doing? I think him and the lady just, you know, went to chill. Oh, nice of him to hit me up. <laughs> Thanks, Spock. Good to hear from you. <laughs> Thanks for texting me. I mean, he was like MIA the whole thing. <clears throat> I hit him up on Telegram to tell him some goofy gamer stuff, and he just wouldn't respond. I was like. All right, dude. I see how it is. It's, it's probably it's probably just cool, man. Probably just no reception. <laughs> the casino. It's, 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 He's just, why would he talk to a fucking loser like me, anyways? He's to a small dick gamer like me. I suck. He's in Vegas with a girl, and I'm here playing games with my tiny balls. <laughs> my small thumbtack cock. It's not even a. You can't even call it a cock. It's barely a penis. <laughs> I'm literally a bee. I have a needle <laughs> hanging out the front of my body. 
if I were ever to have sex with someone, I'd probably rip off and stay in her and fill her with poison. I'd get allergic from my small needle penis. I'd probably That's... die an hour later after it ripped off my tiny ball sack holder. <laughs> this, is the, this is the text you sent him? Yeah. He's in the casino reading this. What the fuck is wrong with this? I'm dude? not responding to that. <laughs> I'm responding to this. Of course you wouldn't respond to that. Why would you? <laughs> Why would you? Like, uh, I literally sting my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm going to do another. Bee cock. Yeah. <laughs> I dress up in a little bee suit and I sting my girl. <laughs> Every time, every time I wanted sex, I just sting her little clitoris. I just bump my needle penis on her clitoris, and, and my stinger breaks off, and I die. <laughs> I'm basically just like a human sibian. She just crawls on top of my little nub, and I just flap my wings hard enough to vibrate until she finishes, and then I just go fuck myself. Save the bees, right? <laughs> Not me. I suck. I'm the worst bee. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve to be dead and stomped out in a high school basketball game. Just a little B dick loser. <laughs> so that was my weekend. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this. This. All right. I don't use this word often, but this made me cringe. Okay. <laughs> Like, damn, I haven't felt cringe like this in a minute. You know, I can't minute. wait for this. All right, let me make it worse for you. He's going to get this question wrong. Okay. All right. When I, I remember watching Millionaire as a little kid with Regis hosting the show, and it was such a phenomenon. 10 million people watching a show about smart people every night, celebrating being smart. And I thought, you know what? Wait. Maybe it's oh, not that's so bad being smart. Maybe it's not bad being a nerd. Maybe it's cool to be smart. And I followed that all the way, and I just graduated from medical school. That's awesome. Congratulations. Maybe some lingering bills from med school we need to pay off? Perhaps. Let's take care of that today. Let's work on it. This is what you're up against. 14 <laughs> questions for $500 all the way up to $1 million. Of Wait, pause it. It gets the first one wrong. <laughs> Let it ride. <laughs> Let it ride. You know the those work? Yes, sir. You ready to go? I'm always ready. Without further ado, <laughs> let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I hate this. It's like, it makes me hate this. Good luck. Thank you. Here's your $500 question. <laughs> Snapping selfies in kitchens you can't afford and taking a meatball break <laughs> are two things BuzzFeed says every 20-something does on their first trip where? <laughs> To Paris, to London, to Rome, to Ikea. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think they do serve meatballs in Ikea. And uh, I don't think that's the right answer, though. So, kitchens you can't afford, meatballs, sounds like it's got to be Rome to me. In fact, if I win a million dollars, I would love to take a trip to Italy. I'm going to say Rome, final answer. <clears throat> Brittany, it was Ikea. <laughs> it was Ikea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. So, so sorry. He's, right back he's dying right inside. Back to he's dying inside. Oh, my God. I've never seen some shit like that in my entire life. <laughs> he just talked about how smart he was for like three minutes. <laughs> 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 You know, this show taught me that it's okay to be smart. And uh, so I followed that through. It, it was life. Ikea. <laughs> it a, was Ikea. A, I know Ikea has meatballs, but... Uh, <laughs> I think that's the right answer. <laughs> Rome? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was driving the other day with cash, and I was thinking about how I would maybe try to get out of a speeding ticket. How would you do it? So, like, you're the cop. Okay. Hey. Or let me. I'm in my. Hi, sir. You know how fast you were going? Officer, close your eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Serious one. <laughs> Serious one. Check your car speedometer. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut up. Sorry. Yeah, shut up, bitch. We're doing a sketch. All right. <laughs> Do you know how fast you're going, sir? Officer, just before we continue, just do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Just close your eyes. 
Uh, okay, so just, this is just, not really protocol. Just but... trust me. Just trust me. Just close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right, now ask it again. Do you know how fast you're going? I'm not sure. Ooh. Ooh. You sound like my favorite uh, Twitch streamer. Oh, yeah? His name's Noel Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to take me away? <laughs> it's like... Why did you put the ticket between my big jugs? <laughs> I have what? huge tits. Wait, you do? Massive oh, double D's. I'm picturing them right now. Oh my god. Oh, huge milkies. I'm scared you're gonna see into my big milkies if you open your eyes. Oh, I won't. I won't. I won't open my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Foiled again. <laughs> Uh, it just happens to him all the time. Yeah, this is Officer Fuck. Dingle Bob. <laughs> this is the horniest yeah, officer. Yeah. On. Oh wait, dude, you're going like ninety. Yes, yeah, it's Officer Dingle Bob's <laughs> route. What does that mean? Watch this. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You know how fast you were going? I don't know how fast was I going. Oh fuck, <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Just trust me. Oh, would you like it faster? I would like it faster. I like you to slow down. I like you to go as fast as you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> He's raiding a house. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Open up! It's Officer Dinklebob. <laughs> oh no! If you come in, you're gonna see my big wet pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, this is screwed everywhere. He's really polite, too. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, all of a sudden. I couldn't come in. That'd be rude. Oh, you wouldn't want to see this big puddle I have out of here in front of me. <laughs> hey, backup officers come up. What's going on? What's in going there? on in there? Hey, don't go in there. She's squirting. <laughs> <laughs> She's squirting all over the place. <laughs> it's, good. it's rude if we enter right now. <laughs> Oh, don't enter. You hear her in there. She's going crazy. <laughs> one of the other one of the other guys is like, Bob, let me just let me let me No 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 You're hurting her <laughs> Don't interrupt <laughs> Don't interrupt me while I squirt. Dude's just saying this as he's cutting up coke. <laughs> oh my god, Officer Tingle yeah. Bob, don't come in here. Pass me that bag, pass me that bag. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He'll leave in like a second. It's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm we gonna, have to leave. We I'm have gonna, to leave. Oh my god, it's about to happen. Every, all please, units out. All please units get leave. out of here. All units leave. Oh, I don't want to hear. You. I want you to hear me squirt. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there, gentlemen. She is squirting inside there. <laughs> and if that's illegal, then take me away. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? His just pants are covered in, <laughs> in fucking. It's a puddle right above love, his thighs. I love this job. <laughs> starts, he just pees himself. <laughs> He's like a small dog, just ex get out of excitement, just pees no, himself. No, no, that's his partner. Okay, his partner is so nervous and scared that he pees, that he himself. pees himself. Okay, and actually turns Dingle Bob on because. <laughs> you know he likes a flu. Yeah, <laughs> they're just rolling. All right, this one's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's a full-on gang in there. This is 30 members strapped up to the gills. These guys have guns. <laughs> oh, thank, I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> oh, wait, oh. did you say guns? What's his partner's name? Puddle. <laughs> Deal Dickle Bob and Puddle? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Puddle, you're doing that thing again. <laughs> We're never going to make it. <laughs> My wood. It's interrupting the steering. <laughs> he's trying to get to his gun, but he can't because his yeah, yeah. boner's in the way. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just, yeah. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> can't get my gun. My dick is in the way. No, I'm going to puddle myself. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's ripping through. <laughs> I wish I could play the I wish space? I could play the squirt space. I think video you could play right it now. off your phone. Okay. Here. <laughs> he didn't even play. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> your microphone just starts slowly getting higher. <laughs> now look. <laughs> Freeze! Oh, 
Bob, 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 I don't think she's gonna freeze. <laughs> it's like it's just like 30, 30 of them at the same time. Oh, is that like a clubhouse? It's a clubhouse. It's a Twitter clubhouse called Squirtspace where they all like you know how Twitter has spaces or whatever. So they made one. <laughs> they made one, and it's just like 20 girls squirting at the same time. <laughs> Bro, that's, <laughs> that fucking sound like it's just like like <laughs> m- like mashing macaroni. Like it's just like. Wait, am I am I a speaker? <laughs> Hi, Connor. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to say, hey, ladies, you guys are doing an awesome job. Uh, really appreciate the dialogue earlier. Um, but you got a lot of fans out there. Uh, all over, and uh, yeah, just, just want to say, hey, this is Wink. This is this is <laughs> yeah, Dinkle Bob. Dude, Dinkle Bob. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Let's get back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> How do you say that? Just sitting there on a wet blanket. <laughs> Your fucking headphones, especially the guy like right after he just heard that is complete. Dis- am I a speaker? <laughs> oh wait, am I a speaker? Hey, <laughs> hey, girls, just want to say you got a lot of huge fans out there <laughs> and small fans <laughs> and small <laughs> tiny b <bee> dicked fans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna get demonetized for sure, bro. That sounds it's like just a- so funny. I just gotta put this one out there because I feel like. This one is on the edge. Alina was like, don't do this. But <laughs> so I had my assistant Alex find this taxidermy company and they they do rentals. So they rent out taxidermied animals. What? It's like for cinema. Like it's for props. So, oh, okay. So it's like some <laughs> like what? but but some of the animals are real. So I was just like, dude, on some like Nathan for you shit. What if I rented like 10 really exotic obscure animals and i like put out flyers for like a, a petting zoo and i just <laughs> labeled it as like real pets and you get there and they're all taxidermy just frozen pets like fucking caribou beavers <laughs> alligators that's a really good idea and you should like be the owner of all like the proud owner that's what of i was all gonna these. say yeah, yeah. And it's like and this is betsy I didn't know if it would be This is Betsy. I just She's, leaned down. To like she, a, it's okay. She loves when you pet her. It's all right. Listen, you, if you listen close, you can hear her purr. Kneel down to a 10-year-old and be like, I killed this one myself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that. No, no, no. He has to think that they're alive. Like, and has. Oh, you think like. Oh, like, like he's crazy. Like he's insane. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. She don't. She don't bite. She don't bite. No, come here. Come here. A little rub on the tooth. No, she's super nice. A little rub on the tooth. Gentle, gentle. You don't want to aggravate her. Listen, put your ear right up to her. You can hear her purr. It's like it's a buffalo. What <laughs> you can hear that heartbeat, <laughs> yeah. beating strong. That's my girl. That's my girl. I love you, Betsy. Most people can't believe I got a caribou in the in the California, but uh, you know you got the right kind of money. <laughs> you ever taken a Grant Cardone course? <laughs> oh, you should see. Oh my God, her and the alligator. They get. They get. Oh they my go. God, they go. I gotta keep them separated from each other because they'll just nip, 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 nip. <laughs> More sworn enemies, I swear. <laughs> Hey, hey, hand off the beaver. It's a little beaver on a leash. Yeah. (laughs) It's not moving. He's just just dragging it around the (laughs) beaver. I got to keep this one on a leash or else she'll (laughs) run away. I mean, ugh. Uh, Maybe we'll just do this on my channel. (laughs) I would hate to be a pure music artist in this era. Why? People are just, they fuck with you so bad. It's like, new album, and it's like, delete it, don't care, cares? (laughs) Wow, this is bad. <laughs> you fell off plus YB did your album better. It's just like, you know. Yeah. Make better music. Make better music before you fall off again. <laughs> you get you don't get Yeah, that's rough. That's like, super rough. Imagine posting your album release and the fir- top reply is L. <laughs> You work on it for two years. Yeah. Yeah. Two in the studio every single night. Yeah. Thinking about it. You know, sitting there at night being like, maybe this song should go first before this song. Maybe I should cut this one. But doesn't really matter. Like it. It's fucking mid, but- bro. <laughs> YB's L. better. L. 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 Shit's mid, honestly. Shit's mid. L. <laughs> ah. <laughs> miss. Like Damn, it- you missed. Oh, yeah, dude. The amount of bullying on TikTok. I know I said this every single time, but it's. It is wild. Yeah, it's mean. 
wild. Yeah. And people like I've heard people online be like, yeah, I think like adults be like, I think TikTok is like a safer place. <laughs> <laughs> We've reverted back 20 years. Yeah. In some ways, I like really appreciate it. Yeah. You know, like I, I think like if a kid were to um like take himself out because of bullying. Oh. Yeah, I know that's dark. But it's dark. What the fuck? Yeah, whatever. I'm not okay. I take back my. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think the savagery is so high that a lot of the users would have to really resist like dancing on their grave. Oh, like it's Jesus. just like, it's just mean out there. Jesus, it really is. Did I just kid cut it? L. L. <laughs> News article. First reply. L. L. That's dark. Yeah, man. That's really dark. <laughs> Jeez. So fucked. Don't laugh at that, dude. I'm not laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Stop. Don't laugh. Stop laughing. Stop. At that. What are you doing? Death kind of mid, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hell, dude. You're going to no, hell, dude. That's brutal. <laughs> Method kind of mid, honestly. Damn. Damn. Oh. Make better TikToks or I'll unsubscribe. Oh, wait. Oh, stop. Stop, dude. I'm not laughing. <laughs> That's fucked up. Go. Keep going. Wait, five more? Yo, keep five going. Let's see how many you can do. <laughs> No, no, this could be its own video. How many you can take from bed? Keep going. That's ten. <laughs> oh. How long is this TikTok? Oh shit. How the hell do you do this? Ten more. Ten. The camera guy likes it too. Seven, six, oh, oh, oh. Right, four, yeah. four more. Yeah, keep going. I think I'm done. <laughs> As fucking semen just leaks from his shorts all <laughs> over say, the ground. Did you say, I think I'm done? He said, I think or I'm that? done. Yeah. He said, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm spent. What? I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I just finished. <laughs> I'm fi I mean, I'm finished. I'm finished. I mean, I'm done. I'm all done. <clears throat> Dude, that first one is so rough. Vasectomy <laughs> 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 in the 1500s. <laughs> 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 The camera, dude. I love... He's, like, so just, just completely ignorant of what's actually happening. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. See how many you can do. Do 10 more. Do 10, man. This could be a own video. I'll do 15. I'll do fucking I'll as do many. I'll do 25. I'll dude. do as many as it takes. <laughs> I'm almost there. What I'm you, almost there. No, dude. Come on. Take 10 more, man. It could be its own video. Come how on. This could be its take? own video. 10 more, dude. <laughs> 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 Dude, this guy literally got a kick job, man. He got the cum kicked out of his balls, bro. <laughs> he, he actually finished every time. He had he 30 the orgasms there. Semen kicked out of his balls. Bro, run it, run it back. I just got to hear that first one again. <laughs> Dude, when he goes turbo mode. Wait, five more? Also, what's Yo, keep with the... Going. Let's see how many you can do. I just realized that's Spock kicking oh, off nuts. Yeah, it is. That's Spock. Oh, those karate hands he does before he fucking lasers his nutsack. <laughs> no, no, this could be its own video. How many you can take from bed? Keep going. That's ten. <laughs> he kicks him so hard. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a dope idea for our TikTok account. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a great idea for the next Cody and Noel do. Yeah. <laughs> Is it...
like a little bit annoying that Richard Branson kind of beats you to the punch. Don't even say that name, that fucking asshole. He didn't even go to space. He didn't even make it there. He just flew around in his dingy little airplane. Uh, and, you know, he couldn't even get it up himself. They had to tow him up there, his little hang glider. Tow it like he was a triple A. Yeah. Branson, you fucking tiny dick piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, you have to care a little bit, right? Like you're, you're kind of taking out NASA. Like everybody loves NASA. Yeah. No, not me. My dream is to bankrupt NASA. Oh. Because I mean, you know what it stands for, right? NASA. What? Not ever going to space again. Wait. Isn't that NASA? Yeah. Who the fuck cares? God damn it! You've been fucking talking to Branson, haven't you? It's not going to matter. No one's going to even remember NASA. It's going to end up being some fucking stupid little logo on an Urban Outfitters shirt. Sorry. Okay, sorry for asking. Yeah, sorry. Dude, stop talking about I'm NASA. I'm sorry, man. He's going he's gonna to fucking I know, kill us. My apologies. I don't pray I don't play this. I don't like Walmart. Oh no! <laughs> Am I fired? <laughs> I didn't tell you this. I don't like walnuts. He just grabs her by the neck and throws her over the side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she just says, oh no. <laughs> I didn't tell you this, but I don't like walnuts. Luckily, I'm too fucked up to even taste anything right now. <laughs> We're in international waters. I just did five shots of Howler Head and two lines of ketamine. <laughs> and we're going to kill Valentina. <laughs> Folks, you've been asking for a long time. I'm going to kill a woman <laughs> for fucking Friday. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. You guys have been asking for a long time. <laughs> I'm going straight to hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill someone's daughter. For fucking uh, Friday. <laughs> Maritime laws. <laughs> so fucked up. Oh, man. We're going to kill one underperforming staff today. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been asking for a long time. We're going to drown someone from the staff. <laughs> today for fucking Friday. We're going to make an example out of one of our staff. <laughs> We're going to pour hot oil <laughs> on his neck. We're going to deep fry Steven, <laughs> the intern. Huh? What? 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 <laughs> We're going to deep fry Steven and eat him. <laughs> Jesus. Looks like a firecracker went off on his face. Not a fan, actually. <laughs> Steven. Tastes They're like dog food. Not a fan. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> So, so in honor of that, that's demented Dana White. Yeah, demented Dana White. <laughs> I tried watching the the new Purge. I I fell asleep, man. Did you really? I, I mean, I smoked a little bit before, so um, that's the only reason I brought up the story to let you know that I smoke weed. Okay, sick. Fuck yeah. So we can move on. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I, remember, I, I remember a time where I smoked weed. That's cool. Yeah. Did you get high? Yo, yeah. I bet Oops. I've been higher than you though. I mean, I was pretty high. Mm. How high were you? Like really high. Like how high on a scale of like one to ten? Like ten. Okay. Yeah, I was a ten too. So I was I probably like ten point one then. Yeah, I mean if the scale went higher, I would be higher on the scale. But then it doesn't how go high higher. Would you be? What? How high would you be? Depends how high the scale goes. If you put a number on it. Well, let's say one to what? Hundred. It'd be a hundred. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be one oh one then. Well, the scale doesn't go that high. Yeah, but I, I like tip the scale. That's not really what that phrase means, but that's how high I am right now. Oh, okay. You're high right now. Yeah, I'm always right. high. Yeah, same. Always. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, so I smoked weed. Um. <laughs> that's all this podcast is, a stoner pissing match. 
Yeah, dude, this Delta variant's kicking my ass. <clears throat> I've been rolling up like every day though. Yeah. No big. Yeah, no, it was like I woke up with a fever and so obviously first thing I do is hit my bubbler like I always do. <laughs> and as I breathe it out, I cough, right? And I normally I cough because I'm smoking pure oil. But right? Like yeah. keef. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm smoking like just straight up like the strongest most concentrated weed you possibly can. For sure. Right? And I'm dabbing it. Yeah. Right? Taking dabs. Yeah. So I finish my dab and I start coughing like I normally do because I'm smoking dabs. Yeah. And I realize this cough goes on for a little bit too long, uh -huh. which it normally does because of the dabs that I smoke. Yeah. And then I realize it's going on too long and it was the COVID. That sucks. Yeah. So I had, I had the munchies like super bad because I was so high. Right. But I couldn't leave the place because I thought I knew I had COVID. Yeah. Yeah. I've pretty much circumvented coughing and all that. I'm like literally the most progressive stoner on earth no one knows that though mm. i've built like a essentially like a neural network that taps directly into the marijuana leaf mm. with small syringes so i directly get the thc creation and then i needle it into my arm oh you shoot up weed i shoot up weed holy fuck yeah all right you win yeah and then some days when i'm feeling crazy like i'll just stick a needle in my lungs wow yeah of smoke of THC. It just like it's like a drip method. It just drips directly into my lungs. Wow. Yeah. By the way, we got like It doesn't got, really work. If you filled your lungs with fluid, you'd be in a that's pneumonia. Yeah, you would die. But that's why I want weed pneumonia. So like when I do cough it up, yeah. <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's just weed weed water. Yeah. When I spit it out <laughs> into my bong and light it. <laughs> Self feeding system. So sick. Yeah. Dude. Honestly. We got to make a reality show where there's no point, nothing happens, there's no goal. Yeah. Constantly the characters are just like, why are we here? Yeah. And we have to just be like, all right, today we're doing this, you know, like the potato sack race. And they're like, okay. And then and they win and they cheer and there's no prize. Yeah. You won. You won. Congrats, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Back into the hole. Yeah. What? Okay. It just goes on for yeah. like three years. Yeah, it's just sur <laughs> it's like Survivor Day One. It's like Survivor <laughs> Survivor months one through six, and then start the Bachelor on month seven. <laughs> so we're all gonna put you in suits, and she likes the idea of getting married. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. And then it's American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, yeah. For the last, <laughs> for the, for the start of the next year. <laughs> then it's Real World yeah. for the next six, the six months after that. <laughs> this sounds like influencer daycare. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. No, we just want to imprison twenty millennials. Yeah, and just film them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a vague hope. All right, you won immunity this week, but no one ever gets voted off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> They're yeah. like, what's it from? Immunity from what? Just immunity. Just immunity, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> You're immune. <laughs> no, I fucking. All right, guys. After six weeks, the public has voted. You guys are chosen. <laughs> Congrats, and we'll see you next week. Ch wait, chosen for what? <laughs> and then again. the theme music's just rolling, <laughs> and then the credits. Chosen for what? Wait, you didn't tell us what we were chosen for. You've been chosen. <laughs> Tune in next week to see who the public choose. <laughs> choose for what? <laughs> why us? Because <laughs> you're the chosen ones. It's so dark. That's they why they just, chose you. If they're in there long enough, yeah, like, dude. Yeah. You con Please them. tell yeah, us! <laughs> you con them for a year. <laughs> then at the end of the year, you've been chosen. Wait, chosen what, what the fuck? We get to leave? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> just let them wallow <laughs> for another year. They're the only ones that were ever chosen. <laughs> they start going insane. I think they're going to kill us. I think they're going to send us over the island edge. God damn, dude. Are you ready for Casa More? And they just moved to another house. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we go to this house? <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> Why is it? It's exactly the same. No, it's different. <laughs> so you're going to spend the next six months here and someone will be chosen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
someone. I'm not gonna say who. Yeah, bro. We yeah, we gotta do it. Reality <laughs> show with no point. Oh, and then the talking head interviews just get progressively more <laughs> depressing. I've been here for like four years. I just I'm hearing voices in my head. I don't know and... if my parents are alive anymore. <laughs> Was anything before this real? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's in the food. I yeah. think there's stuff in the food. Yeah. And I'm going insane. Damn, bro. You know, to celebrate the 200th episode, I thought we could let out one of our clones. Oh. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I think so. Are you sure? We haven't gotten it right, though. It's like they're still all fucked up. It might be weird. Yeah, it'll be okay. And just to interview them or what? Yeah, we just talk to them. Okay. They have the same brain, I'm pretty sure. As the... Yeah, the originals. Uh, oh, I see. Hey, Candace, could we get uh, Josh Richards' clone up here, please? I'm freezing now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Uh, oh, shit. There he is. Right over there, man. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Good to see you, man. You all right? No. No? Damn. Everything hurts. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Excruciating pain, actually, forever, so. We did not get his skin right. Yeah, we really fucked it up. Damn. We just want to apologize, dude. It was... You think, eh? Yeah, it was an experiment that kind of... Went we, pretty we got poorly. pretty close though. We got very close. We just kind of fucked up yeah. the face, the face, yeah. big time, yeah. and the nerve endings. No, yeah. I actually can't wait to see the fan cams after this. Just, yeah, these are the most perfect boils I've ever seen. <laughs> and they have Stand no idea. him for being so confident in the boils. <laughs> yeah. Zombie, wait, zombie Josh though. Yeah. The crazy part is they're not even gonna know that it's not the real him. Yeah, you know right. That's true. Yeah. So. Uh, oh my god, the way his jaw is hanging out of his skin. Mm. <laughs> Cut me with Wait, that jaw. I love his jaw. Wait, his jawbone's so hot. <laughs> He's so structured. <laughs> See, I told you he was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way his bones run. <laughs> oh my god, the pus running out of the wounds. <laughs> his perfect pus. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I would eat up his pus, honestly. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing hurts too. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Wow. Yeah. We did it. 200. 200 podcast episodes. It's wild. Wild. I feel like we should celebrate somehow. Definitely. Do something, you know? What are you thinking? I don't know. I just feel like we should pay homage to, you know, I don't know where we came from, what the podcast used to be, you know, for the people who have been listening to us since the early days. Yeah. All the people who have been quoting Squat 680 for the last three years. That's a good idea. Come on, brother. You got it. I'm going to take you all through this lift right now that Noel's about to do. We got two, four, six, eighty on the bar, and he's doing one to two max. Max reps. Let's do it, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. You got this. Come on. Come on. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Come on. Put it up. Put it up. Get that butt up. Come on. Get it up. Get it up. Let's go. Let's go, brother. Oh, my God. All right, light work, light work. You did it. You put it up. That's what I like to see. 680, put it down. Oh, my turn? Well, I'm going to have to deadlift it from the ground. Deadlift? All right. All right, brother, take us through it. Get hype. Come on. Woo! It's my process. It's my process. Here he goes. He's going in. I love you, Mom. 680. From the back. Use that ass. Get ready, brother. Get ready. And. Come on, come on. <laughs> 680, put it down.
I'm gonna vomit looking at this shit, dude. We gotta get this out of here.